intelligence as a faculty of this uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, so whenever you are going with this curiosity, obviously different types of application will be uh, uh, developed and that will be uh, publicly available for the public use. Now, whenever you are going with the generative AI uh, as a term, so two types of things will be there whenever you are searching um, in chat GPT as a generator, so that will be application specific search. And that two type of things will be there. I'm uh, just uh, explaining this as a student point of view. So two uh, means we are searching uh, where our objective is very clear. Uh, so we know that what is our expected output. So if you search this, we'll be getting this one. So that's exactly the requirement of one type of people. Another type of people, they don't have any idea related to the context. They are searching something and the output is something and they are trying to convince that that output is matching to their context. So these are the two types of people are there. So if you are having a good knowledge about a particular context, whatever you are searching in uh, artificial means uh, generative AI, then only it will be um, uh, means going to a positive aspect. If you are searching in a without having a particular knowledge on that particular uh, content, then sometimes whatever you are getting that is irrelevant. That's how we can say that uh, what are the security problems available here. So that is the misinformation. Whenever you're getting uh, some information, we are not able to validate that one that can be considered a misinformation or generally deep content will be available. Means uh, that uh, fake content will be so fake that it looks like uh, and means uh, we can say that it is real content. So similarly, privacy is also one of the aspects and the ethical and the biasness issue whenever you are searching and prompt-based searching that can be considered one of the critical content. So how this is the, this is the content already we have completed. So basically, this is another aspect uh, how it actually develops. If you see the advantages of the natural language processing and the broad area of this one, so due to that only it happens uh, and it is in a going trend. So based upon the creative AI generation, problem solving skill, and the natural language processing integration of that one. So basically, this actually uh, gives a fuel to the innovation related to that one. So they are the broad application. Uh, so I'll get some. <laughs> So, Manja, we are unable to hear him, right? Yeah, yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Das, we are unable to hear you. I think some issue is there at the other end. Dr. Das, can you hear us? I think some issue will just wait for a few seconds. You are not audible. I think some issue is there. Can you hear us? Dr. Das, can you hear us? Uh, can you hear us? Somanda, I'm audible, right? Yes, yes. I think some issue is there, uh, some technical glitch probably at his end. So we have to close. I don't know. Uh, Dr. Das, uh, can you just try to speak up once again? You can unmute or he has left. So anyways. So, Jigya Saru Chinta, both the Anoka topic till a Jodaki, Anjan Mai was the appreciate Korishati, Bolla Gila got a mane, the good at the com summer with a Amemaneta who provide Kotiva template, Sarah, but a slight one again, and 
नूतनत्व इंग्लीश ओडिया मिक्स करें रायगढ़ी I think uh, we started with CUTM Dr. Sujata Chakraborty. Rasmita Ma'am was supposed to be available, but again uh, she has requested for another slot. If Anjan Bhai can permit, we can uh, accommodate, and we have to check the agenda also. And uh, Parul Patwari Ma'am, uh, the collector of uh, District uh, Raigada, also uh, also had uh, sent her representatives. And uh, Badra uh, Anjan Bhai, for your uh, uh, understanding and awareness. Uh, we had uh, another representative mr beaker although he was in only in the you know listening mode and uh, we had of course ms chinmay das and uh, ms babi patnaik both of them representing infosys as well as national hrt network to speak about the you know ai intervention in the realms of uh, hr fraternity of course and finally dr uh, satyavrat das representing githam university to speak on the topic curiosity to concern navigating the future of gen ai uh jigya saru chinta joda koile bahut anoka topic thila thank you so much uh, everyone i think kichi question achi au jane ki supriya mishra jane question raise kartile does he have a question or uh, i can hand over the you know we don't find any questions in the chat box also i think mr kubria is also is not raising that fine thank you so much everyone for uh, you know allowing me to moderate this particular session and uh, it was really uh, my uh, proud privilege thanks anjan bhai and the entire team organizing team has been you know the working day in and day out uh, of course uh, the media team kumarika swarvendra and the rest of the team thanks to all of you for uh, doing a great job and of course we are uh, we have been working as one team thanks a lot so over to the host thank you namaskar jay jagannath भाई आउ आउ कहार जदि किछ क्वेश्चन अछि क्वेश्चन करिवे टिके पैनल ओपन कर दियंतु नेक्स्ट पैनल जॉइन करिया पय बदे टिके समय लागु छि अशोक रथ अछंदी संतोष कुमार परीक्षा आशीर्वाद प्रधान ओके मनोज पाणीग्राही प्लीज रेज योर हैंड टू स्पीक so sounds like um ravindra bhai if you want to take a uh, so uh, let's uh, frame a uh, impromptu tool vishnu mohan vishnu mohan achandi vishnu mohan adhikari ai 101 <laughs> okay anjan uh, if you need some filler then probably i can open up something interesting if 
if that is okay. And this is uh, in line with the discussions that we had right now from some of the speakers, especially the HR fraternity, where there is a very important uh, point regarding the usage of AI in different fields. All right. So some of the points were like, can AI be actually used in each of the fields? Or even if it can be used in a particular field, are there restrictions on those? Like some of the things can be done, some of the things cannot. As far as HR is concerned, I being from the investment banking field, uh, I feel that you know there are a lot of uh, things which are related to people compliance, right? Uh, now, when we deal with people, uh, usually we do not have enough information or facts, and it takes a lot of time, and there are so many other regulations that come into play when it uh, comes to driving the data, facts, figures, etc. Now, AI uh, can definitely help there. That's number one. Number two, uh, there are a lot of things which, uh, uh, you know, as far as data is concerned, does not get a direct exposure to people as per the GDPR rules, etc. But the analysis that is required out of the data related to people can really help make HR decisions. Say, for example, if there is a, um, I'm sure everybody is aware of re reduction in force, which happens time, from time to time, especially in the tech and the finance world. Uh, but then majority of the times there is discontent among the people uh, being, you know, what is the rationale behind it? Uh, now, if we have all the HR data facts figures uh, through the AI, use of AI, if we get the right analytics, then we get to know a lot about the people in terms of their compliance over the period of years. That can be one of the, uh, you know, important data points. And similarly, there could be so many other things. So I would just like to open up this discussion and I'm sure there are people from different fields. Uh, do you feel that in, in the field that you operate right now, is it feasible to use AI? If yes, then how? And if you think that there are some restrictions, uh, then what are those? OK, let me take a step on it. Uh, from the investment banking field or from the banking field in general, there are a lot of restrictions in terms of usage of AI. Although, uh, you know, majority of the banks, they claim that they have already been using or they're kind of, you know, uh, they're building use cases, etc. cetera. Uh, but that is not all true because there are a lot of things which are still under discussion. And in a lot of cases, we won't be able to use, make use, direct use of AI because it has regulatory constraints as well, right? So something which we would love to use outrightly, uh, but it will take some time. So that's one of the things that I can tell from the banking field. And if somebody is from any other field, if they could share any use cases or uh, you know the usages or the constraints, et cetera, that would be quite interesting. Unless the next panel is ready to kind of you know come in and we can start straight away with the sessions. Anshuman raises his hand. Anshuman, you want to share something? Go ahead, Anshu. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, with respect to uh, the cybersecurity uh, challenges for banking, right? Uh, there are uh, quite a number of uh, use cases um, that um, <coughs> that are there, uh, especially in the uh, non-human identity uh, space. So, typically, non-human identity, which are uh, your service accounts, your oath tokens, and so on and so forth that are there in the environment are typically 5x to 10x of your human identities in, in a typical, um, let's say, banking environment, right? Now, um, now if there are regulatory constraints that you, that you pointed out, um, if, uh, if regulation wants uh, compliance, Compliance with respect to uh, data security and data privacy as well, right? Uh, they have to open up the gates for uh, uh, AI as well uh, because uh, uh, all these models that are being created, the multi models thing that are the 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 uh, the, uh, the, the multi model thing that um, we spoke about in the in one of the earlier sessions right um so uh, what is your take on uh, the regulators approach towards uh, okay doing it for maybe some 
um, some of the entities, uh, and and probably banking may not be the starting point, but they might want to test out with financial services or uh, low impact insurance one. So, so what is your take on that? Thank you, Anshuman, for sharing your insights. And we are absolutely right that banking may not be the you know best or the first field to kind of you know allow those things. Uh, but let me share uh, another interesting fact, uh, you know, in the field of AI. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you, like Anjan, might be aware of. Uh, now, before even we start implementing, you know that the implementation execution is still going to take some time, right? But before that, there are rules and regulations, uh, because you spoke about regulatory affairs. So you must be aware that the European Union, the UNO, and there are so many other organizations who have already started compliances and regulations around the usage of AI. And it's been almost like three to four years. And uh, I won't be able to disclose much details, but I'm part of one of the teams based in Brussels, which is working on that. And that is because I take a keen interest in uh, the regulatory affairs, because I have already done a couple of regulatory programs. <clears throat> so to answer your question, what is your what is the take? on the regulatory affairs as far as banking is concerned. So as I said, it is still in discussions and we are yet to open the gates. As far as other fields are concerned, I'm not sure because I won't be able to uh, share something which I do not know. But as far as banking is concerned, we are not yet there. Does that answer your question, Ansuman, or you wanted to ask anything else? No, I generally don't take a no for an answer, but yeah, fine. Uh, the, if this is what you can disclose in this forum, that's fine. Yeah, those are, uh, you know, uh, and those are, to be honest, they are industry agnostic, the regulations that I spoke about. So it's like, uh, there is a specific term, right? Uh, I, I'm not able to recall. It's like uh, backtracking or something. Some, uh, you know, term is there. Wherein before you, uh, okay, let me give you this example. Uh, are you uh, are you into technology, Anshuman? Yes, sir. Okay. Are you aware of TDD, BDD? Yes. Okay. So that is the best analogy that I can give. So what do you do? Usually, uh, you know, you build something and then you test and then you try to kind of, you know, see whether it works or not. And there is a reverse approach where you are actually first testing that it's working or not. And then you start building, right? So this is exactly something similar. So there are, uh, you know, implications on the regulatory affairs and they are already building all the use cases models and they are just trying to understand that whether all these things, they will satisfy those requirements or not. So the models are already being built. So whenever there is something that is going to be executed, they're going to test them on the same. If they feel that that is satisfactory, then only they're going to allow, otherwise not. If I can make it, you know, very simple, not just for you, but for the other audience as well. So the testing background and backdrop is already in creation right now, which is a good thing in a way, right? Because think from it, you know, uh, in this way, let's say a lot of efforts, money, energy, time, everything is being given in order to develop something, anticipating that fact that you know, these products or services or offerings are going to go through. Right? They're going to get a green signal. What if they don't get, right? And I'm also aware of the fact that there are products and services which are being built in specific sectors. Uh, there is another organization, which I'm not sure if uh, you all are aware of, it's called ABAIA, All Bharat AI Association. So that is like a small consortium uh, like NASCOM for IT, IT services. This is specifically for AI. So that is being driven from India, but of course it has now become a global organization, which I'm part of. Uh, now there, we have people from as investors, we have people as founders, we have people as developers, etc. They have already started building, right? Now that is a slightly risky. People are putting in their money, people are building organizations, people are creating products and services. What if they don't comply with the regulatory affairs of those specific industries or sectors for which they're building those products? That's also risky, right? So in the background, if the testing and everything is happening, then it will be much easier for them. But of course, the matching of the timing is not something which anybody is aware of. Maybe this is at a higher a higher pace in some sectors, or maybe that is also you know already being done to a large extent. Now, those are things which will get unfolded in the next few years. But I take it as a positive 
uh, thing because uh, the testing is already in progress. So whenever some products are there, it can be tested out. Cool. Okay, so okay. Anjan, uh, thank you, Anshuman, uh, for the question. And uh, Anjan, is the next panel ready, or do you want to kind of you know continue with this discussion? I think we should uh, op open it up. Like Biswajit Parija and okay. Biswajit Naik have raised their hands. We, sh we should continue. Sorry, I, I couldn't see them. Uh, my bad. Uh, let me just check. Biswajit, right? Biswajit, you want to kind of you know share something? Which field are you from? If you could share, then that would be good. If you just tell the uh, field that you are coming from. Um, sure. Um, hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, whether you were okay, referring to Vishud Nayak I or okay, I can say Supriya Biswajit Biswajit Nayak. Uh... <laughs> so there is a conflict in Biswajit. <laughs> okay, so uh, shall we go ahead with Biswajit yeah, Nayak please, first? Please, uh, Biswajit Parija, you please go ahead. Okay, sure. I'll... Biswajit Parija, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Um, hello everyone. Um, so Ramindra, as um, you opened up the discussion about um, who is contributing in the field of AI. So let me take this opportunity to say that I have been um, closely working with uh, data science and machine learning. And now for the past uh, two years with uh, deep learning and NLP. So I'm in the pharma industry, life sciences, you can say in, in general. Um, so if you talk about the you know um, amalgamation of uh, uh, artificial intelligence and life sciences, we go a long way back. and. Um, so it's been five years since I'm working with the life sciences industry, and I can tell you that the opportunities that we have in this industry is uh, is huge. So, I mean, uh, just to give you a brief instance of, um, uh, uh, like, for an example, a drug to come out to the market. It, I mean, uh, I don't know if uh, I, I'm, I'm very sure people around here might be aware of it. For the greater panel, uh, it takes around like 14 years for a specialty drug to come out in the market. And when I say about like specialty, let me tell you about like rare diseases, like something which is related to cancer, something which is not curable through standard of care. When I say standard of care, as in like you go to a doctor, the doctor prescribes you a medicine and you follow a, 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 like a regimen and then, then you're like done in a week or two or say like in a month. But there are some of the diseases which are basically incurable for the lack of terms. Um, so our job, and the industry is to make sure that we come out with a drug that uh, increases the life expectancy of the subject. And to be very honest, it's a, it's a very competitive business. And so when I, when I got in the industry first, for me, it was like very Greek and Latin. Like, for example, if something is very incurable, then why try for it in the first place itself? But then when I got to know about the R&D part of it, so just to be in background, I'm working with the innovation team closely right now with a company called Bristol Myers Squibb. It's one of the major pharmaceutical manufacturers in the world. So sixth, to be honest, right now. So, uh, so there, you know, every time you go about like uh, uh, creating uh, or researching about a new drug, you file an NDA. When it comes to US FDA, it's called an NDA, new drug application. So uh, while filing for an NDA, it's so I, I used to think like what should be what would be the process for it and it was like typically manual like going around like writing up documents it's a very big team around like say a thousand or two thousand people talented people of course filing for nda there are like a couple of researchers who are involved in the preclinical thing so there are animal trials and uh, in silico things that happen but there was a challenge ahead of us, like if you have to accelerate the entire process let's say the entire process of filing an nda and you know, uh, writing a prototype. So prototype is is like a document where when you have to uh, conduct a clinical trial, uh, uh, there has to be a series of procedures that you have to follow across phase one, two, and three. So uh, the entire process of it takes around like two to three years, and that kills a lot of time. And that's the one of the biggest reason, you know, uh, like it takes around like 12 years for a drug to be out in the market. And, and the amount of money involved, it's close to like three to four billion dollars. So it's a, and, and, the, and the worst part of it is like uh, the probability of success. It drops significantly with every phase. Like in phase one, by the time you reach phase one, like 70% of the molecules that you have, uh, they might have failed, right? So uh, from the 30% molecules that have succeeded, by the time you reach phase three, 
it drops to about like the success rate is now nine percent. So, so you know, sorry to yeah. sorry to interject. I mean, it's really an interesting uh, field that you're talking about, and uh, thank you for kind of you know educating us and uh, giving us information which, of course, I was not privy to. Uh, very interesting facts. Um, just wanted to kind of you know quickly uh, ask you that uh, what has been the role of AI in the field of pharma so far? Because I understand that healthcare in general, the medical healthcare industry in general, is highly highly regulated. Otherwise, as well. And when it comes to the intersection of uh, artificial intelligence, uh, then obviously you know, I'm expecting that the regulations will be even tough. So uh, what has been the inroads for AI in your sector? And have you, uh, are you aware that you know, AI is currently being used? If yes, then to what extent? I understand that you know, I got an uh, absolute quick glimpse of the complexity yeah. of discussing it about. Sure, Sean. I've, I've been uh, told multiple times that I speak long. I'm sorry for that. No, like to, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it crisp. So um, the first thing that we did uh, to accelerate this, uh, the first initial step, step of, you know, uh, progressing on the document side. So uh, we incorporated NLP, right? I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of it. So we took a his, historical documents, whatever we had. So uh, this field is very uh, document intensive. So we made sure to categorize them into like, for example, uh, from the regulatory side, from the FDA, every time you file for, a, um, a, let's say, an NDA or a new prototype, sorry, a protocol document, they come back, they come back with the feedbacks. So you make these changes, you need to incorporate XYZs into that. So while going for a particular trial, so um, they ask whether have you done these, these, these tests. So this entire process takes around like a year or two, right? The to and fro of that. So, and it's, it's basically very document type. So they come back with emails and then there's a team representing here. So we, we did this thing, hey, why don't we take all the historical feedbacks and summaries that they have given us and then put it into a system and make sure to, you know, vectorize those texts and classify them into categories like, okay, these are the most essential ones that we need to uh, take into the picture. And these are the ones that we can let it slide by. So every time now our team writes a new protocol document, they are given like a dashboard of, hey, see, these are the questions for a particular, you know, uh, therapeutic area. When, when I say therapeutic area, let's say oncology, cancer. So these were the questions or the summaries of the feedback that the regulatory board has come back with historically. And now that you're conducting a new trial, make sure that these things are there. Or else there's the, this percentage of chance that the, the, the protocol might die out, or the, you might not get an approval. So this accelerated the entire process by say a year and the amount of cost it saved, it's close to $200 million, right? And so do you, do you uh, mean to say, we can safely summarize that AI is currently being used to reduce the lead time and also save, to save costs in the pharma sector? Not just that, uh, there, there's, there's one more thing. I just want to give you a quick background. So every time, uh, so somebody was talking about dropout rates of the children, so similarly, we have a very big challenge in clinical trials, which is called as dropout rate of subjects, the trial participants. So that was a, you know, there was a big task for us to make sure that it's it's still relevant, right? I mean, it's still an open challenge for us right now that how should we make sure that the dropout, dropout rate decreases and the enrollment increases of the subjects in the trials. So we went about like seeing what's the major, major problem that is uh, linked to the, that has a direct correlation with the top out rates of subjects and we found out it's it has to do with the site and it's uh, the site that means that there could be a doctor who could be very uh, intimidating that and it has a bad reputation that you know uh, they are not good with the subjects so that's the many that, that that's one of the reason that subjects drop out and there are certain uh, yeah, I'm, I'm forgetting the term so interventions basically like a way of conducting uh, a, a trial there are certain like for example there is an injection that we use right right uh, to collect say uh, blood of a subject and all those they have a certain impact on the subject so which which we call as burdens right so there are certain uh, interventions which are much burden burdensome and when it keeps occurring on a regular basis the subjects are bound to drop out so we we made sure to categorize uh, all these burdens created i mean uh, collected all the data overall and then uh, you know, uh, did a uh, did a couple of uh, research on top of that. That which are the most 
uh, you know burdensome interventions that we have and how much uh, how just in the interest of time i i mean i appreciate your energy and enthusiasm and the depth of knowledge that you have uh, thank you for kind of you know enlightening okay. us i also see uh, some comments from um, the gentleman who kind of you know allowed you to speak first mr biswajit nak uh, biswajit um, are you also from the pharma sector would uh, you like to no, i i am i am not from the pharma Okay. my my literacy is very very limited to analytics i have been around in this analytics industry for 20 years right just let me cut short like you described about the people compliance right this compliance are subject to uh, the geographical location suppose you come from the european union so there is a european union law if you come from the us there is a specific law and in in best of my knowledge uh, this uh, your bfsi is regulated by something called basel 3 and serban oxley and people compliance is also a part of that right and this is with the, uh, yes you are right plus the local regulator so it would be rbi for india it would be bank of yeah india. it could be rbi but these are it the local the like you are global uh, you, you, you are global right you are operating globally like uh, the banks or any of the financial institution so the international compliance is more necessary than the local compliance right uh, in addition to that what the biswajit was referring to the pharma industry the similarly the pharma is regulated by fda and what he described the application of the ai uh, because the pharma any of the regulated industry they are not liberated right so they have to adhere some kind of the compliance and pharma industry comply to the fda and the application of the neural network is very very limited because some part of the neural network goes into a black box theory you do not have enough of the evidence to suggest your research suppose i take the neural network right you are building a neural network you do not know like what is happening in the background what is the activation function has taken so it's popularly known as the black box right and no regulated industry or no regulator will take this as a black box you need to support with enough evidence and the documentation for any of the work you do right so Bish, which which field do you belong to would you like to kind of you know share something specifically to to that field because uh, that that's where we started if you could share something from the field that you come from what are the challenges what are the inroads ai has been has been making or not been able to make if you could share that Sure. Um, uh, no, the, uh, suppose the limitation of the AI, some of the components, as I described, uh, right? Uh, this neural network is a part of the AI, and right. So for the neural network, the due to this black box, the implementation in any of the regulated industry has become very very limited, or not uh, much of this thing, right? but what is the substitute like suppose i take the pharma industry because neural network or the ai they have been using for optimization they have an alternate called design of experiment right so this is not a part of the ai but it is very equally popular and equally applicable which can be an alternate to ai or the neural network right and again like in some of the pharma they have come out with a finished product right the applique like i know someone from dr reddy lab they have a product called uh, for ai for the drugs research and uh, uh, innovation which has been developed by the ai so these are the few of the things because if you talk about this compliance and the regulation today also due to uh, lack of the data integrity lack of bias means biasness right lack of the model monitoring right so no regulated industry are liberated so the uses of the ai is very very limited suppose i am very specific to the regulated industry such as banking financial such as pharmaceutical manufacturing industry right so you cannot do any kind of pure innovation or your incorporation of your choice it has to go through the compliance right 
right? So I think interesting uh, insights, uh, Biswajit, absolutely interesting. Um, uh, sorry, I, I'm just cutting here short. Uh, I need two things to uh, bring it up here. One, like there was somebody else who also wanted to share. Number one, number two, just a quick check with Anjan if uh, the next panel is ready or if we can continue with this interesting discussion. I can also see some questions coming from uh, Kumarika. There was a okay, so that has been answered. I think she wanted to uh, know about the diseases. Okay, fine. Um, so Anjan, is the next panel ready or can we take up uh, the next? Um, I think there was one lady who wanted to speak out as well. Somebody raised. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, you can take the next. Uh, uh, yeah. The question. Sure. So I'm, I'm, sign, I'm signing up for 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 this morning. Thank you so much, Vishwas, for sharing uh, your insights. Supriya, uh, can you just share your experience? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually, I'm Supriya Kumar Mishra. Okay, so you got uh, to. Well, <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Supriya. Yeah, so I actually work uh, as a data scientist with uh, government of Andhra Pradesh, and uh, here I'm working with uh, GST department, excise department, and other uh, revenue lending departments. So here also we are using AI uh, to some extent, and uh, I would like to share uh, something. So AI like, in governance. AI yeah, in governance. AI in governance. Okay. governance and Very interesting field. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. yeah. So uh, so. Like earlier, we used to like the philosophy is to uh, take the data which is useful and uh, like we can uh, like it's it should be we should define what data point we should collect so that we make a model. But in governance, it's different. We are collecting the data for compliances, and uh, then we are thinking what can we get out of this data. So it's like data, data everywhere, but uh, not a byte to use. So that uh, uh, problem comes up. And uh, there is, of course, problem of uh, data uh, cleanliness and all. But still, uh, we have used uh, data. And in GST, we have used it to find uh, some non-genuine taxpayers. We, we are using it in uh, effective enforcement of fraudulent taxpayers. Uh, so the problem statement here in GST is uh, we have 450,000 taxpayers or registered uh, GST entities throughout the state, and there are 7,000 offices uh, throughout the state. So it becomes near to impossible for uh, these offices to monitor all the taxpayers. So like uh, we have credit card frauds and all, so we have different ways uh, that has been identified, identified by these offices in which taxpayers can uh, make frauds. So we uh, are using those data points and those patterns, and we are making AI models out of that. So we uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh was one of the uh, one of the uh, states who started this initiative, and we had developed one of those models. We recover we could uh, discover around uh, uh, near to hundred crores of tax fraud with that, and uh, the state could earn around uh, uh, near to eight to ten crores uh, through fines. Uh, so that was one uh, point, uh, one achievement we did in uh, last year. And other things like in excise, we are also working in revenue forecasting uh, and uh, in different policy changes, we are also uh, uh, sitting with the people from the management consulting and we're also doing working with them in scenario planning and all. So revenue forecasting for a different kind of policy. So that is a new uh, thing that has come up. A new alcohol policy is coming up. We have also contributed in that. So we are also uh doing those alcohol sales forecasting and all uh so so it's a unit that has been set up in government of andhra with this sort of experimentation is going up and uh yeah so that's how it's it's new in india but uh, uh in central government so definitely a lot of uh, things is happening but state governments with the limited capacity are uh, experimenting uh, like this thank you Supriya, for sharing your experience in the governance uh, field and i think uh, you also gave examples of the impact or the results that you could uh, achieve through the usage of ai and um, given the success you also used a word called ex ex experimentation so uh, so i assume that there are a couple of things which are trying on a pilot basis and uh, this is the impact or the results that you would get you would get more uh, approvals for using ai for uh, for their projects as well mm -hmm. Good. So I, I didn't see any other hands uh, so far. So Anjan, we have the next panel, I believe. 
we have perfect. So, uh, you know, so please go ahead with the next panel. And uh, yeah, we'll come back later on some other interesting discussions when we have time. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. We can hear you, Sujit Bhai. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, but I should be given with uh, presentation. Uh, yes. Again, upon a great person, my china, so that the again, huh? Um, upon the radio chanty, thank you, host Asiji, but more present share career screen share career coach coach on the name. Okay, take it so. Monos by your chanty, monos panic away again. Okay. So uh, it is up upon the panel. Please take take over. Yeah, Dr. Sujit, uh, please go ahead. Yes, good morning. And uh, thank you, Odisha AI, for giving me this opportunity for uh, giving the presentation. And Mr. Dr. Sujit Kumar Konda, uh, Professor, Department of Computer Science, Gandhi Institute for Technology. And a uh, lot of discussion today will be going on generative AI and uh, all AI technologies of the recent times. And my topic, what is given to me, is inner working of the transformer. So, transformers are now the buzzword since last four to five years. They are the, <clears throat> they, uh, that is the most important technology behind the uh, Neural network and all AI application that you see nowadays, including Chat uh, GPT, uh, Brat, uh, Doll E, there are powerful type of architecture that has revolutionized the total AI field. So, to start with uh, the uh, lecture, we will be going through what is uh, Gen AI. Gen AI, everybody knows that. And Gen AI uh, models are trained on uh, vast amount of data, enabling them to understand the patterns, relationships, and styles. Once the models are trained, these models can generate uh, new content, and that can generate again uh, original outputs. Then uh, Gen AI is constantly evolving with uh, time. It is now it's in uh, child age. We can say that, and a lot of innovation and a lot of new technologies will be embedded into that, and it will grow in exponential way. And with uh, new techniques and models being developed to improve uh, its uh, capabilities. And then, what is the relationship between the Gen AI and the transformers? Transformer is the technology that is run behind the generative AI. <clears throat> And the, the relationship uh, is like that uh, the technology is uh, behind uh, Gen AI, which has evolutionized the, the total tasks that generative AI is uh, doing. And generally, it is more applicable in the large language models and uh, new content creation. The creation. Nowadays, we are using generative AI to create the content. It can write a poem for you. It can tell a story for you. And um, whatever you ask, you can, it, it can give you. And uh, the technology that runs behind all these things is the 
transformers. So we'll go to a brief history of uh, transformers. Generally, it started in 2007 in the Google people. The researchers at Google started this you know, technology at the 2007. The bot uh, transformer, the bot. Uh, transformers uh, and uh, the transformer is being used in, in different fields the multilingual transformer then the transformer has been modified it is used in the text processing and the generative uh, transformers and it is having a huge applications also for the non-text application uh, transformers like you can use the one protein pattern for the finding out uh, the protein pattern you can uh, predict the, the protein pattern using the generative ai and uh, transformers so starting from 2017 to 2023 so in this six years it has come a large way and you can we all are using the chat gpt and generative ai chat gpt 2 3 4 so all these uh, chat GTP, GPT models, they use, make use of the uh, transformers. So in this presentation, we will be discussing about the architecture of transformers as the topic says in our working of the transformer. We will be exploring the key components and that has been used in the transformers and uh, which has been used for the applications like machine translation, text translation, question answering all these applications then <clears throat> introduction to transformer transformers are built upon the foundation of uh, neural ne network which are generally computational uh, models inspired by the structure of the human brain this uh, transformer uh, can handle uh, sequential data such as uh, text speech time series uh, data and particularly effective uh, for the language uh, translation, text summarization, and the question answering. That means you can ask a question and it will answer. Then you can ask the question answer uh, session. You can go on asking. You can go on modifying your text. Uh, suppose you ask the first question, then you are not satisfied with that. Then you can go on asking uh, similar questions or modified question on that. Then this conversation will go on and the um, chat GPT will go on giving you answer as per your requirement. Then in the transformer, the basic technology that is used in transformer as compared to its uh, previous technology is the attention mechanism, attention mechanism and the self-attention mechanism. Mm, so the, what the uh, attention mechanism allows the model to focus on the different parts of the input sequence and ignore the relevant part of the information suppose you are the sequence of data is coming or sequence of text as they are which are to be analyzed um, by the system by the model then this attention mechanism will give attention as the name says it will give attention to the important words and it will try to ignore uh, the not important or which are the words which are having not much importance on that sentence as you know that um, when the text will come it will come in the sentence form earlier what you used to do is that uh, they will take word by word and they will convert that and they will try to find out what is the meaning of the sentence but sentence is not a combination of words even if uh, words are there the complete meaning of the sentence will come only when the complete sentence is analyzed uh, parallelly okay and uh, and generally we have seen that uh, in languages the words in a sentence will have different meaning as compared to the surrounding words the words will have different meaning as compared to the uh, surrounding words suppose for the example server suppose um, server means who a server the meaning of server can be a person who is solving you maybe servant at your home and the server may also be the computer server that you are using in our um, computing field so the word is same and the meaning is different and how the meaning will be different so the meaning is different by its surrounding words so 
what you need to do is the money processing has to be parallel and we need the system the model need to find out what is the meaning of uh, what is the meaning what is the contextual meaning of that word it is not meaning of the word it is the con contextual meaning of the word has to be found out then only the exact uh, meaning of the sentence can be interpreted and it can be handled effectively <coughs> so we have some sentence and transformers are there they are uh, built on the part but is the bidirectional encoder representation from the transformers it is a nlp model and uh, it's a deep learning model also so in the but uh, every output element is connected to the every in input element and the weightage between them is dynamically calculated based upon their uh, connections so bot is a project of google they have developed it and they extend the transformer then the predecessor of the transformer is the recurrent network and the recurrent earlier the recurrent neural network has been used nowadays the transformers are used to, for uh, for advanced versions of the current uh, networks can we go to sir uh, yes slides are not changing can you click on the slide that you are presenting right now not changing yeah one minute. yes thank you no no it is not on full screen mode it is not working <coughs> in full screen you have to share the uh, entire window but it's okay you can uh, keep on uh, changing the slides here so that we can see just a minute Now it is fine. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. yes it's fine. It's fine. Okay. So actually, I have gone from <laughs> this slide to this slide. This in this slide, I have discussed about uh, a bit of uh, the generative AI, and in this slide, I have discussed about the history of. Uh, uh, transformers it started nearly at uh, 2017 now it is going on a lot of development and applications of transformers is going on in all the fields it is not only used in natural language processing um, but also it is used in uh, different it, it is used in uh, biology and it is used in uh, non text images also so there are different applications of uh, transformers as well there and it is going on <clears throat> increasing then we have discussed about uh, introduction about the transformers which is the building blocks of the neural network and the predecessor technology of the transformer is the neural uh, network uh, then the main uh, technology or the main uh, technology that uh, that enhances the performance of the transformer is the attention mechanism and uh, we are now we i was now discussing about the attention mechanism uh, how the attention uh, mechanism focuses on the relevant parts of the input sequence and ignore the irrelevant uh, information 
now i am i was discussing that that how in a sentence a particular word uh, the meaning of that word will change according to its surrounding words then uh, i was uh, discussing now the slide is visible Hello? yeah it's visible yeah it's visible okay so <clears throat> quickly can we wrap up so that other uh, i mean next panel up is ready for us Ah uh, yes, yes. So uh, the transformer technology replaces the recurrent uh, network uh, technology that has been used since years. So from 2017-18, now the transformer has uh, taken over over the neural network, and uh, the inner working of the uh, transformer is based on uh, three things mainly: encoder and the decoder. And the block diagram of encoder decoder is uh, shown here in the right hand side. Encoding is what encoder is the process that the input uh, sequence it processes the input sequence and convert it into a representation that captures its meaning and context. So the job of the encoder is it will it receive the input and uh, the input can be um, represented and uh, what is its exact exact meaning it has to be found out and in which context the text has been written that has to be. Encoded, then the decoder. Decoder uses the encoded representation to generate the output sequence. So the output of the encoder is fed to the decoder. Then the decoder will take the encoder's uh, output and it will generate the output sequence, which can be a translation, maybe a summary, or any other type of um, output. Then, as I have already told you, the basic block of uh, transformer is the attention layers. Both the encoder and uh, decoders contain multiple attention layers, which are responsible for calculating the attention weights and applying them to the input uh, sequence. So, the uh, how the recurrent uh, network and transformer is different is because of these attention layers. So, the uh, a series of attention layer is connected with both both encoders and uh, decoders and they will be calculating the attention weights and uh, they will be applying these attention weights uh, for the input sequence attention weights means what so some words in the sentence will have more attention and some words in the sentence will have <coughs> less attention uh, uh, less attention words are having less effect on the meaning of the sentence and uh, more weighted attention words are having more uh, effect on the meaning of the sentence in this way the attention layer will help to to extract uh, the uh, more valuable words and with uh, less valuable words valuable words means and the words who, whose meaning is uh, more and prominent in the meaning of the whole sentence. So the attention mechanism analyzes the input sequence and uh, calculate the attention weights of each word or token. So when a sentence will come, it will combination of different words. So those different words are uh, converted to different tokens. One word may be a one token, but uh, one word, one token may be a combination of few words. So all those um, the sentence is converted into tokens. Then the tokens are given weights. The weight is represent the importance of each word in the relation to the other words in the sequence. This is the most important thing. The weight represents the importance of each word in the relation to the other words in the sequence. Then the attention weights are used to compare the weight average of input sequence. Resulting in a contextual representation that captures the relationship between the words. So when you give um, weights to the different words, then this mechanism will help you to find out the weighted average of the input uh, sequence, which will finally result in contextual representation of the input words. That means what is the meaning of that with with, with respect to that context? Not only the exact meaning, but in accordance with the surrounding words, what will can be its meaning. Then uh, the transformer is having um, a few many processes. The beginning process is the tokenization. 
tokenization means what it is the process of breaking down the text into individual units of token these tokens are then converted into numerical representation so once the sentence is consist of different words they will be converted into different tokens and this token will be represented numerically so into numerical representation or embeddings embeddings means numerical value will be assigned each uh, token then embedding words are vectors that represent the meaning of a word in a numerical way so that embedding words will be represented as a vector and those vectors represent the meaning of a word they capture the semantic relationship between the words okay so these uh, vectors will be representing the semantic relationship between words in a sentence then the contextual embedding transformers um, use contextual embedding which means that the embedding of a word can change depending on its context in the sentence so the embedding value the vector value the representation may change according to the according to the context in the sentence for that particular word the main points of the transformer architecture it has an encoder as already discussed and uh, the decoder the in the left hand side this encoder will take the input uh, sequence then it will be tokenized it will be divided into different tokens or words then they will be embedded embedded means um, numerical value will be given to each uh, token then they will go through multi head self attention so this uh, self attention will be implemented here so that uh, the word which is having more priority will be given more weight and the words having less uh, priority in the sentence will be given less weight then they will go to multi head self attention then that will be given to the uh, de decoder then the decoder will go through multiple uh, cycles it will take the previous output as the input then again it will go through the same process then the decoder finally will give you the output then how to how to train the transformers i will take only 2 3 minutes uh, yeah. how to uh how to train the transformers so the uh, data processing goes like uh, this the first step is to process the data which involves uh, tokenizing the text and creating the embeddings means when the data will come the data will be divided into different uh, tokens by combination of one word or more than one words and they will be embedded with uh, numerical values then the model is trained by feeding it input sequence and the desired output sequence using back propagation to adjust the weight of the model so back and then the propagation technology is used uh, for the training the model then it goes to optimization the model's weights are optimized using a gradient descent algorithm to minimize the difference between the predicted output and the actual output so the difference between predicted output and actual output uh, will be analyzed for optimization so this is the one uh, transformer input is uh, there encoder uh, and uh, decoder is there the decoder will uh, take input the uh, pre processing output and uh, finally after different cycles it will give you the output so the case study transformer case study means in the gpt3 nowadays gpt4 also each gpt they make use of the you know, make use of the transformer behind the technology gpt3 is powerful uh, language model trained on a massive data set of uh, text it, it can generate the code that you want it is also used for translate uh, languages write different kinds of creative content and it, and in it can also answer your question in an informative ways gpt3 is also used in uh, chatbots virtual assistant and other applications that require human like conversation so it can convert it can continue the conversation one by one man to man like just a human being is other side it can understand your language it can understand your sequence it can understand your humor also and it can tell you a joke a time will come that it will take you a, it will tell you a joke and the uh, use of uh, transformers in the machine translation nowadays uh, it has been 100 more, more than 100 languages has been supported 
task member can handle translation between a vast number of language 90% accuracy is there and it is five ten faster than the previous technology the real world application is used everywhere nowadays used uh, it is used in language translation code generation text summarization image capturing chatbots are using it sentiment analysis these are the few fields in biology also it is used and then what will be the impact and the future direction of uh, transformers they have dramatically improved the natural language processing the main application of transform knowledge in natural language processing along with all other uh, fields achieving state of art as a result in translation summarization and question answering then the this a lot of research is uh, going on for uh, making advancement in the architecture of uh, transformers and how to um, improve the efficiency and uh, performance of the transformers again the transformers will also be used for uh, more uh, nlp applications and personalized uh, chatbots may be there for advanced ai assistance thank you Thank you, Dr. Sujit. Uh, uh, thank you for your uh, uh, good presentation. So, next uh, uh, panel, I believe, uh, uh, Mr. Sujit, Mr. Mahanti, Ilandri Mahanti from uh, NIC Government of India, the Joint Director of uh, uh, NIC, Minister of Electronics and uh, IT. So, welcome, welcome, uh, Nilati sir. Uh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, as our previous speaker already discussed a lot about the transformer architecture, chart GPT, and other things, uh, I'm having a little bit assumption that all the participants here is having some kind of uh, basic ideas about various kind of uh, evolution happened in the, the world of AI. So right now, we stand at a fascinating crossroad of in the technology area where our, where our advancement uh, has, uh, has an impact on both as an impressive advancement as well as a daunting advancement. Both sides is there in the field of AI. Uh, basically, basically, uh, this journey started few years before, few many years before, from the bio-inspired computing, from ant colony optimization, genetic algorithm, genetic programming uh, type of things. From uh, that area to it came to the single layer perceptron to multi layer perceptron, then uh, then then it became to uh, artificial neural network. Then the deep learn uh, deep uh, neural network came when the learning came into market. Then DNN came from DNN to CNN, CNN to RNN uh, because uh, all these things you can understand from the artificial neural network is nothing but just the wrapper or the advancement of the earlier technology single layer perceptron or multi layer perceptron technologies so rnn on top of the recurrent neural network lstm came so lstm you can see is uh, more and less the advancement technological advancement much more optimizations happen on top of the rnn and some some kind of core framework being the constant some kind of uh, auxiliary things added and uh, some uh, memory uh, cells added and this uh, new concept come as the LSTM. Then after LSTM, then GRU came. Till this journey of the evolution of the AI, it was looking like a very, you know, that linear advancement in the already existing technology, very linear advancement. But for example, we are having, uh, my entire talk will be a little bit philosophical angle, uh, policy making angle. You see, uh, we are having a car, the car, uh, for example, we are having a Swift, then Swift Desire, then some different model, different advancement, different accessories. So ultimately, it is the car. So the approach to reach out the solution related to AI, the approach is more and less same. Uh, there is some advancement in the mathematics, but more and less the approach, went to, approach was very, 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 very similar. Uh, but when the encoder decoder came, the transformer came, the large language model, the chart GPT kind of tools came in the market, and the research area that uh, everything you need uh, is the attention that paper got released. Uh, so there we realized that the approach is getting departed from in the conventional path to a new path. 
uh, the new relatively new path not completely new but relatively new why the transformer is based on encoder decoder is based on lstm somehow connected to lstm somehow connected to gre somehow connected uh, to neural network again so somehow it is connected but still it is a relatively new approach it despite of all this advancement in the current scenario all these advancement of the transformer arch architecture charge gpt like tools with our all with all our excitements we are still firmly in the realm of narrow ai this is the task specific ai whatever we are trying to develop that is very task specific so the future is after the gen ai uh, if i can consider the gen ai as a gai then the future is going to be the agi artificial general intelligence you know that uh, uh, open uh, open ai company of elon musk they have they are also working on the product development for the agi what is the agi agi is nothing but that you will develop this artificial intelligence model and tool that will not do any specific task and that will be not trained for a specific task in in in, in specific but in generic it can do multiple different types of tasks uh, just like any human being we can read uh, documents we can understand we can uh, detect the object inside the image uh, we can speak and we can listen all at a at a time so different types of activity can be done by a single model so that will be only considered as called agi right now we are after the invent of gen ai and different uh, advancement of the gen ai uh, we are still remained uh, from a distant uh, from the agi achievement till now we are not in the uh, we are not nearby to the agi as well so while narrow ai is achieve, achieving a remarkable success it is still far from the concept of generalized intelligence we are very very far from that area right now so the journey towards the agi may be very fast forward with the help of the gen ai but uh, i visualize that the like uh, like ann2 uh, dnn2 cnn2 rnn lstn gru this linear journey it is not uh, uh, gen ai is not a direct tangent uh, towards the artificial general intelligence so to achieve the agi the industries are working on a completely new approach and in that approach the generative ai algorithms may have a role by assisting or augmenting the power of the developers of the ai tools like gen ai can develop a lot of realistic synthetic data create models out of the fly on the fly multiplying the power of the ai developer by assisting them in writing codes and optimizing their algo in this process they can the ai the gen ai can make it the fast forward to reach at the uh, artificial general intelligence this is one part second part is that what is coming next my topic was that after the gen ai what next what do you need to think about the next part is that you think uh, right now we are talking a lot of uh, points about uh, data security information security so we are concerned about data security information security government of india government of state government various countries across the world they make data security policies they make act and law that protect the individual of the citizen of that country from data theft and data misuse right now we need to also think about intelligent security because you understand tons of tons of data the hacker is not interested in that data the hacker is interested a ai model which executed its program executed itself on the tons of tons of data and the crispy output of that tons and tons of data is represented or manifested it into a mathematical equation and if somebody will steal that mathematical equation he don't need the tons of tons of data so the government need to uh, is, is in a process to create policies and uh, act and uh, legal framework to protect the model or the protect the intelligence of uh, a digital intelligence in addition to the data and information right so this is one aspect that we also need to think about how to protect the intelligence of the ai models uh, in our future uh, end of year this is one aspect uh, now another aspect is that uh, ai or uh, you know generative uh, sorry general intelligence artificial general intelligence 
these things are going to come up in your future it is not much uh, ahead of uh, time but it is at least will take some years so when we are thinking about the future uh, we should not uh, consider or visual visualize our future of the ai in isolation there are various kind of different technological landscapes they are also developing they are also evolving very rapidly in the same pace as the ai but uh, uh, not visible to the other regular public just like for the example quantum computing uh, we if you are considering the future of ai well, how it will be then high performance computing the super computer the power computation is very very important because if there is no tpu terra processing uh, you know, tpus of uh, uh, the google if there is no concept of gpu uh, then possibly there is no deep learning came came to the market could could have been possible deep learning could have not could have not been possible for the gpu because you need a lot of computing power so when you talking about high performance computing is very very important for us then how can you ignore the landscape of development uh, happening in the quantum computing area you can imagine few years before we are discussing and arguing that uh, google is claiming that he is having a quantum computer ibm is claiming that they are having a quantum computer that is true or wrong, true or false it is a fake news or, or correct news but what happens after few years uh, after in 2024 right now google ibm in fact india and tata institute of fundamental research they are having the real quantum computer in their premise and after that we got convinced that the hardware of the quantum computer is not accessible to normal public so being a researcher we may not have the access to the hardware the the quantum computer so our research is very limited so we never focused on that area within few years what happened companies like google uh, uh, released a product like siric and ibm produce uh, pro released like uh, kiskit in the siric and kiskit you can write a code software you can code program which can be executed in a quantum computer and if you want to execute in a quantum computer what you need to do is that you simply push the program into the google uh, google cloud or the ibm cloud uh, the ibm will take the program and execute in a real quantum computer and get the output back to you using the cloud computer matlab basically quantum computer as a service you can use it you can go to the google and search ibm quantum computing platform they can give you a free of cost you can write a program and execute in a real quantum computer get the result back so this advancement is happening in the different part different landscape of the quantum computer one time will come when we will think that uh, this uh, quantum neural network concepts the quantum neural network concepts can be uh, can be uh, very possible and when it will be very possible it is as in that you can run a ai model a neural network based model or any gen ai type of thing, uh, thing model on some systems they are 100 times faster than what we currently uh, what what capacity currently we are having so quantum neural network will be remain uh, right now it is uh, it is remain largely uncharted but this intersection of the quantum computing world and the ai can definitely become a uh, you, you know become a uh, catalyst towards getting towards reaching to the agi as early as possible perhaps within 2 years or 3 years open ai is claiming that is they can reach, reach to the agi uh, based product within 2 uh, 3 years now when we have the gen ai when we have the agi you think about a concepts called technological singularity what is this concept the technological singularity the singularity is a physics uh, point and technological singularity is a point uh at which the technological growth becomes so uncontrollable and irreversible that anybody cannot predict what is going to happen for example you have developed a tool that can create another tool which is much more intelligent than itself the original parent then the second tool can create another tool or another product which is much more intelligent than the second one and it will create a cascading effect and the output and the result that is not predictable to our human being so that is called technological singularity this technological singularity may be go towards a positive direction may go towards a negative direction as a result of which the most uh, uh, the top technocrats in the entire world they sit together they are doing analysis and accordingly they are taking very uh, very cautious steps towards the agi development and after gen ai where it will go where it will move they are taking very 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 cautious decisions and steps 
and the research are very targeted uh, they have to go through the stringent ethical uh, uh, committees rules and regulations to go uh, in that uh, part uh, not going further into the tech parts uh, what i like to say that how this gen ai or agi in future if it is coming in the futuristic uh, agi is going to help the humankind the government the policy makers uh, in in which manner you see uh, we have the some some examples we are having you see uh, there are uh, subsidiary intelligence bureau in a country uh, there are military intelligence in our country there are uh, there are you know raw uh, research and analysis wing in our country so every intelligence unit they used to give their intelligence to the government and they are intelligence with each other to military to police department police department to military they used to share everything uh, 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 the uh, the uh, uh the the the, info, the intelligence need to be integrated and the intelligence need to be you know that uh, uh a fruitful a fruitful intelligence conversion from information to the intelligence is a tough job as a result of which a multi agency center established in our country so that everybody can be coordinated in a proper manner imagine a ai system which take the intelligence from different intelligence agencies and understand analyze all those intelligence together and create a thread uh, just predict a thread vector that that could be a possible impact because all this information together is leading towards one attack on that area so the intelligence can also be automated and the prediction can also be automated uh, second uh, use cases what i can understand that you know united nation has defined that 17 sdg goal sustainability development goal for each and every country uh, most of the goals are very overlapping with each other for example if in one of the goal you want to food security you have to expand the area of the agriculture in another goal you have the environmental protections where you have to expand the forest area so they are very counter overlapping to each other if you want to expand this particular vertical and develop the one vertical then another vertical is affected so it is quite impossible that we can be developed in all the 17 verticals eight we are having only possibilities that we can have a well balanced sdg means uh, we are not completely food security it we are not completely bad environmental uh, parameters so how to reach each verticals in an optimized manner and what is the optimized manner to find out that we are having a lot of it verticals it software ecosystems how these particular software ecosystems we can get the telemetry data then the ai can analyze i can suggest that what government government policies uh, can be recommended so that all the 17 development goals can be achieved uh, without affecting each other in a much more best optimized way so that could be one possible and very effective uh, policy making level how the gna ai can help the government uh, third thing is that the you know that currently we are having with low uh, 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 success rate in while you are having some court case you are having some problem in the court then in the court itself right now we are using the uh, ai tools to analyze the court case and give uh, suggestions recommendations to the judges uh, to help them in rapid uh, decision making uh, in the future the gen ai can also use can be used by the law enforcement agencies by taking the investigation fact reports and doing the investigation connecting the uh, missing dots together and create the theory on which the law enforcement agency can act to resolve any cases very easily also this list are endless when you are having uh, the stool in in our hand the power in your hand this list are endless and there can be n number of uh, use cases but right now instead of focusing on the application how it can be very useful to the society we may need to work on making the technology robust number 1 safe number 2 secure number 3 so uh, uh, as i was told that i have been provided for 10 minutes of time so i just like to conclude here so that other participant can get a fair chance of the, uh, chance of their share uh, so if any uh, any questions or anything will be there so we can we can have a discussion otherwise we will conclude here thank you yes vishwajit ji Yes. Uh, uh, you have raised hand if you want to ask and discuss anything. Uh, Mr. Nilayathri, can you please enlighten us? Like, what do you mean by the synthetic data? 
synthetic data you are talking about synthetic data right yeah, yeah. Uh, basically whenever we are uh, working on the ai there are two types of uh, models one uh, uh, basically takes some data some voices manoj just uh, there are two types of things is that they takes uh, data for training data set and we work on the training data set then generate some kind of um, uh, model uh, ai models are of, of course two types in which uh, there will be one model and that will model free ai can have uh, it can generate a model it may not generate a model still it can be ai so again ai can have two things it may have training data it may not have training data for example though in those cases in to develop any ai model you need some training data and you don't have the data then what happens our researcher goes to the kaggle and uh, download some training data sets of foreign country some 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 data set from us and uh, russia some uh, some data sets which is already augmented or manipulated data sets and uh, those data sets they want to use it in the context of india so due to the lack of data sets and proper data sets our researcher get hampered and whenever in any institution you will go you will find that do you have data to this research once you have the data then there is a lot of hope but without data there is no thing so gen ai right now is being used to generate synthetic data means dummy data which is a much more realistic in nature they create the pattern using the pattern they create a lot of dummy data and little bit augmentation in the data uh, horizontal skip, uh, skipping uh, skewing of the, uh, the different types of augmentation of the data so that the realistic looking data can be generated and those data can be used for training the ai model where there is no actual data actually present that is why that there is why the gen ai is in use right now uh, generally right here how does it differ from because from ages now we have been managing with the simulated data we have been using monte carlo simulation and because the data point generates from the data itself right suppose you have 100 point of data i wanted to create a millions data i can apply any kind of the simulation i can generate data rather than having dependency on the foreign countries so how the synthetic data differs from the simulated data no 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 that simulated data uh, that you are generating the simulated data without depending on the foreign country data you are having some only the one one lakh data from one lakh data you are generating one million data so for that generation only the gen ai is now uh, now being used to generate the data out of this out of this particular data they can generate data the point is that here you have to say the pattern they are they are finding the pattern they are generating the data for you that part, that uh, generation of that data is become very simple and easier for them right now this is very easier in an easy way you can do that and i would like to add some point because for uh, the data security there is a great advancement has happened now uh, because we all know the miti is the statutory body for cyber security right so it's the government of india statutory body for cyber security and they make the policy for all across what we consume for the cyber security right so, so now they have been working more towards that extended from the data security to the forensic security right, right? and uh, i have this policy documentation with, with me anyone would like to have what is the road map of miti the government of india statutory body in terms of the application of the generative uh, ai model right so i can share with all of you in best interest of our community so you can have a clear idea about the government of india direction for in terms of uh, the generative ai uh, for the application of the cyber security and um, for academic interest now this forensic security the forensic science is booming like anything so for the career aspiration also right so the forensic science could be an alternate discipline even who has an interest in data science thank you the hey, one aspects i just like to add here is that uh government is on the pinnacle is having a lot of policy and working on the different policies uh, how ai can be utilized in a positive way number 1 number 2 how uh, we should not uh, encourage the use of ai in a negative way encouraging in a positive way discouraging from using being used in a negative way but right now uh, running ai model on top of any data and that ai model generated on top of the data 
to secure that model that is a point of concern right now for example we are having the data of the rto we run we ran a mod ai model on top of the rto data the rto data is there the hacker is not interested in the rto data the hacker is interested in the model generated from the rto data now the concern is that what is the authentic what is what is the legal framework that somebody is running the data on uh, running ai model on top of my data i am working in the bank uh, sorry i am a consumer in the bank i am doing a lot of transactions my transactions are uh, private to myself and it, these transactions are there in the database of the bank bank is running a ai model on top of my data the data in which i am entangled and after that this particular model is not properly secured by the bank and it has been stolen by the by the hackers and uh, as a result of which uh, in some way i am also getting affected so what will be the policy how it will be handled third party uh, analysis tool is going to happen on my data my footmarks so that is a point of uh, concern right now uh, yes parijav you can ask discuss um uh, sir just a quick question uh, as you suggested uh, about the utility of uh, synthetic data for training your models so aren't you concerned about the hallucination of llms while utilizing your uh, synthetic data to train those models yeah that is uh, that is a uh, that is a issue uh, that uh, we are concerned about that actually that is true that's true hallucination problems will be uh, there but uh, it is it is there there is a concern is there you are true you are you are correct the problem is here is that the tool uh, the 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 model that is used to, to generate the uh, generate the uh, synthetic data and uh, the, if the same model can able to consume the data to enhance itself so in any way so where it will lead what kind of model is going to be trained what kind of program it is going to become so those are the areas actually this is a ethical part of the ai development and you know few uh, few years before after the chat gpt uh, has been released uh, 12 big research firms including the open ai itself uh, they have discussed and they have stopped and paused the research activity for any uh, model which is beyond the capacity of the chat gpt for at least one year so that they can do the proper assessment of the research is going in a positive or negative directions so those aspects are there thank you Okay, Vishwajit, you want to speak anything? Yes, just allow me. Just <laughs> I was curious because uh, during the course of the conversation uh, from Raigada, we had and uh, we had a question by a young boy, right? How can I uh, take this drone into by sensor base, right? So, uh, so uh, for me, my un- input would be. Uh, because now this analytics has moved to the edge analytics that is also an extension of iot like how the tesla car is moving 
right? So you can deploy the AI model into the sensor itself. So you did not to control the drone uh, in through uh, the remote, right? So it can be controlled uh, by the sensor also. And this has been working in form of this age analytics. And this age analytics is also an advancement like uh, in memory data processing, in database analytics, right? So that has been extended. So this, this will not be an imagination. It will be a reality very soon. That drain drone can be operated in a sensor. Right, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Anyone else want to speak anything? They can raise their hands or they can unmute themselves. Okay. Okay, Ravindra sir, you want to say anything? Fine. Okay, let me use this time as a filler. I will discuss about model monitoring. This will be a little bit technical. I hope you will be here with me. Are you able to see my screen? I'm audible, right? Yeah, you are audible. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, I am lead MLOps engineer in PlusWorks. So I especially work on model evaluation and model observability, model monitoring, this stuff. So I will give a whole perspective of how we do this. You are presenting uh, some things? Sorry? You are presenting something, your PPT is not visible. Oh, uh, you can see a flow chart, right? Uh, no, yeah, we I... can we can view your I can view we I please I can view your PPT very well and it is crystal clear. Awesome. This problem. Let me I can see the uh, uh, we, we can view the flow diagram. Okay, that's only I'm sharing. Let me share in task then. Okay, uh, is it visible now? Yes, I can see it. Uh, yeah, we can view the screen. Please go okay. ahead. Awesome. Thanks. Okay, so MLOps is a like a uh, section of ML or AI, you can say, where we deploy the model and we do end to end processing of. Some audio language. Uh, when I am end to end ML pura processing guru model pura starting to jadhi mukhi first time problem identification guru. Say problem ta actually ML related problem na ta koi ame non ML algorithm use karke bhi solve kar pariyo. 
सेटा आमे फर्स्ट एनालिसिस करिबो तापर देखिया कि तापै हमरो डाटा कोठ आसीबो से डाटा डाटा इंजीनियरिंग हो डाटा इंजीनियरिंग रे बहुत सारा स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व रहइबो जेंति डाटा कोठ आसीबो डाटा रो वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी माने केते इंटरवल रे हमको डाटा मिलिबो डाटा रियल टाइम हो ना डाटा बैच रे मिलिबो डाटा रे कोन कोन प्री प्रोसेसिंग हो डाटा स्ट्रक्चर अछ ना नै डाटा जदि आसीबो से उटे रिलेशनल डेटाबेस इन द एसक्यूएल माय सिक्वल की पोस्ट्रेस सिक्वल को जीवा कि कोनोसी नॉन रिलेशनल जेंती मोंगो डीबी हेगला कि कसेंड्रा हेगला कि कलम ना डीबी की एडब्ल्यूएस रा हम हाउ से डीबी को चाय परिवा से सब डेटा इंजीनियरिंग हबो आमे जदी मॉडल ट्रेन करिवा से मॉडल पई डेटा केते स्पीड रे आसीबो केते वॉल्यूम रे आसीबो आ कोड स्टोर हो से सो हम फर्स्ट डाटा इंजीनियरिंग बे रखु डाटा इंजीनियरिंग अंडर रे जदि हम आउट के भीतर को जीवा डाटा पार्ट आसीबो गोटे डाटा लेक आसीबो आउ डा सो डाटा मार्ट टाइप रो डाटा लेक रे हम रॉ डाटा रखु डाटा मार्ट रे हम जोटा स्पेस डाटा वेयर हाउस भी किछि तकु कहंदि सेथरे हम मॉडल डायरेक्टली जोटा यूज करियो ऑलरेडी प्रोसेस डाटा सेटा हमरे एठी डाटा मार्ट रे रहे डाटा मार्ट आसला पर हमें एक्सप्लोरेटरी डाटा एनालिसिस करू एटा मेनली डाटा साइंटिस्ट माने जुपिटर नोटबुक यूज करी की से माने देखन दी की डाटा रे केतेटा एनएन वैल्यू अछि माने नॉल वैल्यू अछि केतेटा रो रे माने आउटलायर्स अछि तार सब से माने डायग्राम करनती डायग्राम कर की से माने देखन दी की डाटा हमर स्ट्रक्चरड अछि ना नै आ से डाटा हमर पूरा ठीक रे क्यूरेटेड अछि ना नै जो थरे हमें परे एनालिसिस कर परिबा सेटा को हमें ईडीएस स्टेप रे देखु सेथरे हमें डिसाइड करो कि को प्रॉब्लम जो हमर अछि सेथरे हमें को अल्गोरिथम यूज करबा को मॉडल यूज करबा कोन कले लाभ होबो से सो हमें ईडीएस स्टेप रे हमें चेक करू इथरे मेनली छोटे छोटे पीओसी करी कि गोटे जो मेनली जुपिटर नोटबुक रे टेस्ट करा जाय नेक्स्ट हमर हबो फीचर इंजीनियरिंग फीचर इंजीनियरिंग रे एटा एमएल मो एटा माने एलएलएम को अपन दासिनी एमएल माने ट्रेडिशनल गुड आमे जो चैट जीपीटी पर र एमएल को आमे कोछु जेन एआई चैट जीपीटी पूर्व र आमे कोछु ट्रेडिशनल एआई सो एटा मो एबे ट्रेडिशनल एआई र पाइपलाइन को होची नेक्स्ट आसीबो फीचर इंजीनियरिंग फीचर इंजीनियरिंग रे आमे देखु जो स्ट्रक्चरड डाटा हमर आसीबो सीक्वेंशियल डाटा रे हो कि नॉन सीक्वेंस नॉन सीक्वेंशियल मॉडल रहो सेथरे हमें को को फीचर्स को नेगी कोन कोन इनपुट नबा जोथरे हमरो लेबल के आउटपुट प्रेडिक्ट हे परियो को को फीचर्स हम को लागो छि के अधिक कोरिलेट हो छि आउटपुट सहित से सब हमें ए फीचर इंजीनियरिंग रे डिसाइड करू ए जाय किसी क्वेश्चन अछि एटा म खाली ओवरव्यू दे दो छि असली मॉडल मॉनिटरिंग ही कहबी तापर फीचर इंजीनियरिंग परे जदि किसी क्वेश्चन अछि अपन पचारि परिबे नेक्स्ट अछि ची मॉडल ट्रेनिंग मॉडल ट्रेनिंग रे हमें मॉडल ट्रेन करू सेठी हम डिफरेंट मैट्रिक्स नै थौ मॉडल ट्रेनिंग रा गोटे मैट्रिक्स यूज हुए आ मॉडल मॉनिटरिंग रे डिफरेंट मैट्रिक्स यूज हुए यूजुअली सेम बी हे पारे किंतु प्रोडक्शन रे आ जोटा ट्रेनिंग रे मैट्रिक्स यूज हुए सेटा माने 100% गारंटीड नो कि सबडे सेम रहइबो मॉडल ट्रेनिंग रे हमें ट्रेनिंग डाटा ऊपर है हमें जो नॉर्मली केंद्र हुए उटे डाटा सेट को हमें स्प्लिट करो ट्रेन टेस्ट और वैलिडेशन डाटा सेट तक वो क्रॉस वैलिडेशन करने की डिफरेंट डिफरेंस है वो मेकानिज्म अच्छी सेंटी हमें करी के हमें मॉडल ट्रेनिंग करी उटे मॉडल को फाइंटियन करी के हमें डिसाइड जेतेले जेएनआई आसजिवो सेतेबेले एई सब स्टेप रे हम पई जेएनआई कर दो छी माने एडम जेएनआई कहो छी माने जोटा हमे खाली एपीआई कॉल करी जान दो छे धर धरंतु हमे चैट जीपीटी को कॉल कर छे सॉरी ओपन एआई रो एपीआई को कॉल कर छे कि अमेजन एडब्ल्यूएस बेडरॉक्स रो एपीआई को कॉल कर छे क्लाउड रो एपीआई को कॉल कर छे से सब हमे ई सब स्टेप ऑलरेडी से माने हम पई कर दे जंदी हमें खाली से एपीआई को कॉल करचे जदी हमें फाइन ट्यूनिंग करचे ताले से इतरे इठी आपूर्व आ गोडे स्टेप आसीबो फाइन ट्यूनिंग डाटा यूज करी 
ସେଇଥିରେ ଆମେ ଏଇ ମଡେଲ ଟ୍ରେନିଂ ସ୍ଟେପ ଟା ହେଇଯିବ ଫାଇନ ଟ୍ୟୁନିଂ ସ୍ଟେପ ଏଇଟା ସବୁ ହେଲା ପରେ ଆମେ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ରେ ଡିପ୍ଲୟ କରୁ ଏଇ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ରେ ଡିପ୍ଲୟ ପରେ କଣ କଣ ସବୁ ହୁଏ ମାନେ ମୁଁ ଆକ୍ଚୁଆଲି ଏଇ ସବୁ ଜିନିଷରେ କାମ କରେ ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ଆଉ ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ଫାଷ୍ଟ ହେଲା ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ଆଉ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ସେମ ନା ଡିଫରେଣ୍ଟ ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ରେ କଣ ହୁଏ ନା ଆମେ ଚେକ୍ କରୁ କି କଣ କଣ ଆମେ ସବୁ ମନିଟର କରୁଛେ କି ମଡେଲ ର ପରଫରମାନ୍ସ କେମିତି ହେଉଛି ତାର ଆକ୍ୟୁରେସି କଣ ଅଛି ତାର କିଛି ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟିଂ ହେଉଛି କି ସେ ସବୁ ଆମକୁ ମାନେ ହ୍ୱାଟ ହ୍ୱାଟ ଇଜ ହ୍ୟାପନିଂ ସେଇଟା ଜଣା ପଡିବ ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ରେ ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ରେ ଜଣା ପଡିବ କି ଯାହା ହେଉଛି ସେ ନେଇ ଆମକୁ ଆକ୍ସନ କଣ ନେଇପାରିବ ଆମେ ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ଏମିତି ରହିବ ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ସବୁବେଳେ ଆଫ୍ଟର ଇଟ ୱିଲ ମାନେ ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ହେଇସାରିଲା ପରେ ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ତାକୁ ଫଲୋ କରିବ କେବେ ହେଲେ ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଡ ଲୋନ ଏକଜିଷ୍ଟ କରିବନି ସେ ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ରେ ଯାହା ହେଇଥିବ ହେଲା ପରେ ଯୋଉ ମାନେ ଯୋଉମାନେ ଷ୍ଟାର୍ଟିଂ କରନ୍ତି ଏମ ଏଲ ଅଫ ସିମ୍ପ୍ଲିମେଣ୍ଟ କରିବା ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ଯଦି ଆମେ ଲେବଲ ୱାନ୍ କରିବା ମଡେଲ ଅବଜରଭାବିଲିଟି ଲେବଲ ଟୁ କହିବା ତାଙ୍କ ସିଷ୍ଟମ ଟା ସେତେ ଅଧିକ ମାଚିଅର ହେଇଯାଇଛି ତାପରେ ଦେଖିବା ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ରେ କଣ କଣ ହଉଛି ଏ ଯାଇ କିଛି କ୍ୱେଶ୍ଚିନ ଅଛି ନେକ୍ସଟ ଏବେ ଡାଟା ସାଇଣ୍ଟିଷ୍ଟ ଆସିଲେ କି ଏମ ଏଲ ଇଞ୍ଜିନିୟର ଆସିଲେ ସେମାନେ ମଡେଲ କୁ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ରେ ଡିପ୍ଲୟ କରିଦେଲେ ତାପରେ ଆକ୍ଚୁଆଲି କଣ ହୁଏ ସେଇ କେସ ରେ କଣ ହୁଏ ନା ମଡେଲ ମନିଟରିଂ ର ଗୋଟେ ଏମ ଏଲ ଅଫିସର ଗୋଟେ ଷ୍ଟେପ ଅଛି ସେଇଥିରେ ଫାଷ୍ଟ ଆମେ ଦେଖୁ କି ମଡେଲ ଇନପୁଟ ରେ ଡିଫରେଣ୍ଟ ଡିଫରେଣ୍ଟ ସବୁ ପାରାମିଟର ଆମେ ଚେକ କରୁ ଫାଷ୍ଟ ହେଲା ସିଷ୍ଟମ ର ହେଲ୍ଥ ଯୋଉ ମଡେଲ ଯୋଉ ସିଷ୍ଟମ ଆସୁଛି ଯୋଉଠି ଆମର ମଡେଲ ରନ ହଉଛି ସେ ତାର ହେଲ୍ଥ କେମିତି ଅଛି ଯଦି ଆପଣ କ୍ୟୁବର୍ଟିସ ରେ ଡିପ୍ଲୟ କରୁଥିବେ ସେଥିରେ ତାର ହାର୍ଟ ବିଟ୍ ଚେକ୍ କୁହାଯାଏ ତାର ଲାଇଭଲିନେସ ପ୍ରୋବ ଥାଏ ସେଇଟା ଚେକ୍ କରିବା ପାଇଁ କି ସେ ପଡ କି ସେ ଯୋଉ ସର୍ଭର ଅଛି ସେଟା ଚାଲୁଛି ଚାଲୁଛି ନା ନାହିଁ ସେଟା ହେଲା ସିଷ୍ଟମ ହେଲ୍ଥ ଚେକ୍ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ତାପରେ ଆସୁଛି ଡେଟା ସ୍କିମା ଡେଟାରେ ଯୋଉ ସ୍କିମା ଆମେ ଆମର ଟ୍ରେନିଂ ହେଇଥିଲା ଯୋଉ ଡେଟାରେ କି ଆମର ଯୋଉ ଏବେ ଯୋଉ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ରେ ବି ଯୋଉ ଡାଟା ଆମକୁ ଏବେ ଆସୁଛି ସେ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ଡାଟା ର ସ୍କିମା ହଠାତ୍ କିଛି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଇଗଲାନି ତ ସେଇଟା ଆମର ଏଇ ଡାଟା ସ୍କିମା ମାନେ ଡାଟା ସ୍କିମା ଭାଲିଡେସନ ସେଇଟା ଏଥିରେ ଚେକ୍ ହୁଏ ନେକ୍ସଟ ହେଲା ଡେଟାର କ୍ୱାଲିଟି ଏଥିରେ ଯୋଉ ଆମେ ପ୍ରି ଡାଟା ଇଞ୍ଜିନିୟରିଂ ଷ୍ଟେପ ରେ ମୁଁ କହିଥିଲି ଆଉ ଯୋଉ ଇଡିଏ ରେ କହିଥିଲି କି ଆମେ ଡାଟା କ୍ୱାଲିଟି ଚେକ୍ ପାଇଁ ଦେଖୁ ଆଉଟ ଲାୟର କିଛି ହେଇଗଲା କି ତାର ଆଭରେଜ ଆଉଟ ଦେଖୁ ତାର ଏନ ଏନ ଭାଲ୍ୟୁଜ କେତେଟା ଅଛି ଦେଖୁ ସେମିତି ଆମେ ଏଠି ଡାଟା କ୍ୱାଲିଟି ପାଇଁ ବି ଗୋଟେ ଚେକ୍ କରିପାରିବା କି ସେଥିରେ କଣ କଣ ଏବେ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ଡାଟାରେ କେତେଟା ଆମକୁ ସେ ଷ୍ଟେପ ଆମେ ଚେକ୍ କରିପାରିବା ଇନପୁଟ ଡାଟା ସେଟ ଯେହେତୁ ଏଇଟା ଦେଖନ୍ତୁ ମଡେଲ ଏଇଠି ଅଛି ଏପଟେ ଇନପୁଟ ଅଛି ଏପଟେ ଆଉଟପୁଟ ଅଛି ଇନପୁଟ ମଡେଲ କୁ ଯୋଉ ଇନପୁଟ ଆସୁଛି ସେଇ ଇନପୁଟ ରେ ଯଦି କିଛି ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ହେଲା କିଛି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଲା ତାକୁ ଆମେ କହୁ ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ରେ କଣ ହୁଏ ଏକ୍ଜାମ୍ପଲ କିଛି ସିଜନାଲିଟି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଇଗଲା ଯେମିତି ଏବେ ଦୁର୍ଗା ପୂଜା ଆସୁଛି ସେଇ ହିସାବରେ ଲୋକଙ୍କର କିଣିବାର ଷ୍ଟାଇଲ ବି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଇଥିବ ଲୋକମାନେ ଅଧିକ କିଣିବେ କି ନ୍ୟୁ ଗ୍ରୁପ ଅଫ ୟୁଜର୍ସ ଆସିଗଲେ କି କନଜ୍ୟୁମର୍ସ ପ୍ରିଫରେନ୍ସ ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଇଗଲା ସେଇ ସବୁ ହେଲେ ଇନପୁଟ ଡାଟା ଆମର ଯୋଉ ଟ୍ରେନିଂ ଡାଟାରେ ଆମେ ଆମ ମଡେଲ କୁ ଟ୍ରେନ କରିଥିଲେ ସେଇ ଡାଟା ହିଁ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ରେ ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଇଗଲା ସେଇଟାକୁ ଆମେ ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ରେ ଚେକ୍ କରୁ କି ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ଡାଟା ଏବେ ବି ଇନପୁଟ ଟେଷ୍ଟ ସରି ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ ଡାଟା ଏବେ ବି ଟ୍ରେନିଂ ଡାଟା ସହିତ ସେମ ଅଛି ନା ଅଲଗା ଅଛି ଆ ପାଇଁ ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ପାଇଁ ଡିଫରେଣ୍ଟ ଥା
कि आमर आउटपुट कांसेप्ट ही पूरा चेंज हेगला फॉर एग्जांपल जो हाउसिंग करंट प्राइस चेंज हेगला जिस प्रति वर्ष आमर एग्जांपल भुवनेश्वर रा हाउसिंग रेट 12% रे धर बढ छि कि 15% रे से हिसाब रे तारा हाउसिंग रा करंट प्राइसिंग जो पैरामीटर ने के अपन डिसाइड करथु है कि 2024 रे एतिक हो 2025 रे सेटा अधिक होइ जिवो से हिसाब रे अपन को मॉडल को ट्यून करिया र छि पुन थरे ट्रेनिंग डाटा चेंज करिया र छि कोविड-19 जते रे हेगला सेते रे सेंति सम लोकंकर सेम इनपुट रे भी अमर आउटपुट डिफरेंट क्रेडिट कला लोक घरे अधिक रहले लोक अधिक नेटफ्लिक्स देखले प्राइम वीडियोस देखले से सब लोकंकर बिहेवियर चेंज हेगला पे मॉडल रा आउटपुट आउ सेम इनपुट डाटा रहले भी करेक्ट रहला नी मॉडल रा आउटपुट ता कोंट कांसेप्ट रेट नेक्स्ट हला वॉल्यूम को रेट रे वॉल्यूम ऑफ द क्रेडिट डाटा सेटा केंदी आछि सेटा अधिक हो जाउछि ना कम हो जाउछि सेटा भी डिफर करे सिस्टम मैट्रिक्स जेंते इनपुट रे हमें चेक करचे सिस्टम हेल्थ आउटपुट रे भी सिस्टम मैट्रिक्स रे हमें चेक करू इंफ्रा यूसेज केते अछि ते केते रैम यूज हला तार सीपीयू यूसेज केते से सब रे किछि ऊपर तळ हो छि कि नै सिस्टम मैट्रिक्स रे अलर्ट भी अपन लगे परिबे से सब देखियो तापर बिजनेस की परफॉर्मेंस इंडिकेटर्स एथरा में देखो कि बिजनेस जो, जो केपीएच स्टार्टिंग रे सेट हेथो ए मॉडल टा मोर ए ए काम पई ए बिजनेस टा प्रॉब्लम मते सॉल्व करियो जो स्टार्टिंग रे में करथले कि को प्रॉब्लम हमें सॉल्व कर जे सेई बिजनेस को एबे बे मॉडल सॉल्व कर छि ना नै सेईटा ई बिजनेस केपीआई जामे किसे सेट करथवा से ता सहित भी हमें मॉडल रा आउटपुट को वैलिडेट करू नेक्स्ट हला एडा हला इनपुट आउटपुट नेक्स्ट हला मझिरे हमें कोन देखु मॉडल रा परफॉर्मेंस देखु एठे हमें दे डिफरेंट टाइप रा मॉडल हिसाब रे डिफरेंट टाइप रा मैट्रिक्स रहयो धर मॉडल ता क्लासिफिकेशन मॉडल हेगला से थरे क्लासिफिकेशन मॉडल रो प्रॉब्लम हला जेंती ईमेल रे स्पैम डिटेक्ट करिवा ओडे टिकट रो प्रायोरिटी सेट करिवा सेंटिमेंट चेक करिवा से सब क्लासिफिकेशन मॉडल रे आछि रिग्रेशन रे आछि जो हाउसिंग प्राइस से गला टेक्स्ट जनरेटर रे जो आजकल आरएजी चलछि आरएजी रो पार्ट ऑफ द आरएजी हो छि टेक्स्ट जनरेटर पार्ट हो छि टेक्स्ट रिट्रीवल आउ अदर्स रे ला ब्लू जेंती मशीन ट्रांसलेशन पै रॉक समराइजेशन पै कि माउट इज बेटा होते ये सो पई ये सब डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मैट्रिक्स रहला ये सो मैट्रिक्स आहुरी भीतर वाला बहुत टाइम नहीं जो अम इट सो मैट्रिक्स रहला नेक्स्ट हो छी हम लेके छी हम नहीं सो मैट्रिक्स की कोण हमें को मैट्रिक्स यूज करिवा कि कोण हमें इनपुट रे चेक करिया आउटपुट रे चेक करिया से सब डिपेंड करे अपन कर प्रॉब्लम यूज के सुपर है एमएल सर्विस कोण इंप्लीमेंट है छि रियल टाइम रे अपन को रिजल्ट दरकार ना गोटे दिन रे थारे चली कि एवोल्यूशन रिजल्ट मिल ले कि मास को थारे चली भी चलियो से पई से हिसाब रे ए सिस्टम को सेट करिया पडियो नेक्स्ट हला सर्विस रे क्रिटिकलिटी क्रिटिकलिटी माने ये जो एक्स्ट्रा सब इन द मॉनिटरिंग चलियो ता पे तो कॉस्ट अधिक हबो ये जो आउटपुट धर अफेक्ट हबो से हिसाब रे कस्टमर केते अफेक्ट हो चंदी से हिसाब रे अपन कर कॉस्ट केते अफेक्ट कर छी एटा चलेबा अपन को पई कॉस्ट एटा ठीक कॉस्ट विद इन आवर योर कॉस्ट बजट रहो छी ना बाहर हो पड़ो छी जदी हम एटा करिवानी केते रिस्क रहो छी क्लाइंट आसी कोन कंप्लेन करियो अपन कर मॉडल पूरा बेकार आउटपुट दो छी से आउ रेवेन्यूज एटा केते हम पे रेवेन्यू दो छी से सब ए सब डिसीजन पैरामीटर्स को नै की हम मॉनिटरिंग डिसाइड करू नेक्स्ट ए मॉनिटरिंग द डाटा को नै की हम ऑब्जर्व ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स करू ऑब्जर्वेबिलिटी रे जो मॉनिटरिंग रे जहां जहां हम को सब मैट्रिक्स आसीबो सेटा को हम ओटे डैशबोर्ड रे ताको ऑब्जर्व करू से एट से जाना पड़े हम को एट से जाना पड़ेबो व्हाट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इट्स वे जाना पड़ी बा व्हाई इट इज हैपनिंग सेटा मोस्टली हम एठे डिस्क्राइब करू ए डैशबोर्ड रे की डिफरेंट डिफरेंट है ई मॉनिटरिंग रे एनी क्वेश्चंस ओ अ सो बजे दो हां कौन दो हां हां सुबह जी यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट जॉब थैंक्स हां विश्व जीत कौन दो हाय सोंद भाई सो अपन डेटा ड्रिफ्ट को किमती हैंडल करनती फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल किमती आइडेंटिफाई करनती एंड देन व्हाट इज द थ्रेशोल्ड दैट यू हैव सेट 
ମାନେ ଜାଣିବା ପାଇଁ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଦେନ୍ ଫେର ନେକ୍ସଟ ସ୍ଟେପ୍ସ କ'ଣ ଥାଏ ଡି ୟୁ ରିଟ୍ରେନ୍ ଦ ମଡେଲ ଅର ହାଉ ଡୁ ୟୁ ଗୋ ଅବାଉଟ୍ ଇଟ୍ ହଁ ଡେଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟରେ ରିଟ୍ରେନ୍ ହିଁ କରିବାକୁ ପଡ଼େ କାହିଁକି ନା ଆମର ଏଇଠି ଟ୍ରେନିଂ ଡେଟା ଆଉ ଆମର ଯେଉଁ ପ୍ରଡକ୍ସନ୍ ଡେଟା ଅଛି ପୁରା ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହେଇଯାଇଛି କି ଆମର ଧୀରେ ଧୀରେ ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ହେଇ ଚାଲିଛି ସେଇଥିପାଇଁ ଏଇ ସବୁର ଗୋଟେ ଆଗକୁ ଯେଉଁ ଅବଜରବାବିଲିଟିରେ ଆସିବ ଏଇଠି ଗୋଟେ ନେକ୍ସଟ ଗୋଟେ ଆସେ ରିଟ୍ରେନ୍ ମେକାନିଜମ୍ କୋଡ଼ ହେଲା ଇସ୍ୟୁ ଡିଟେକ୍ଟ ହେଲା ତା'ର ଆର୍ ସି ଏ ହେଲା ତା'ପରେ ଆନାଲିସିସ୍ କର ରିଟ୍ରେନ୍ କର ଇ ମୋଷ୍ଟ କେସ୍ରେ ରିଟ୍ରେନ୍ ହେଇଯାଏ କେଉଁ କେଉଁ କେସ୍ରେ ରିଟ୍ରେନ୍ ହବ ସେଇଟାରୁ ଆମେ ବି ଡିସାଇଡ୍ କରିପାରିବା ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ହେଲା ଆଉ ଧର କଣ୍ଟିନ୍ୟୁଅସ୍ ଧର ଏଇ ଆମର ଏଇ ଜବ୍ଟା ଦିନକୁ ଥରେ ଚାଲିଛି କି ଧରନ୍ତୁ ମାସକୁ ଥରେ ଚାଲିଛି ଲଗାତାର ତିନି ଥର ହେଲା ଆମର ଡାଟା ଧୀରେ ଧୀରେ ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ହେଇ ହେଇ ଚାଲିଛି ଆମକୁ ଦେଖାଯାଉଛି କେଉଁଠି ଦେଖାଯାଉଛି ନା ଏଇ ଅବଜରବାବିଲିଟି ଡ୍ୟାସ୍ପୋର୍ଟରେ କି ଆମର ଏଇଠି ଯେଉଁ ପଫ ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ହେଉଛି ସେଇଥିରେ ହଁ ଡାଟା ଡ୍ରିପ୍ଟ ହେଉଛି କେମିତି ଜାଣିବା ଆର ନିଜର ଯେଉଁ ମଡେଲ ଥିବ ସେଇ ମଡେଲ ହିସାବରେ ଆପଣ ନିଜର ଆଲଗୋରିଦିମ ଚେକ୍ କରିବେ କି ମୋର ଏଇ କଲମର ଆଭରେଜ ଧରନ୍ତୁ ଫାଇଭ ଦରକାର ଆଉ ସେଇଟା ଧୀରେ ଧୀରେ ସିକ୍ସ ସେଭେନ ଏଇଟ ଏମିତି ବଢ଼ି ବଢ଼ି ଯାଉଛି ଏମିତି ଏଇଟା ମାନେ ଏମିତି ଜେନେରିକ ୱେରେ କହିହେବନି ସେଇଟା ଡିପେଣ୍ଡସ ଅନ୍ ମଡେଲ ଟୁ ମଡେଲ ସେଇ ହିସାବରେ ଏଇଠି ଆପଣ ଏଠି ନିଜର ଚେକ୍ କରିବେ ଆନାଲିସିସ୍ କରିକି ଏଠି ରିଟର୍ନ ଲଜିକ୍ ବି କରିପାରିବେ କ'ଣ ହେଲେ ମୁଁ ଆଉ ଥରେ ନ୍ୟୁ ଡାଟାରେ ତାକୁ ରିଟର୍ନ କରିବେ platform where we got to connect later as well so i would request and urge everybody to get connected with the speakers you know ask more questions and just collaborate more uh, you know apart from, uh, after the seminar as well sorry please go ahead uh, this is uh, thank, thank 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 you ravindra babu uh, just i have a small input uh, how we deal with this data drift right if let let assume i am building a regression model right so i get some of the matrix what you described like in form of msc or msc these are the evaluation technique for a regression model right so typically what we get like i get something regression model like r r square and tested r square right so uh, if i get the r square and the adjusted r square closer to each other because always the adjusted r square less than the r square right if i get a closer to the r square and the adjusted r square i can conclude that suppose i am building a model in 100 data points and i am deploying that in 1000 data points so i am uh, uh, means i am uh, extending to the 10x right if my r square and the adjusted r square value will be closer i can conclude statistically or i do have an evidence to suggest that this model will maintain a consistency right similarly like suppose you get like uh, for your classification right you apply a confusion matrix you apply a gain and leap chart right so uh, suppose you are like the training data and the testing data again i am not getting into right it 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 has got the similar kind of the accuracy or the very closer accuracy it gives you some kind of the evidence evidence that model will maintain a consistency So yes. this is uh, my input from my side. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions or suggestions? Okay. Moving ahead. okay this was the definition of observability 
Azure Reality lets you understand a system from outside by letting you ask questions about the system without knowing the inner workings. Like it allows you to easily troubleshoot and hand novel problems. It is unknown unknowns. It also helps you answer the question why. So when you say why, it is happening. It is observable. You know what is happening. It is monitoring. You know. If we see that the observability is set, can do it. Uh, monitoring time is generally it up uh, mostly at a high level roji and a model that the bitter rila model ku input conasi model ku output conasi our data uh tara model of performance kona see data input output ku ame check karki and to compare karki next hella to model bitter conchi tara in can the observability korea uh can the observe korea set time uh तार गोटे पार्ट अछि इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन ओली इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन रे कोन है धर हम क्यूबरनेटिस रो नेमिंग कन्वेंशन को जिबा कि इट इज एक्चुअली ओपन टेलीमेट्री रो जेनेरिक नेमिंग कन्वेंशन वी हेगलन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन लाइब्रेरी रे मोस्टली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड जदि माइक्रो सर्विसेज करिके अपन सर्वर रे डिप्लॉय कर जानी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड माने different different micro service re different different part of your program ko different different server re apan dhara deploy karchanti dhara gote request asila se request ta ko tho asiki ko ko system re touch kariki end re ko thi pahunchila seta janya pai ame tracing use karu tracing distributed tracing pai um, open telemetry oltp protocol re open telemetry protocol protocol uh, se thre tracing आमे जानि परु अ अच्छा मुता आगुरु एही टाइम कहि दोछि फंडामेंटल क्लियर करिया पई अ ट्रेसिंग आउ ट्रेसेस मैट्रिक्स आउ लॉक्स भितरे डिफरेंस कोन ट्रेसेस के कोन होय ना जो जो रिक्वेस्ट आसीला मु कहली मेनली जो यूज पे डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम रे बट गोटे एंड रो रिक्वेस्ट स्टार्ट हबो आउ गोटे मशीन रे जाय कि रिक्वेस्ट एंड हबो से सो को मशीन रे जो लॉग रु ट्रेस करिया कि मोर रिक्वेस्ट आइट वासला सेठी जनरली गोटे एक्स आईडी थाए कि ट्रेस आईडी थाए से सेतरे पेरेंट आईडी चाइल्ड आईडी इन सो थाए गोटे जेसन फॉर्मेट रे से थ्रू हम जानि परो कि ए जो रिक्वेस्ट आसीला सेटा मोर को को सिस्टम को जाय कि सेटा लास्ट रे एंड हला एटा जाना पडे ट्रेसिंग रे नेक्स्ट होची मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक्स रे जाना पडियो कि एटा मोस्टली एटा रे यूज वे प्रोमिथियस तो टूल्स यूज हो पारे यागर टूल इटकिन या एडब्ल्यूएस एक्स रे मैट्रिक्स रे हमें केदा न्यूमेरिकल मेजरमेंट्स हमें मेजर करलो इथले प्रोमिथियस की ग्राफना की डेटा डॉक एटा प्रोप्राइटरी टूल एटा प्रोमिथियस आ ग्राफाना ओपन सोर्स टूल सेथरे हम चेक करू कि केते सीपीयू यूसेज हला केते रैम यूसेज हला से सो मैट्रिक्स रे जाना पडिबो ए सो पय अपन डायरेक्ट धर पाइथन रे कोड करचोंदी डायरेक्ट प्रोमिथियस रा डेकोरेटर अछि सेटा लगे कि मैट्रिक्स रे से मैट्रिक प्रोमिथियस तारो ओडे स्पेसिफिक पोर्ट अछि सेटा जदि ओपन कर देबे से पोर्ट रे ग्राफाना हो जी गोटे डैशबोर्ड ग्राफाना सहित ए प्रोमिथियस को इंटरकनेक्ट कर देले सेथरे जाना पड़ जे कि को केंदी रैम केते आछि सीपीयू केते आछि से सो इंफ्रा रिलेटेड मैट्रिक्स एथरे अपन देख परिबे नेक्स्ट आछि लॉग्स ट्रेसेस जान ले डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ट्रेस ट्रेसेस मैट्रिक्स जान ले हमें केंदी हो मेजर करे पे लॉग्स हो छि जोटा जेनेरिक लॉग्स थाए कि डिबग रो लॉग्स इन्फो लॉग्स एरर लॉग्स नॉर्मल लॉग्स जो हम जानो कि गोटे प्रोग्राम रे कोठी केंदी केंदी कोन कोन रिक्वेस्ट आसु छि गोटे इंडिविजुअल स्पेसिफिक प्रोग्राम्स रे से सब हम जानो लॉग्स रे ए लॉग्स देखे पे ईएल के स्टैक माने इलास्टिक सर्च लॉग स्टैक्स कि बाना टैग यूज कर परिया कि बस प्लॉंक आउ ग्रे लॉग एटा प्रोप्राइटरी टूल्स ये सब भी देख परिया इट सब हाउ डिटेल्स रे मु लेखि जे कोन पे हमें सब यूज करो डेट एटा पढ़ि परिया कि स्क्रीनशॉट नहीं परे नेक्स्ट अच्छा चल हां ये सब यूज करके हमें 
डाटा कलेक्टर बोली गोटे थाए से कलेक्टर रे आम से मेट्रिक्स लक सब कलेक्ट करू कलेक्टर रिसीवर प्रोसेसर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्सटेंशन बेस्ड ऑन को इंस्ट्रूमेंट रो आम लक कर मेट्रिक्स सेंड कर एक्सटेनसन आम इंटिग्रेट कर एक्सपोर्टर सब डिफरेन्ट अच्छी पाइप लाइन भी आम क्रिएट कर कनेक्टर्स सब मैं टेक्निकल डीप टर्म सब नेक्स्ट सेट रूल बेस्ड अलर्ट्स दे कि फॉर एग्जांपल रैम रैम 90 परसेंट रु अधिक विभिन्न ईमेल अलर्ट्स दरकार फोन रे दरकार से हिसाब रे अलर्ट भी सेंड सेंड रूट एनालिसिस भी से अलर्ट्स को देखे की, से ट्रेसेस लॉक्स देखे की, कौन पाई ये अलर्ट आसला से सब देख पारे बेस्ड ऑन अलर्ट्स मैंने किसी दिन पर जाना पड़ जाए अलर्ट आसला मैंने ये इश्यूटा ही है पुणी अटोमेट कर अलर्ट आसले मैंने तू अटोमेट रिट्रेन कर दे से सब भी मानते करहब नेक्स्ट है डिप्लयमेंट मो पाखे टाइम अच्छी तो नेक्स्ट किए अच्छा ठीक अच्छे मुझे सर जी मॉडल डिप्लॉयमेंट डिफरेंट टाइप रिपेरिया मोड कानी मोड एबी टेस्टिंग मोड सैडो मोड रे कौन हुए ना ऑलरेडी गोटे ह्यूमन रिलेटेड धर ऑटोमेशन चली जोटा ह्यूमन रिव्यू हो तार पैरेलल रे आम गोटे सैडो मोड रे मडेल चल फर एक्जाम्पल धर गोटे मोबाइल रे स्क्राच हो ना ना आम धर डिटेक्ट करने को चाहे ह्यूमन देखिकी कि मान मनीष देख हाँ ये मोबाइल रे स्क्राच हो प्लस पैरेलली आम गोटे ए आई को मान गोटे मडेल को ट्रेन कर तू भी देख कह कि यहाँ स्क्राच हो ना ना मान ह्यूमान रहा हूँ जो डिसीसन हम से ए आई रिछे एफेक्ट हम नहीं दि जन जाक डिशन ना आम कंपेयर कर देखे परसेंटेज अफ टाइम आम मडेल ठीक रही जदि से किसी स्पेसिफिक परसेंटेज रो अधिक गला अगेन आप प्रडक्ट मैनेजर कि डिसाइड करेंगे से केस रे आम नेक्स्ट आम मुव करू कानी मोड को कानी मोड रे कौन हुए ना आम वन परसेंट कि टू परसेंट अफ द टोटाल प्रडक्शन ट्राफिक को आम एम एल मडेल को डायट करद कि ये जो वन परसेंट टू परसेंट रहा से सब एम एल मडेल सर्व कर in our scratch example ki 1% of all the mobiles now am ml model hi detect kari kahibo etre scratch hai chena nahi next start to be ahur jodi confidence tike badhi hala amara ki ha canary mode re bhi am model bhalo perform karchi tabara ami jiba ab testing mode ko ab testing mode re eta am client ko ke to ab testing users man ko upar hue एथरे किछि हाई लेवल परसेंटेज ऑफ यूजर्स कैंडली रे 1 2 परसेंट हुए एथरे 5 10 परसेंट जाय में बढी परिया कि आ अधिक भी बढी परिया सेथरे हम देखिया को परसेंटेज ऑफ यूजर्स अधिक सटिस्फाइड अछंती हम जदि किछि फीडबैक मेकानिज्म रखितबा फीडबैक भी एक टू टाइप्स रही पर इंप्लिसिट फीडबैक एक्सप्लिसिट फीडबैक से फीडबैक हिसाब रे हम देख परे कि हमरो मॉडल कोटा को लोक मैंने अधिक नुआ मडेल जो जाए अधिक पसंद कर पुराणा ह्यूमान रिलेटेड कि प्रिवियस वर्सन अफ द मडेल अच्छी से अधिक पसंद कर फिडबैक देखिए से सब रुम भी देख पार जो अधिक पसंद कले से आम रोल बैक भी कर पार ना से पुणी पूरा अल हंड्रेड परसेंट डिप्लय भी कर पार मडेल डिप्लयमेंट बस ओवरऑल फ्लो साइकल क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चंस टॉक आई हैव वन 
equation here. Ha. Huh. Security guard railing, uh, say so much stuffs to us, you set a sub production rate deploy area for Buruhi. Is you deploy to production a model inputs Jagare eat for Buru award a layer hover key model input row, uh, 80 security check curva plus I'm a model jo output with the Ochi. Say three way I made the cookie guard railing for you that LLM case mostly way. The three ama model output rate, I'm a guard railing for a um kichi extra si koidu chiki mane uh kichi profanity use korchi ki then the what uh many kichi hallucinate korchi so so be a me check kori pari out extra layer okay yeah. okay 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 any other questions So yeah, here you only have text generator, uh, but then there could be other multimodal uh, ah. outputs, right? So maybe uh, uh, that thing might have to be expanded. The other thing is uh, uh, now you showcase a very generic architecture. Like, huh. uh, do you do you believe that this needs customization uh, based on uh, the touch point that we are trying to disrupt through these models. Example, uh, let's say supply chain, uh, I'm doing a supply chain optimization project uh, versus I'm trying to do a, let's say customer, uh, uh engagement project right uh i'm trying to take uh, let's say uh tackle these two uh elements of my customer journey uh then will will, will do you need to tweak this generic architecture oh, definitely when it uh it has the upper quality dependencies achieve decision makers it has mm. a different model point, different, different driver, business cost driver, risk, revenues get the associate is Abu Dakar Nai Matemu Kali and a Kali performance checker. Yeah, this is the kind of more cost for the LG. It's Abu and it upon going decision. No, but you depends on model of mood. There to take a text or the Kamogaji has me more a text example to your dear. Okay. And uh, have you ever encountered any exclusivity agreements that impacts your solutions? Exclusivity one. Exclusivity one. Uh, let's say someone comes and tells you that okay, you are on this particular cloud, right? And uh, if you want to move away from this cloud uh, to break the contract itself, let's say. Uh, <laughs> you need to uh let's say pay back uh this much amount of money so that the contract gets uh terminated uh -huh. and then and then uh uh only then you can take your data back and then decide where to work, run this workload be it a private cloud or a public cloud or any cloud that the cloud the, the customer decides right so have you ever encountered those kind of scenarios impacting your hmm. work? Mo data case regamogarchi gote already existing when a both tanker of when a more current company, so this uh uh model ochi. Say Kesre I'm a AWS re pura when a heavily invested. Say Amara AWS ru kebe on a data cardivar hina. Uh say Kesre I'm a Ethremo an exclusivity. You want to keep a hey, next hello mode. I would a short on the startup type rather than go suggestion. Doji say, yes, re who maximum try or chicky and the vendor lock in the Noraiva and I'm mostly open source. I'm used to self host. Could you 
ଆଉ ଯେତେ ପାରିବୁ ଯେମିତି ମାନେ ନିଜ ଡାଟା ନିଜ ପାଖରେ ରହିବ ଏମିତି ମାନେ ଆଜିକାଲି କ୍ଲାଉଡ ରୁ କ୍ଲାଉଡ ଟ୍ରାନ୍ସଫର କରିବା ପାଇଁ ବି ଆମ ନିଜ ଡାଟା ସେମାନେ ପଇସା ମାଗୁଛନ୍ତି ସେ ସବୁ ଯେମିତି ନ ହବ ସେଇଥିପାଇଁ ଆମେ ମାନେ ଏବେ ପୁରା ଯେହେତୁ ମୁଁ ସ୍କ୍ରାଚ ରୁ ଡିଜାଇନ କରୁଛି ସେ ସବୁ ମାନେ ଦେଖିକି ଡିଜାଇନ ହଉଛି ଓକେ ଓକେ ଥ୍ୟାଙ୍କ ୟୁ ବିଶ୍ୱଜିତ ନାୟକ ହଁ କୁହନ୍ତ ହଁ ତାହେଲେ ଏସ ଏ ରେ ଯିଏ ଦେଖା ହେଲେ ପୁରା ହ୍ୟାଲୋ Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's a small input in terms of the cloud hosting. Most of the research intensive organization in India, such as CSIR lab, uh, ISRO lab, right? So they have it, uh, like uh, the terms uh, for vendor choosing for any kind of the predictive model. It has to be locally host. Suppose you are deployment, like in the AWS, the local data center has to be there. It should be in India. Hmm. they cannot transport okay. the data outside india for any of the sensitive research intensive organization like csir lab drdo lab right so they have a policy in place they cannot right uh, host any of the services if the data center is outside india this is a small input right okay. in terms of and you re a rule ta mu sunithili india re bhi anti halani ta na india re achi agaru achi Sorry. it is there well, yeah so nic is supporting for on behalf of government of india right okay so uh, the uh, many of the things it is hosted by nic or you get a certification from nic suppose you wanted to host any kind of predictive model or any kind of the software solution on cloud okay so, so, thank you yeah. thanks aur jane ki hand raise karthile ha somendra bhai mu shalendra kothli mor di ta gote to apan prashno bahut bada dhanyawad ete sundar apan odia technical jinsu koi parchanti majbut inspired heli ena ame bahut sundar bhabe apan bujhile ଆଉ ଦ୍ୱିତୀୟ କଥା ମୁଁ ଆପଣଙ୍କୁ ପଚାରିବାକୁ ଚାହୁଁଥିଲି ମେ ବି ପରେ କନେକ୍ଟ କରିବି ଡାଟା ଉପରେ ତମେ ଯୋଉ ଡାଟା ବିଷୟରେ କହିଲ ଏଇଟା ଗୋଟେ ବଡ ପ୍ରୋବ୍ଲେମ ଏଇନା ୱାନ୍ସ ତମେ ହାଇପର ସ୍କେଲ ଗୋଟେ ଡାଟା ରଖିଲୁ ଏଡବ୍ଲୁ ଏସ କି ଏଜିଓ ରେ ତମେ ଯୋଉ କହିଲ ଯେ ଆମେ ଡାଟା ଡିଜାଇନ କରୁଛୁ ଯାହାଦ୍ୱାରା କି ତାଙ୍କ ପାଖରୁ ଆପଣ ଡିକପଲ ହେଇଯାଉଛନ୍ତି ସେଇଟା କେମିତି ହେଉଛି ମୁଁ ଆପଣଙ୍କୁ ସେ ବିଷୟରେ ଟିକେ ପରେ ପଚାରିବି ମୋତେ ଲାଗୁଛି ଅନ୍ୟ ବି ସ୍ପିକର ଥିବେ ମୁଁ ଟିକେ ଇଣ୍ଟରେଷ୍ଟେଡ ଅଛି ତାକୁ ତମେ କେମିତି ମ୍ୟାନେଜ କରୁଛ ମାନେ ଇଣ୍ଡିପେଣ୍ଡେଣ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଦିସ ହାଇପର ସ୍କେଲର୍ସ କିନ୍ତୁ ବହୁତ ସୁନ୍ଦର ପ୍ରେଜେଣ୍ଟେସନ ବହୁତ ବଢିଆ ପ୍ରେଜେଣ୍ଟେସନ ଭାଇ ବ୍ୟୁଟିଫୁଲ ଥ୍ୟାଙ୍କ ୟୁ ସମିତ୍ର ୱାନ ଲାଷ୍ଟ ଥିଙ୍ଗ एवरीवन ଇଜ ଟକିଂ ଅବାଉଟ एवरीवन ଇଜ ଟକିଂ ଅବାଉଟ ଓନଲି ଲାର୍ଜ ଲାଙ୍ଗୁଏଜ ମଡେଲ୍ସ ଲାର୍ଜ ଲାଙ୍ଗୁଏଜ ମଡେଲ୍ସ ଇଜ देयर ଏ ପ୍ଲେସ ଫର ସ୍ମଲ ଲାଙ୍ଗୁଏଜ ମଡେଲ୍ସ that can improve the user's life in the devices that they use ha mane e jo theme achi jnai what's next re jodi ebe llm chale chi ebe slm ro ebe mane dheere dheere padu chi mane 2gb models 1.2gb models and so aslani jo apple intelligence bhi ebe hoji se mane small language models use kar chanti ଆଉ ମୁଁ ଏଥିରେ ମୁଁ ଯେତେବେଳେ ମୋର ଏମ୍ ଟେକ୍ ଫାଇନାଲ ଇୟର ପ୍ରୋଜେକ୍ଟ କରୁଥିଲି ଏଥିରେ ବି ମୁଁ ଟିକେ ମାନେ ବେଶୀ ଡିପ୍ରେ ଯାଇନଥିଲି ମାନେ ସ୍ମଲ ଲାଙ୍ଗୁଏଜ ମଡେଲ୍ସ ରେ କଣ କଣ ଆମେ କରିପାରିବା ଜେନେରିକ ଟାସ୍କ ଲାଇକ୍ ସମରାଇଜେସନ ଆଉ ସେଣ୍ଟିମେଣ୍ଟ ଆନାଲିସିସ ସେସବୁ ସ୍ମଲ ଲାଙ୍ଗୁଏଜ ମଡେଲ୍ସ ବି ଭଲ କି କରିପାରୁଛନ୍ତି ଓଲା ମାରେ ଆପଣ ନିଜେ ହୋଷ୍ଟ କରିକି ବି ନିଜ ଲ୍ୟାପଟପ୍ ରେ ବି ଚଲେଇ ପାରିବେ ମୁଁ ବି ଚଲଉଛି କିନ୍ତୁ ଟିକେ ସ୍ଲୋ ହେଉଛି ମୋର ଲ୍ୟାପଟପ୍ ରେ ଏତେ ରାମ ନାହିଁ um ha uh, mane the future is towards small language models okay any other questions ଠିକ ଅଛି 
स्क्रीन शेयर ऑफ कर जी आदित्य सर नेक्स्ट ये प्रेजेंट करिए रविंद्र भाई चाहिए हाँ सोमेंद्र नेक्स्ट स्पीकर अच्छा थी लाइन देना डू यू वांट मी टू ऐड इनटू सम इंटरेस्टिंग डिस्कशंस हाउ मच टाइम वी हैव द नेक्स्ट स्पीकर इज इट लेट मी जस्ट पिक दिस चेक थर्टीन थर्टी कुमारी का आर यू देर इन द कॉल do we have these speakers anya das vishal singh emakant okay i think uh, time for some uh, quick interesting pillars let me just so i came across this um, uh, so somendra uh, and uh, anjan whenever uh, the speakers are ready let me know huh? just Uh, feel free to yes, stop. Yep. So I came across this interesting uh, newspaper article. I think some of you might have seen it, which says MIT economists warning on AI. A lot of money of tech companies will go to waste. So there is this MIT economist called Darren Ismoglu who has warned that the hype around AI may lead to wasted investments, predicting only five percent of jobs will be affected in the next uh, decade. Right, so he talks about some uh, best case scenario, worst case scenarios, and all. And uh, the best case scenarios is like uh, currently, whatever jobs are being done, probably about five percent of uh, them can be actually taken over or replaced. Actual replacement can happen through AI, not more than that, which is definitely not a good situation to be in. So, open question to the audience that we have: uh, Have you come across this article? Even if not. you pretty much understand what is being talked about so what's your take on this and uh, based on your experience uh, what have you got to say on this anybody going yeah. for it answer yeah. my yeah so uh, let me let me tell you some real life examples that are happening in and around okay, okay. and i'll even i will be i'll be more than happy to share the name of those companies now visa uh, the financial payment processor visa right uh, they got a letter from microsoft who was working in this ai ml technologies um, and the moment uh, that person came um, obviously uh, he comes from a tech background and the whole transformation agenda that he was running was how do we uh, how do we become less dependent on domain experts and rather uh, increase more investments in ai and uh, automation solutions um, so that we are able to do more uh, and better with lesser number of developers and with lesser number of product managers um, so one transformation that i've seen in companies was there were a lot of scrum masters who were hired to implement processes the agile and uh, scrum and kanban those processes uh many companies they started removing that layer uh then comes a a a, a uh, layer of uh, very deep the product manager was expected to be the middleman between let's say business and the uh, developers uh and visa has started uh giving the power back to the business through uh, a, the ai solutions where in they give the requirements it does not go through a pass through layer of a product manager it it goes to the developers and hence many many product management jobs have become redundant okay uh, that is one example uh, and uh, so that 5% thing i it sounds to me like uh, very conservative uh, and it sounds to me uh, uh like yeah the, the traditional food clothing shelter those those professions may not be impacted uh however 
कि नॉलेज वर्कर्स बी इट ए लॉयर और बी इट ए डॉक्टर राइटिंग प्रिस्क्रिप्शन और दी फोक्स हु डिपेंडेंट ऑन सम लेट से कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज बी इट जावा और डॉट नेट और एनी ऑफ दोज कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेजेस दैट दे वेर रिलाइंग हैविली ऑन so i think those kind of knowledge uh, professions uh, they are going to be impacted and i think that impact will not be 5% for sure it will be way more than that okay interesting insight uh, i would share few more but uh, before that i would like to hear from others if they have any insights anybody wants to share what kind of uh, you know uh, we talked about one aspect which is the quantum which anshuman debated that 5% looks too conservative by the way i have shared the link as well uh, later you can just go through that and do more research on that i have an input uh, which um, which is from few weeks back so as i was sharing earlier that you know i'm part of the all bharat a association mostly on the investor side and uh, we we were about 13 to 14 um, investors Okay, I think AI can be used for assistive systems. Okay, so Shubhangi, you would like to share? Let me just complete because I just started. So one quick insight: um, the first area where we were looking for AI to have a business. Just one second. Sorry, sorry for the disturbance. um so the first area that everybody was looking at was the very basic level of uh, uh, work uh, and what was that that was customer support so large companies have deployed huge call centers uh, which runs into millions of workforce uh, so that is the first thing which everybody is targeting which is not very highly intensive knowledge work set mm-hmm. something i think which anshuman was alluding to uh but very basic kind of uh, stuff that's um, number one so there is a real business case over there and people are working on that so people are eyeing on that market so uh, when you talk about the time etc from a business parlance that's the uh, that's the that's on the hit list you know the top of the list not just in india but also outside india that's what i got to know from the investors um and the second thing is the numbers that we spoke about like 5% or 10% i do not know what kind of research has uh, gone through uh, has been gone through to come up with those numbers uh, but largely uh, what is going to happen eventually is there will be a balance that will also be created for example if x number of jobs are getting redundant because of the ai tools uh, probably y number of jobs will also get created to utilize those ai tools because eventually somebody has to utilize those uh, tools so somebody was also sharing about uh, you know the knowledge that is required to operate on those tools and probably that has happened through the entire technology revolution that has taken so far so if computers uh, when they got introduced took x number of jobs they also gave way to y number of jobs something like that but what is going to be the quantum of x and y how much is the balance going to be that is something which probably is not that easy or simple to predict but we'll get to know later uh, okay that was something which i wanted to share now shubhangi uh, do you want to kind of you know unmute yourself and uh, share what you want to i do read your message but it would be good if you could come and share uh, you know what whatever you wanted to share okay you also say something very very similar Shubhangi, do you want to kind of now share your insights? I hope everybody is in the contributor mode where they can unmute themselves. I did convert all of you to the contributor mode. Okay. uh no problem anybody else wants to public area okay no problem no problem shubhangi that's absolutely fine uh anybody else wants to share on this topic or uh, or if you want to introduce a new topic as well please feel free to kind of you know come up with a new topic that that was quite interesting and it just struck my mind so i i just opened up that discussion 
Somendra, um, any updates on the next line of speakers? Any? Or can we just hang on? Yeah, do we have Ajit Sadangi here? Just who is the next one? 145. Uh, Somendra, I'm there, I'm there. Yeah, uh, Manoj sir, please take it. OK, uh, Ajit sir, you can start. Yeah, yeah, just give me a oh. second. Sir, can I say something? Sure. Am I, Go ahead. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yes. Mani Dattar, Mani Dattar, yes. You are very audible. Please go ahead. Your voice is clear, sir. Can you please repeat? I said, please go ahead. Please go ahead. We can, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Yes, yes. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Good afternoon to each and everyone who is in the session. Uh, I have been listening all deliberations since morning. Uh, it was really fantastic discussion. Great initiative by the organizer for organizing Odisha AI Conference 2024. First time I'm attending this. Uh, yeah, in fact, let me introduce myself. I'm working as professor at a Villa Global University Bhubaneswar, BG Bhubaneswar, in School of Management. I'm working, uh, uh, I mean, application of AI in supply chain management, basically. My core uh, domain of teaching is supply chain, and I'm uh, uh, trying to do something, and uh, application of uh, how AI is applied uh, for, uh, you can say, uh, more customer centric supply chain to develop customer centric supply chain i'm working on that so um, i have done a couple of research on uh, this ai uh, particularly generative ai and i have been using generative ai in in my as, as my teaching uh, aid uh, developing uh, teaching nodes uh, developing uh, ppts i'm taking hugely uh, taking the help of artificial intelligence uh, for preparing my teaching nodes teaching aids for my classes, management classes. Uh, so my, my interest area have been uh, basically application of AI in supply chain management. So great deliberations going on uh, since morning. Uh, it's really a very, uh, I mean, um, thought provoking as well as very uh, value adding uh, sessions for me. Thank you to all organizers. Uh, it's really a great opportunity for me to be part of this event. I look forward to more such kind of event in future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raisa, for sharing your, uh, you know, feelings uh, about the conference. And uh, we can go ahead with the, thank you. We can go ahead with the next speaker then. Yep. Um, I'll just share okay. my screen. Just give me a second. Sure, sir. Hope my screen is visible now. Yes, sir, it's visible. If yeah. you can put uh, it on presentation mode, that will be great. Or else, also, it's fine. If it is convenient for you to move the slides without the presentation mode, please go ahead. Is it moving now? Perfect. Yes, it is moving. Okay. Okay. Um, I am Ajit Saragi. I Ajit Saragi. I am Odisha Skill Development Authority or CTO. So, Ajira topic, Ajira discussion, which is typically what we are doing for. Orissa for all the districts of Orissa in terms of AI and Gen AI. So in this topic, I'll just run through a couple of slides. After that one, I have kept some time for the question and answer session. So for Ori, uh, okay. let me just uh, you know finish my presentation. After that, I can run through the uh, question and answer session. What I have planned is next 10 minutes, I'll run through first Orissa Skill Development Authority digital talent framework how we are trying to do it for all sectors of you know um, all sectors of participants to build the skill and second one we'll spend two minutes for the what is the future ready technology for industry 5.0 third what is our objective impact and challenges fourth some of the use cases on gen ai we are starting now we, are, we have already started a few months back how Gen AI will help us externally or internally? Internally in the sense that how much we, we have developed three prompts, how it is going to help us help other participants that I will explain. And last but not the least, last two minutes, we'll have a question and answer session. 
if our time permits, then we can extend it. Is that okay with all, all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. Please go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, skill in Orissa, OSDA, Orissa Skill Development Authority, has started a drive called NUA Orissa. NUA is very synonym to the new. New is, uh, is, is a new kind of things. But it is internally what we have, uh, we are devising at Nutana, Unnata, and Avilasa. Nutana is the new, Unnata is developed, and Avilasa is aspired kind of things where we are talking about different different sectors. Main concept of the whole uh, this NUA Odisha initiative is industry ready workforce. How can we generate more industry ready workforce? Aligning to the industry 5.0. That is what is our crux of the whole story. And then, you know, I just explained industry ready, industry 5.0 in a nutshell, three things. One is human centric, sustainability, and waste free, you know, resilient business. These are the three things we are trying to focus on. What are the challenges we are trying to address? To ensure that ethical integration with the AI, a process driven with, uh, you know, maximum flexibility in the you know, manufacturing process or any kind of process, trading and adaptability. These are the two things we are trying to address. Protect the sensitive data. This is the crux of the whole discussion. Also, I also heard everybody is talking about how to protect data. Data cannot go out of the uh, posting zone or data cannot go out of India. All these kind of things, how are we protecting it? Uh, what is the impact? Long term impact is to develop a um, you know, skill resource with increase in the employment. Employability will increase, employment will be increased, high quality of the job roles for the future ready career opportunities, and growth in the marginal communities. So we are catering to all kinds of communities, PVT, SEST, and all kinds of things. We are trying to increase the opportunity for all of them. What are uh, what kind of training we are giving? Short term trainings, digital trainings, self help trainings, Upscaling, reskilling, and cross skilling. I'll explain all these three terms, which is called upscaling and reskilling and cross skilling. Upscaling is a way where we are saying that earlier he was skilled with, uh, you know, a typically an uh, example of developer. Now he has to go for the higher skillings, like, you know, he has to do something on the NLP or Python or certain things. We are giving the training on that one. Reskilling earlier. Uh, reskilling is typically, you know, he is getting reskilled once again, and then cross skilling is in a different domain, he is getting cross skilled once again. With this, what are the typical way of giving the digital training? I am just focusing here that what kind of digital training we are giving in the different parts of Odisha. One is typically uh, four different areas on a blockchain, augmented reality, and virtual reality. AI powered IoT and 5G. Our interesting part is artificial intelligence. The basic buildup we are giving the trainings, all the all kind of things we are giving. So our focus of this discussion is how we are giving training on the artificial intelligence and Gen AI, generative AI kind of things. So if I go to the next slide, our focus area is all new AS technologies, training and trainers. And we have also created um, different training institutes, training centers throughout the Orissa. Uh, currently, we have got model uh, computer centers. Through different model computer centers, we are trying to create training institutes. As well as we have got uh, distance learning program from the COEs. We have created first COE from the Delhi IIT. IIT Delhi is getting uh, is giving training to the around 1,500 students as a, as a part of our first initiative on the newest technologies. So, what we are targeting is this year we are trying to give training for one lakh students. The students are typically from the technical group, which is our BPUT, OUTR, or BSSUT, or any private engineering colleges, or any autom autonomous engineering colleges are part of our technical group. Apart from that one, also we are covering 72 ITIs and 35 polytechnics. All of them will be, uh, those who are interested, will be participating in our training programs. Other than that one, we are now extending our uh, training program to higher education. We have selected 30 higher education colleges 
to VA, VSC to come, and we are giving similar kind of training to them. Idea is we have to train by um, you know the advanced courses like you know uh, artificial intelligence or IoT or any kind of you know blockchain or you know they are we are kind of things will be trained for everybody so that it is easy when we are talking about uh, basic knowledge they should have they should they should talk about this AI and then typically the blockchain and then AI are easily so what we are trying to do is. We have engaged uh, Delhi IIT as our COE partner, and we have also engaged Coursera as uh, you know digital learning partners. Those who are offering typical courses in all the institutes. I will cover all the all the institutes later on. But here, uh, apart from the trading, we have devised three different you know prompt, three different prompts we are trying to design and trying to develop it. First, for the different queries, like typically many students, many participants, they ask for different questions that what kind of skills we are providing and who can participate, when the program will start, and whether he can participate or he can do that participation in the program or not. For all this, we have designed a prompt um, for the skill query prompt. That's one. Second one is a recommendation engine. Based on his qualification, based on his age, based on his, you know, interest, we have uh, we are we are now we are designing a recommendation engine, which will give a, a kind of answer, which will give a recommendation, which will give a guidance that what kind of training he or she should take, and that is based on the location from which district he is. Based on that one, he will get a guidance that these are the courses are available on this uh, district or nearby. A computer center or nearby training centers, he can go or he can he or she can participate on that training center. Based on that one, we are trying to do the third prompt, which is the mobilization group. Mobilization in the sense that employer and um, uh, employer will get the requirement. Employer will get the selected candidates, selected candidates through the third prompt automatically. So these are the three things we are trying to uh, do it on our uh, Gen AI, uh, you know. Um, platform which we have started in the last two months three months with a slm i think we are discussing about a slm now small language model this slm we have uh, taken nlp with uh, microsoft file tool this is on the development bit very soon we are going to release that one so with this i think uh, i will um, open it for the questions that what we uh, what are the different questions based on that one we can I can answer and uh, typically that would be my uh, uh, you know feedback that what kind of things uh, what kind of interest we are getting it through this forum through this you know uh, forum I just wanted to spread the news that Odisha government has given lots of focus on giving the training giving the employee increasing the employability so I am open for the question now. Thank you, Ajit, sir, for the wonderful presentation and also sticking on time. Uh, are there any quick questions for Ajit, sir, before we move to the next speaker? Okay. okay so uh, I can ask the question. Sure. Yeah, yeah please go ahead. Yeah, sir. So, uh, so based on my so short observations, uh, I think uh, means I would like to ask that uh, without any JNAI or LLM, also this uh, solution has been built or can be built. Yes. And, yeah. Yeah. Ah, achi, achi. I'm about to about the existing solution. Achi. Um, one web based solution achi, uh, kori haba, but to interact easily the questions are uh, different different questions are being asked like uh, more of whom um, pass quality in a particular you know qualification i have got ba bsc become what is the available training so i think on the gen ai it is better or understanding the question answering the question will be better rather than Having a standard FAQ or types, that would be a very specific one. 
But uh, to answer a different question, Gen AI will, is helping us. That is why we have taken this SLM instead of, the, uh, instead of, instead of taking the LLM, which would be used uh, for us in terms of, you know, the you know, capacity and then server and then uh, power. I prefer to go for a SLM. So that is on a development mode. Probably your answer, your question is valid. Uh, should we go for Gen AI or not? My take is yes. That would give me a perfect answer and a better answer because I will train the model accordingly. Hope, hope I have answered your question. Yes, uh, I agree. Like uh, means uh, the the means uh, the less educated and all people means who doesn't know how means to present their skills properly it can help them communicate with you huh. it's, a, it's a kind of interactive bit uh you take different question and then based on the question i will train the model accordingly the bifidic answer will go instead of that one i may call call center or any kind of FAQ or a standard model you have hello? A, a fixed query and fixed answer yeah. hello Am I audible? Ajit yes. sir, yes, you are audible. Uh, I'm being a little conscious of the time uh, because there are slot, staggered slots, so it, uh, you know there is a risk of end up you know, derailing the whole set of speakers. So why don't we do one thing? Uh, I would request everyone who has a question uh, to quickly chat it on the window, and probably the speakers can also answer uh, in the window. And if there is something else, then probably you can take uh, take it offline as well. As I said, I, I would like to reiterate that this is just a beginning platform. Please feel free to connect with the speakers, spend more time, understand more, and get into more details. Uh, with this, I would like to invite the next speaker. Do we have Sitanshu Mishra with us? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, do we have Anshuman Nayak? Okay, I see a different slot for him here. Mm -hmm. One second, who else is there? Do we have uh, Mr. Rabinara and Behera? Parida, sir, uh, are you on the call? Somendra, is there a change? Uh, are we not having a couple of speakers? Somendra, you are on mute. Haan, Sitansu Misra, you are on mute. Nandi, Sitansu Misra, Nandi, Anshuman Naik, Nandi. Anshuman Naik, Achandi. Achandi, Anshuman, but I think he has a different slot. I have given him a different slot, uh, you know. One night, one forty five. Ah, hail another one forty five. No, I mean, I fourteen fifty five is not But Anshuman, are you there? Is it fine for you to um, take the presentation right now? If not, it's fine. We'll move to the next speaker. Sorry for the lull moments uh, to all the audience because it's a very long conference and there are multitude of uh, speakers obviously there will be some such moments uh, since there are only few minutes for the next set of speakers i'm not introducing any new topic right now or else we could at any point of time and just a quick check uh, Parda sir are you there on the call yes yes i'm here Kuo. okay sir uh, sir who is going to come next i was just checking the List of there, speakers. There is somebody else now. Who is the speaker? Thile. Sitan Sumitra, Anshuman Naik, uh, Robin Narayan Behra. So Robin Narayan Behra, thank you. Yeah, Robin Narayan Behra, who MPGS, he was on charity. Go ask you something. So, say that we discuss. Go to listen to the chapter. Ask you. So, okay. that's okay, uh, sir. Next, Majid sir. Majid sir, are you there on the call? Have you joined already? Professor Majiaji, I am a Bhubaneswaru. Johnny, Ochundi, na? 
अंशुमन नायक को स्लॉट दिया है दैट इज 1455 सो ही हैज ऑलरेडी पिंग मी सो आई थिंक ही इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर दैट स्लॉट नेक्स्ट स्लॉट माजी सर कर अच्छी माजी सर आर यू देयर ऑन द कॉल ओके ओके प्रोफेसर माजी सर सर नमस्कार एंड नमस्कार नमस्कार अच्छा हमें एटा को नमस्कार जय जगन्नाथ आपण को टिके फ्री फोन करू छु किछ असुविधा हबन तो नहीं किछ असुविधा नहीं किछ असुविधा नहीं ओके ओके सो राइट नाउ आई विल गिव वन मिनट आपण को इंट्रोड्यूस कर दो एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली से हमरो एमपी साहब छले से कहू छु कि टिकट तांको डेरी होबो तो आमे कोनो ठीक अछि आमे तो मास्टर या लोक चली जिवो जायले एडजस्ट करनबा आगे 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 डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली श्योर Maji sir is very accommodative sir, uh, so don't worry at all. I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, anyway, samosh uh, tumko once again, joy jagannath, bande utkal jorani, mu panel professor Aditya Parida, Eskimo desho Sweden uji. बर्तमान डिग्री टेम्परेचर सो आमे बर्तमान सेशन रो आरंभ कर बंशीधर माझी को जो माने एकेडमिक जो माने स्टूडेंट समस्त प्रोफेसर माझी को भल भाव जानते प्रोफेसर माझी आम आगर थे सी डायरेक्टर आई 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 टी डिजाइन एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कांचीपुरम तापर सी आम बुर्ला भी एस एस यूटी भाइस चानसेलर थे मझे बीपी यूटी भी अफिसीयिंग भाइस चानसेलर थे आर्तमान से कंप्यूटर सैंस रे सीनियर प्रोफेसर एन आई टी राउरकेल अच्छा आकी कौन कह पाखे पेटेन्ट भी अच्छी हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन मोर दैन हंड्रेड पब्लिकेसन and lot of other achievements so mo au basic kichhi no koi ki professor majhingo to tike suniba he must give some share his uh, expertise and blessings to the young generation on the ai and uh, so let's hear to professor majhing sir the floor is yours yes sir namaskar to all of you uh, thank you very much for making me part of this conference it was pleasure attending last year also and uh, this year also it is so nice to be amongst a few i'm seeing lot of many of my friends manas sir was there and ravindra is there everyone is around many of them i know so once again i thank you very much and uh, i share my slides so as soon as it will be like it is shared please kindly Tell that it is said. Then I will start my presentation. Okay. Uh, I think you have to give me a permission. Then only I will be able to share. It uh, is not uh, permitted. Okay. okay. Kumari ka tumhe dekha hi ho ki Somendra toh co-host. Yeah, yeah. Sir, apna already co-host hai chandi. Okay. Achhi sir, apna ka pakar hai. Okay. 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 आपण को शेयर बटन टा एनेबल थिबो शेयर करियो चेष्टा करन यू आर ऑलरेडी को होस्ट इज इट नाउ अवेलेबल ने ए पर्यंत आसी ने आपण शेयर करले हा ए आसी 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 असले ना सर अ रो आप पूरा सो वंस अगेन थैंक यू इज इट अवेलेबल नाउ फुल फुल स्क्रीन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड को जान तो खाली पी रे अछि सर आपन कर असले बे नै आसी नै सर मूव करू नै अच्छा लेट मी जस्ट चेक अगेन सर आपन दीटा आईडी रे करू ना गोटे आईडी रे जान कर सने गोटे आईडी रे अछि स्क्रीन शेयर कर ले गूगल मीट पे शेयर कर ले 
Is it visible now? Not yet, sir. No, that's magic. No, otherwise, uh, uh, Professor Maji can email email this slide to the coordinators, and then they can run. They can share the screen. Sir, upon the handy, yes, sir, the cotton share karte hain naal. Or what is the share karte hain? Haan, karte hain. What is the share karte hain? Declare mm, Ravindra, just see that I just said, but I'm trying sir, to share sir, once sir. more. Let's see, Karan, Karan, sir. okay, hold you the cardinal. Sir, 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 Slide. Yes, slide move colors slide. Now, now it is come. Now it is come. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, this is a technical glitch somewhere. So, so I will be talking on the um, AI in uh, medical imaging, which we have worked uh, almost on um, seven of our students out of twenty-one students have worked on medical imaging, and. Uh, then I will talk about the issues and challenges, whatever we have faced. And my outline of the talk will be uh, on this in these directions uh, that I will be talking on the multi class uh, disease classification using MRI, then glaucoma detection uh, to two different uh, contributions. And as we all aware that uh, we are talking about AI, machine learning, and deep learning, which has gone systematically one step to other. And now we all further gone to the next step. Last almost four or five years, we talk about uh, generative AI, which has taken a front seat, and everybody is uh, in the, the whole research has dominated shifted towards this particular directions. And uh, in it's having several applications AI in manufacturing and uh, different other places marketing or business or whatever you talk about healthcare is one of the very important uh, application where ai is playing a major role and will be playing a major role in future days to come also because uh, this is one thing which actually everybody is in uh, need of and uh, when we talk uh, medical imaging uh, imaging applications there are so many, uh, like uh, starting from the diagnosis and drug discovery, but mostly we have used medical image diagnosis. Image has become an input and then early detection of any disease. Mainly we have, uh, am, am I continuing still, right? All right? Yeah. 
so and we when we talk about medical imaging it is something like x-ray imaging like mris uh, electron and microscope imaging ultrasound ct scan pts which are the and image has become a convenient input to the systems and we can take the any part of the body uh, where we can we want to diagnose and uh, these are the typical images where uh, medical images are being shown and we talk about x-ray mris microscope imaging and mostly we have worked on these mris and the microscopic images even one of the students has worked on the leukemia detection uh, in the early stages the objective to detect and uh, ct scan pt these are all different images and when we talk that like we say that key to the objective is to diagnose, treat, and cure patients without causing any harmful side effects and like uh, going inside the body. So helps us to learn more about neurobiology and human behaviors. Uh, being the brings the scientists from the biology, chemistry, and physics together, uh, and the technology is developed. AI technology developed can often be used in many of the disciplines and among the various tasks in the medical image uh, processing we have classification whether we want to it is a uh, like uh, pathology, pathology image or, or or it is a normal image classifying similarly we can do the lesion classification whether it is mammograms or it is the brain tumor classifications and similarly detection segmentation and registration which are the various parts of the images, images. <laughs> manual processes for detecting the diagnosed organs are very tedious time consuming and required skill supervision that is one of the and also very expensive and automatic detection processes may be preferable to have a fast reliable and accurate diagnosis and we take the help of the uh, medical imaging and the ai technique and this will help when we are using this ai uh, we cater to the need of or we, we circumvent the uh, different process like shortages of the experts enhanced productivity i mean to speak a single doctor uh, like detecting or the diagnosing several diseases or several images is difficult better diagnostics accuracy uh, because again the diagnostics accuracy is dependent manually in the expertise of the director director sorry doctor then lower rate of uh, misdiagnosis to reduce this improved patient outcome so the patients will be served better and when we do the computer aided diagnostics systems we say uh, that it was possible to scan or take the images whether it is MRI scan or X-ray, whatever. Then we work on it and then do the uh, necessary uh, feature extractions. We'll be coming to the next. Either we do it through the software techniques training and then develop a model or a system, and the the model is ready for the diagnostics for the probe images then challenges that it has it has come like this uh, medical imaging is help the this radiologist to accurate interpretation of the images using systems computer system so we can diagnose this diagnostic accuracy Lighten the burden of the increasing workload, reduced cancer, missed due to the fatigue of the doctor, overlooked or data overloaded uh, when he is using manually. And another very like uh, challenge is that inter and intra reader with the variability. When the doctor does it manually, because of the inter variability and intra variability, and this is minimum variability. So normally the doctors miss out finding out or diagnosing the or diagnosing the particular disease. 
a machine learning based computer aided diagnostic systems is uh, like being given here like we take the image then we do the pre processing and this is in fact necessary because when we are doing through the electromechanical devices aberration is likely to happen and to do this either denoising or deblurring or whatever the minimum pre processing has to be done then we have to identify the region of interest so that we can particularly go to that position and extract the feature so that because if you take the whole image the feature vector will be very large and it will not pinpoint to the particular location so the been ROIs has been detected automatically now feature is one of the very component important factor we extract the feature whether it is a local feature global feature again depends on the uh, like type of the diseases that we are going to classify or they detect and the feature vectors are very large when we uh, extract the features then we have to have the feature reduction techniques and then only these uh, relevant features or the prominent features are being put into the classifier again classifier is dependent whether it is a binary classification it is a multi class classification that depends whether we are using a sbm classifier whether you are using a random forest classifier or any other classifier that can be used then the performance evaluation is being done accuracy uh, doing the training and then the result is being put up to the radiologist to do this and again when we talk about uh, the features again handcrafted features like the the researcher has to identify whether he was use the local global and and again what kind of features that will be the suitable and uh, in a as it is seen in the previous slides in a, in a, a multi or uh, machine learning based models we have multi stages and each stages has to be done independently and uh, selection of appropriate feature extractor and classifier remains a major concern as i was telling you and detection accuracy in most cases is far from the real requirements like sometimes because of this um, features are not extracted or the right features are not being classified classification becomes a challenge deep learning model has come into the picture which has come to our rescue which eliminates this conventional steps of machine learning enables uh, to us to end to end learning without need for the feature engineering like you do not have to do this different steps which are extraction feature has to be end to end the input and then proceed towards the final uh, features of course sometimes the classifier is also embedded into the you know much deep learning systems but sometimes people use deep learning for feature extraction then for a classification separately but it can be also end to end learning end to end systems composed of several layers that transcript input from the uh, input to the output while learning and and increasingly making it the higher level features and it can be easily retrained one of the beautiful thing is that it can be easily retrained for the recognition other recognition task in addition to the existing training set we can add some more training set so the uh, deep learning model can learn it and and accommodate the new changes so that the you do not have to restart from this scratch on like machine learning models and uh, in the machine learning we have two successful models uh, auto encoder and the convolutional neural network but convolutional neural network is most widely used in the uh, medical images because in the auto encoder we need in fact this uh, feature vector separately and then the classification separately and one of the very beautiful things is as i was telling that the healthcare uh, is has taken a front seat and many of the researchers are working to um, in these directions this data has taken from up to 2023 june that is why the size is less as compared to 22 and 21 so practically the 24 if we further include definitely the number of research papers or research articles or the investigations done by the various researcher is really large and uh, even in the industry front uh, this healthcare has taken or uh, has been very importantly taken microsoft and google 
uh, both have their own uh, like different projects where they are working very extensively in the healthcare domain and in this when we are talking about these two articles that has been published in our uh, the, uh, outcome of the research we have worked on the uh, brain disease classification mostly when we talk about the brain diseases uh, initially we talk about it is whether it is a uh, like uh, normal or a pathological brain normal means it is not affected if it is a pathological brain then there will be categories again there are five different four different categories and again in each category if you see there are several other types of diseases if it is a tumor there might be three possible if it is a uh, like degenerative disease there are four possible so when we go from the no binary to the further multi classes we can see that either we are classifying normal abnormal it is a binary classification again in the norm it is if it is abnormal what are the possible categories and again in the categories what are the possible other diseases and mostly mri or the mr has taken a uh, or, or has been very widely used in place of ct scan and uh, other kind of images because uh, this mr is 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 profoundly used because of these properties it doesn't require radiation it it, it is a better resolution better resolution of the brain uh, tissues otherwise like uh, ct scan and uh, use the uh, excel kind of thing damage others uh, healthy cells because i use the strong and you will and but however this is more like and as you can see my classes of brain part so i am talking about the mara of the brain is basically about four different stages uh depending upon the places uh, and and uh, you can see this how does a pathological brain differ from normal brain you can see the the central part and when other parts are being seen you can see that this is uh, completely symmetric in in all all directions but when we come if it is it becomes non symmetric then there is a chance of the uh, the brain has been affected by different uh, digital and again as you were saying in the classification it is normal and pathological if it is further we go for the multi class classification and uh, when i talk about this first layer when i was talking like normal along with this in our work we have done there are five classes first one will be normal which are pathological among pathological again which one is what so it has got five classes five different classes are to be used but one of the major challenge in the uh, is this there is a very large class similarity you can see here uh, sometimes if you see the naked eye this or the doctor sees it might be very little deformation would have taken place or non symmetry would have taken place which doctors cannot be able to identify but if it is left undetected this may lead to a further stage and may lead to difficulty in the future days so that is why ai has a capability to even identify the smallest interclass uh, similarity uh, from the normal to the pathological and able to detect properly in this model we have used to do, uh, do one like typically we have used a random vector uh, functional link auto encoder system where we uh, like do the feature selection and inputs also put to the field. Another model, the inputs are not fit into the classifier. And then the steps are being followed. Uh, the value function has been used in this particular model. And uh, it it uh, also does something like the last layer of the deep network is learned in a supervised fashion 
and when the results are being shown we can see that without and with direct links uh, we can see that with direct links the accuracy has been more better uh, and we have used two databases like md1 and md2 and in the md1 md2 this is in fact this classification this we have collected the data and we have taken two different data sets by using md1 md2 of course the training time is a little larger in this without uh, direct links oh, sorry with direct links but the accuracy has become more better similarly in the md2 database also the similar observation has been seen that it is the accuracy is more but the training time is little larger as compared to other models you can see here this training time is very very large the contemporary models whichever has been used but we have also reduced drastically uh, in, in the training time but between these two models the second model with direct links is taking more time then uh, to extend this we have done a cnn based uh, uh, model and uh, where our objective is to reduce the number of parameters in, in the convolution neural networks when you see because or, or sorry in the, in the deep neural networks the number of layers is very large and the number of neurons in each layer is also very large so when we talk about the parameters we talk about various parameters and each the layer takes a lot of uh, parameter and we we have tried to reduce the number of parameters and once the number of layers has been reduced we we could also reduce the number of parameters and we have seen that the proper cnn uh, model uh, with uh, average pooling and max pooling we have used two methods where both the things uh, uh, are giving almost better accuracy in in both the models as compared to the existing models and these are also inputs like when we want to talk that uh, explainable ai everybody talks that how do we know that whether the uh, deep learning is converging to the right in fact the intelligence the convergence towards the solution is being seen being observed and uh, again uh, like uh, we have a, made a fine tune by reducing the number of parameters as i was telling you that uh, we have seen that the training time is also drastically reduced because the number of parameters has been reduced and uh, we, we could achieve counter like uh, in the md2 you can see that there is a little bit of variation but closer to the existing model which is uh, in the literature but the the parameters as well as the training time has been drastically reduced the another work which was a postdoctoral work when i was in one of my postdoctoral fellow has worked on the glaucoma image uh, like uh, detection of the glaucoma this is one of the very uh, like uh, dangerous disease that is being observed in most of the people and these are like something you know like as the it gets started the visibility gets reduced uh, from more stage to stage like as you can see from these images it's a normal vision this is early stage then subsequently when it goes to the advanced stage the and and it it, it the visibility gets drastic and these are being observed through the fundus image like these images which are collected and then how does this is being why it happens in fact in fact if you see here through the retina if you move there is an optical disc and in the optical disc we have two uh, things one is vertical diameter of the disc and this vertical diameter of the cuff disc and cuff when the variation between this disc and cuffs happens then this particular disease comes in and uh, a larger CDR, that is the this disc ratio, that is called as a compact disc ratio. Uh, so it, it uh, cup disc, cup to disc ratio. The larger is the disc, more the larger is the stage. The higher is the stage of the glaucoma. 
So our, for early detection, these fundus images are used. And we have used a uh, evolutionary convolutional neural network. You can see here, this model is used to extract the feature. Then we have a different classifier. And uh, the classifier has been used to uh, classify whether there is a glaucoma or it's a normal image. And this particular model uh, is to train using the criteria that maximizes the interclass distance and minimizes the interclass variations. And the final feature vectors are then subjected to the set of classifiers. And we have used a different classifier, in fact. And uh, the SVM classifier has been found out in our model to be the highest accuracy of detection. And these are the existing uh, literature with which it has been compared. And while doing all the major challenges that we have faced is that when we talk about the deep learning networks or uh, any any training when we are doing, we need a large database. Then only we can talk about, even if we say that is 100% accuracy, but this cannot be compared as the like or cannot be considered as the most uh, reliable model because the number data set available is less. So this is one of the challenges that we have faced. And another is the annotation or the leveling. Mostly the leveling is done by the experts. And there also the leveling has to be done with utmost precision. Then only the accuracy can be predicted better. This is one of the challenges. And also heavy CNN models are being used. Uh, so, but the, when you use CNN models, the training time is also more. And variation, in, like interclass variations or interclass similarity is also becoming a more challenging. And the next work, what we are doing, generative, I don't know how much successful it will be. Just like we are talking about generative AI is doing, taking several texts, generating new texts, generating different um, like queries and, and searching and giving us the outputs. The objective is to, because of the lack of uh, large training data sets are not available, we want that existing images if it can be fed and the new images can be generated. But that again question arises whether this generated images will be of good quality or which will be useful, not useful, will be a bigger challenge to do. So this is what is the work that has been done. And, and with this note, again, I, I thank all of you for listening to me patiently. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Sir, you are on mute. Sir, upon mute reaction, sir. Correct, sir. Mute, mute reaction, sir. Oh, sorry, my fault. Uh, thank you, thank you, Professor Maji. It was a really very nice presentation, and we all know that how uh, serious this uh, work is. Uh, we are running short of time, but still, I'll ask. Uh, we can take uh, maybe one, one, one question on Suman Patro Sukanto Sahu. Oh my God, three people are there. Can you be please brief and uh, Professor Maji also to be brief? We have just yeah, a sure. couple of minutes. Yeah, sure. Uh, so my precise question to Dr. Maji would be uh, in the class, in the classification that you showed that, okay, uh, this is a normal brain. This is a degenerated brain. This, this is uh, a brain which has suffered from stroke and so on and so forth, right? Uh, way which which of that is closely relating to to the ADHD brain? Uh, if you if you have any uh, reference to that, a uh, yeah. No, in general, we have taken this accuracy percentage that if it is like leveled images are there, and if they are correctly classified, then we say that it is accurate. If it is wrongly classified, this is a misclassification. That is what is being taken from the level data. 
but particularly to which type of brain it has more accurate and to which type of uh, pathological brain it is less accurate it has not been studied that is actually another area of directions which could be done okay thank you and sukan sahu ma maji sir joy jagannath sukan sahu again london joy jagannath ha okay okay भाईना आमर आर एप्लीकेशन ता केते दूर पर्यंत गलानी लाइक यू नो ट्राइड एंड टेस्टेड बिकॉज़ यूके रिसेंटली डेमेंशिया ऊपर थैंक्स टू एआई दे आर कमिंग टू 9798% एक्यूरेसी पर्यंत आसिकरी ट्रीटमेंट ता स्टार्ट करलेनी बे यूके रे बल रकम चालची बदे पाडी सर जानिथिबे इट इज बीन वेरी रिसेंटली दे पब्लिशड अ जर्नल इन तांकर सम यूनिवर्सिटी स्टूडेंट्स आर डूइंग वर्किंग ऑन दिस सिमिलर अपन जेमती करू चंती so i think uh, we can leverage their uh, that research and as it to integrate kale amaro india re bahut lok ko ame bhai sahajyo kari parante se basis re age right seta test kariya pai in fact mu jetra chetraplaid dm re thili one of the hospital private hospital was a chetinad hospital we have done some testing on this particular work and but uh, it needs further rigorous testing to be done uh so we can do it through okay, the medical hospitals uh, and become more useful and this is okay i think we can take the last question susovan surjena uh, so, so uh, sir can i uh, yeah so my question is actually related uh, to this context so means actually after my ms uh, by research at it mandi i am now working in a medical imaging startup uh so we are working on cancer no, images we are not audible there was images. glitch in between so, so they are uh -huh. okay sir so i am actually okay. uh, after my ms by research i am actually working now in a cancer imaging startup uh, we deal with cytology images for cervical cancer so sir so the main problem uh, that lies is uh, the the thing that you said that you try testing with some hospital sir uh, means like uh, hospitals uh, means especially if i focus on some mri data or all those scanners so they have lot of regulations of not disclosing the data right so that is what means, that is what uh, we had a new with them and only few data they have disclosed but uh, practically unless uh, like this data has to be this data bank has generated by different hospitals it will be very difficult to generate a very large data set for the testing purpose that is what is the major challenge because of the yes. uh, like uh, the, the security as well as the privacy issues the hospitals are not ready to disclose the data yeah sir and not only hospitals means in fact the companies who develop those scanners mri scanners or all those scanners like german us based companies they also move with the same regulation from the means the technology transfer happens with the same regulation that they will also not disclose the data to the right. outsiders so, 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 so what i think i i will just interfere you can have a dialogue with professor maji because this is this is the real challenge nobody wants to give their data and as professor maji said unless you have a real mou and full understanding and the hospital or the doctors have little real interest nothing happens and since you are in a startup sort of thing i think uh, you can have a little detailed discussion with him later and i think we have a last person pk yeah sir bonsi sir i think all that is a prana apan chen pare ki next din pare katha hoti hydrate sarang matte ki varsha tale apan sa katha hi kali bitni varsha tale bodhe but i think so nice to hear your presentation i think more uh, ethically prepared till i think we'll talk separately i think as colonel said that that will be that will be sure sure definitely okay, okay. Then, sir ma professor maji last question mu priyadarshi ko utli sir okay. apan ko glucoma upare tike apan sare katha vartha kariyar thila gote startup achi je ki healthcare segment re kaam karuchante okay so se mane wheel ta kahin ki reinvent kari already jodi apan pagar achi let's discuss how we can collaborate yeah yeah Definitely. please please brother see be in touch i think you have the contact of professor maji otherwise be in touch with me you will have i'll collect i'll collect i'm also mo priyadarshi kothli stpi emerging tech group 
ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रोफेसर माजी फॉर योर वेरी एनलाइटनिंग लेक्चर एंड वी आर रियली ग्रेटफुल एंड थैंक यू वंस अगेन एंड विल बी इन टच बाय जय जगन्नाथ थैंक यू सर जय जगन्नाथ okay now coming to last in this session is i don't know uh, kajal jena is she there no no if, sir i find anyone okay if kajal jena is not there then i think kumarika i hand over the next session to you थैंक यू फॉर रीडा सर आम नेक्स्ट गेस्ट से कंफर्म कर टू थर्टी फाइव रे स्टार्ट लेट मी जस्ट सी से कही से जॉइन करेंगे जी प्रेजेंट अच्छा आरंभ कर दियो दिखा डोंट वेस्ट टाइम स्लॉट फाइव मिनट्स रे स्टार्ट हम से तो नया, तो नया से 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 जस्ट मते कंफर्म कंफर्म क्वेश्चन तो ओके डाउन सुकांत सुकांत सर सर अब कर आर वी गोइंग टू टेक इट नाउ और लेटर नमस्कार अविनाश नंद बंदे नमस्कार जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ रविंद्र तुम कह क्या सर आम गोटे स्लट थी थर्टीन फिफ्टी फाइव रेपर लिख सीतांशु मिश्र ओके Uh, let's start with her. Uh, then I think uh, I think you you carry on. Okay. Yeah, come sure. on. So uh, I can see Tanya joining. For most of us, she doesn't need an introduction. Amma sangere achanti abe Tanya partner se sambadao kanak news ra sampadika punastha prithibi sambad hundred women editor than. मोनोलॉग सीरीज पॉज विद तन्या पटनायक परी अभिनव कार्यक्रम से परिचालना कर प्राय दस वर्ष है लक्ष्य करोच अनता रही थैंक Uh, we'll get to know uh, media re generative ai bisare apan ko mata mata kon au apan ata bhavishyat ko kemiti force karu chanti the stage is yours to me oh maram kari bhi okay ha, thank kari. you thank you so much samastam ko namaskar um uh, mu aaj aakhiba pai tikke kunthi ta thili karan gata 3 din hobo am nijara जन्म बार्षिक अवसर रे गोटे तीन दिन कॉन्फ्रेंस कनफरेन्सला कॉन्फ्रेंस पे आमे अनेक सप्ताह हम कम करी किंतु कुमारिका कर निमंत्रण को मु मना कर लक्ष्य कर सामाजिक गणमाम सोशल मीडिया मुझे ट्विटर रे भल भाव व्यवहार से करती टू स्टे कनेक्टेड टू द कम्युनिटी एंड प्रेजेन्ट ओ Odisha and Odia is uh, in a very very constructive way. So um, congratulations to the entire team for conducting this very very important uh, seminar today, Odisha AI Conference. Mate, jo topic mili thila the future of AI, generative AI um, media uh, landscape. Isar ekai va pai. Mu prathamay koi bichi future kotha. तो दूर रहा प्रेजेंट रे भी कौन हो जानवा बहुत बहुत मुश्किल एते एते तीव्र गति रे 
टेक्नोलॉजी रो अभ्युदय हो ची आउ एआई हैज समथिंग और द अदर हैपनिंग एवरी सेकंड एवरी मिनट तो तारो ट्रैक रखी बाव फ्यूचर को प्रेडिक्ट करी बाव बहुत कॉस्ट हो किंतु गोटे तीन टा कथा कोई भी जे मु आई विल स्टिक टू द टॉपिक गिवन टू मी व्हिच इज मीडिया इट द पॉजिटिव्स आई विल ऑलवेज लिस्ट द पॉजिटिव्स फर्स्ट इट हैज ओपेन्ड अ वास्ट यूनिवर्स दैट वाज कंपलीटली अननोन इनएक्सेसिबल मे बी एक्सेसिबल बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग इज ऑन द इंटरनेट एंड इट इज जनरेटिंग फ्रॉम ऑलरेडी एक्जिस्टिंग इंफॉर्मेशन बट काम बहुत सहज हो जाय छी विशेष करी जो रूटीन रिपीटेटिव काम थाय ग्रामर करेक्शन फॉर एग्जांपल पंक्चुएशन लेटर राइटिंग देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स आई एम श्योर एवरीबॉडी यूजेस दिस नॉट ओनली मीडिया जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव काम पय बहुत अम को सहज हो जाय छी द्वितीय रे कह भी जे गोटे प्रि प्रडक्शन था मीडिया जो बड़े आम गोटे स्क्रिप्ट लिखु गोटे रिपोर्ट लिखु बामें गोटे भिडियो गोटे कपी बोर्ड मुड बोर्ड तैयारी करू बा किसी प्लानिंग करू इट मेक्स द प्लानिंग प्रोसेस वेरी वेरी स्मूथ एंड सेवस अ लट अफ टाइम सो आई थिंक दैट इज अल्सो वन अफ द पजिटिव बर्षे पूर्व ए आई विषय चैट जीपीटी विषय अधिक जानवाप हटात तो पूरा आश्चर्य लगला कि रईट अ पोईम अन् दिस कहीदे से गोटे एत बड़ लिखी दौला देन यू प्रम्ट कि ना भाषा टाउ टे सिंपल कर जस्ट विदिन सेकेंड इट वाज जेनेटिंग रेस्पन्सेज पोएम स्टोरी स्क्रिप्ट लाइक यू नेम इट एंड ए आई हाज इट एंड जेनेटिवी छोट दृष्टि देखुं भावुं कि यहाँ गोटे कपी जिन क्रिएटिविटी ना ओरीजिनालीटी ना मैंने बिकज वी होल्ड इन हाई एस टीम पीपल हु स्टार्ट फ्रम स्क्राच वाइल दैट इज ट्रु जो गोटे स्केलेटन तैयारी कर गोटे फ्रेमवर्क तैयारी कर आज कल क्या पाखे गोटे जो गोटे जिन ता हूँ समय आम अल्प समय रे बहुत कथा कथा चेस्टा करती समय आम पाखे अच्छी आम जब गोटे कि नुआंस एड कर पलिश कर व्यवहार करवा से समय को ताले मु भाबु जी देयर इज नो शेम इन यूजिंग एआई एट ऑल टू क्रिएटिंग बेसिक थिंग्स जोटा बहुत समय नहीं किंतु रिपीटेटिव थाय सेतरे कोनोसी क्रिएटिविटी बा ओरिजिनलिटी रा आवश्यकता न थाय सो आई विल जस्ट कम बैक सो एबे किंतु एआई रा एआई जनरेटेड कंटेंट देखिले बारी हे जाउ छी जोटा वर्षक पूर्वरु गोटे मेराकल भलिया लागु थिला एबे गोटे कंटेंट देखिले बारी हे जाउ छी कि एटा एआई जनरेटेड लाइक एटलीस्ट आई कैन मेक इट आउट बिकॉज़ आम संवाद कनक न्यूज रेडियो चॉकलेट आम रिजनाल गणमाम आम प्राय समस्ते ओडिया स्क्रिप्ट लिखती आम तो सब केवल गोटे वेबसाइट को छाड़ देम सब कम ओडिया हुए तो स्वाभाविक भाव में आम जो मेम्बर्स मान अच्छा आम टीम रे आर नट वेरी वेरी प्रफेसेंट इन इंग्लीश इट इज अल्सो नट रिक्वयर्ड फर देम टू भी एक्सपर्ट इन इंग्लीश तो से लिव आप्लिकेसन पठाती कौन सी परमिशन चिठी लिखती तो बहुत ग्रामाटिकल एरर्स uh hi but nowadays the letters which come to us oh my god it's in like some high level english there is no mistake the language used is uh, uh just like you know top notch you would not know that you know someone who is serving tea in kanak news is sending those kind of leave applications but that is actually amazing to see how people adapt so quickly to technology technology is always a double edged sword uh, uh we all know that same with ai uh how to use it ethically how to um 
uh, you know, um, add more creativity, explore angles that probably would not occur to us, a good hybrid between human touch and um, generative AI would be the future of media, I feel. Aste aste, there will be some job displacements for sure, you know, repetitive kamo, jadi AI kori doji, ame orpa lokore se kamo ko kori pariba. Kintu end of the day, um, at least in media, where we tell stories, where we talk about people, where we talk about real problems, real things happening on ground, just depending on AI completely is not going to make the cut, number one. Number two, could a both body balance mechanism high nature, or even if someone, one person is doing 100 stories on AI, end of the day, it will not be accepted by the audience if it does not have the human touch. What a human being can do, at least till now, probably AI will also do that. That's why I said I don't know what is the scope of AI, it's everything is happening each second. But um, I think if human beings smartly use AI, if media people smartly use AI, media people don't go deep inside any issue because they don't have time. That is why the respect for media people has come down. People think they are superficial. People think they are corrupt. So I think, you know, it's an excellent opportunity for media people to use this wonderful tool available to them, save time doing preliminary research, go deep into the topic, add their own insights, maybe use that time to you know do more research, use AI to make the presentation more uh, appealing to your readers or your viewers. Uh, I think a good hybrid, it's not only for media, I'm sure. I don't know what your other uh, uh, discussions are. I think everything would point to like too much of anything is not a good thing. And if we can have a balance between generative AI, the human touch, the human connection, when we're talking about real people, but if you're using AI to make the content more appealing, visually more attractive, adding more graphics, and if common people can use this and you don't have to always rely on experts um, to create something. So then citizen journalism impact packaging script video social media website post But with AI, even one man can become an army. But we have to use it very wisely, very consciously very intelligently and uh, not always trust AI. Just spend time fact checking. But for regular processes, for the pre-production work for both digital print, uh, even radio um, and television, AI can be a very, very effective tool. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for having me. And I hope uh, the conference all the best and success. Uh, thank you, Tane. I think we have few questions. Uh, if you have time to take... Uh, so sure, please. Yeah, uh, please, Kuntu, uh, Rabindra, sir, Kuntu, uh, next, uh, sure. Vinash and Sukant, sir. Ah, Thank you, Kumarika. Thank you, Tana, for the wonderful presentation and sharing your mind and also covering it in a balanced way, the pros and cons, and, you know, I like the whole uh, you know, presentation. My quick question, uh, we had already covered highly regulated areas earlier in the conference, like banking and finance, uh, medical, healthcare, etc. Now in media, the biggest risk that I see is um, facts, concealing the facts. And with the powerful AI images and also the story building that can be done through AI or even regular facts and figures, uh, we can really weave a completely wrong or negative uh, you know, narrative. And that is, uh, with, that is something which is also rampant in the current stage. Uh, so, what are the checks and balances that are already in place, if at all? Or how do you, as media people, deal with such kind of things? I know that there are a couple of websites which publish fake news and all. Uh, but otherwise, how do you handle it? Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir, uh, for the question. Um, so even before AI, now with AI, the problem is even more rampant. Even before AI, with social media, 
डिजिटल मीडिया रे चेक्स एंड बैलेंस इज बहुत कॉम अच्छी एनी वे फॉर मीडिया दैट इज एनी वे चैलेंज वी बिन फेसिंग एनीबडी कैन पोस्ट एनीथिंग एंड देयर इज नो यू नो रेगुलेशन फॉर्मल रेगुलेशन फॉर कंटेंट बीइंग पोस्टेड ऑन सोशल मीडिया एट लीस्ट फॉर बिगर और मेन स्ट्रीम मीडिया हु हैव यू नो रजिस्टर्ड एड्रेसेस who are uh, running with uh, uh, permission with licenses and who are accountable generally to the ministry of information and broadcasting at least and there are some regulatory bodies say to be both fake news jai but at least court na court ticket aura tha ki defamation case as jiba ministry notice as jiba tv news ra but totha bhi india re both kichhi bhi basic bhi regulations itte nahi because there are so many channels and you know nothing is strictly monitored which also is like you know the uh, if it is monitored very uh, closely also then you know issues of freedom of uh, uh, uh freedom press of, yeah. also freedom of media would come into the question but uh, at least for uh, uh the established established does not mean very big or old but media organizations or uh, media institutions with a defined framework is a proper organizational structure i think it has to be a part of the mandate where you are checking news or even if a fake news is being published then you know a rejoinder is uh, being published the next day so i think apart from rules and regulations it also has to be the person who is publishing has to become more conscious and also the person who is reading has to become more conscious we all know we cannot trust anyone even if it's like a 200 year old newspaper or a 20 year old tv channel we cannot trust anyone ebe pura jemti konti kali jugo chali chi sabu jinso ku amuku tike sandeh ara lens re dekhiba pai padibo so uh, but also i think serious media houses will realize that you know if they are continuously being irresponsible then they are losing their brand value they are losing their customers and end of the day media is not a charitable organization right so it is also a business at the end of the day and no business would want to upset its cons- consumers or its customers at the end of the day so if people start uh, questioning the media ebe to amal ko are we just okay with anything we know ki are man tem ti bar karanti the media ko gali bhi do chanti loko that is fine but you know there should be serious constructive criticism i would say you know media houses should have like a really really strong army of uh, loyal followers but also very loyal and strong critics who can keep guiding them so it's the question of the egg comes first or the chicken comes first but i think if readers viewers react react positively uh constructively and the media realizes that you know over a period of time uh you know this will add to our brand this will add to our value this will add to our business then uh, we should like you know form some kind of uh, but we have to be very 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 you can you can open a media channel anywhere you can just be sitting in any corner of the world and you can upload stuff but uh, if just to get back to your question semiti kich is strict regulation e parjanta nahi or strict regulation be also is a very tricky thing because you know how would you know that what it is regulating and what it is not so it's not that simple it's not black and white thank you tana so i would just summarize in one statement so it's joint responsibility and accountability of both producers as well as consumers so far thank you डॉक्टर progression of your thing but i just re- have a request that you have to create awareness for you either using radio chocolate or sambad because ambe sambad padi badi thilu ajikali chua mane news paper kete padu chandi na padu chandi but they are way, highly on social media so apan sei ta ku use karikiri ei technology ra jo progression ta houchi kouta bhalo kouta kharap and how we can engage those kids those youths who are looking up to you so that you know we can do, make a bigger better community you know for for odias and we can do progress and help them be somebody becoming entrepreneur somebody trying to get any kind of help i think media plays a bigger role to create the right awareness that is the only request 
थैंक यू सो मच आई अग्री मीडिया रो बहुत बड़ा भूमिका रही छी और संवाद संवाद रो विभिन्न प्लेटफार्म समय सब बेले चेष्टा करू अ लोकन को कथा को रखिबा पय सब बेले सब किछ संभव हे न पारे बट इफ एनीवन अप्रोचेस अस विथ अ प्रॉपर आईडिया और इफ समवन वांट्स टू लेवरेज अ प्लेटफार्म एंड डेफिनेटली हमर गो डेडिकेटेड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पेज भी अछि दिगंत वीकली पेज अछि सेटा तो हमें एआई बी सरी निश्चित भाव परे एआई रो पॉजिटिव्स नेगेटिव्स डेंजर्स अवेयरनेस ए सब विषय रे निश्चित भाव परे किछ करि परे वी कैन आल्सो हैव सम थिंग ऑन यूजिंग एआई टू क्रिएट ग्रेट कंटेंट अपन एटा रखंदु गोटे मंथली प्रोग्राम आइदर ऑन रेडियो चॉकलेट और ऑन आवर कॉलिंग आई एम आई विल बी हैप्पी टू कोऑर्डिनेट ग्लोबली हु आर लीडिंग इनटू डिफरेंट टेक्नोलॉजीज एक पर्टिकुलरली एआई ऊपर है सो वी कैन हैव अ स्पीकर मंथली वी कैन हैव अ हाफ एन आवर और वन आवर प्रोग्राम व्हिच आई विल डेफिनेटली आई विल डेफिनेटली कनेक्ट विथ यू मो अपन को जगह जगह पे रही भी किसी गोटे अपन प्लान करंतु यू हैव माय सपोर्ट थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सरया थैंक यू थैंक यू अंशुमन this is the last question yeah uh, so so yeah uh, thanks ma'am for the wonderful uh, presentation um just one small uh, query that i had in my mind was uh, with this ai and automation that is coming to the media space uh, what do you think could be the impact uh, on the layoff that uh, the media houses might do a and then b um, uh b how it is going to impact your uh, let's say gross margin your net profit margin and your contribution margins um layoffs i cannot predict the rates but they might happen uh but you know has it that always been the case whenever any new technology has been introduced it's not just with ai it's always been upon a kichi bhi dekhon to kebe bhi jebe bhi kichi mechanized hue you know but then there's always a balance where more jobs are created uh, so we have to focus on skilling uh when we started using a little bit of ai ame ebe bhi ette jetti matra re kariya katha karu nau there was also apprehension in our office but the message was very clear ai is not going to take away anyone's jobs uh but people who do not know how to use ai might lose their jobs so we have to use it in our stride uh because ai will never replace uh, human beings aur oh, media re kafi specialized uh, kaam hota hai so ai tike aid kari paribo maybe like a team of 5 might become a team of 4 but i don't think the layoff is going to be you know that massive because end of the day we would need to reach the people as a media organization get first hand information and today media suffering because we none of us are going into first hand information we are all dependent on uh, second hand information aur sei thi pe ete fake news ei sab ho chi ground ro jai ke reporting kare jem ti ko chan na purna jinsa fashion ku there media ra obastha ete kharab helani ki maybe we would need to hire more people to go to the ground and report otherwise people are just going to reject you thank you uh dr avinash i think uh, please keep it short uh, ame tapare i mean we had her for 10 minutes but we have extended it uh, thank you thank you uh, thank you so much in fact uh, my uh, every word will be only about ai as you know i must be knowing i have been invited here that i am world's first to create a music video in odia completely on ai aji eta recording hochi bahut badhiya aji mu koi deli 5 vars 10 vars bitre dekhi you can touch rasgulla in your ai phones you can smell the perfume in your mobile phone eta record hochi so it's very easy for me to see that after 10 years or 5 years आज के तीस वर्ष ते मुझे जो फाइनाल ड्राफ्ट थी से न्यूयर्क गोटे सांग कथा से मत कहला जे दस वर्ष पर आसूची केवल तो आक्टर मान फटो आम कि एग्रीमेंट सैन कर दरकार नहीं नाउ द क्वेश्चन इट्स ए आई इज नट ओनली फर आप्लिकेशन वेबसाइट और एनी अफिसीय डकुमेंट 
is much 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 higher than that ame bahut agu ko palebe apan jodi mo music video dekhibe that will create a havoc on you jeta believe kari hobo ni je bina local eta shooting age jota bartaman create karuchi it is completely real human jo thare mu nije hero mo face activate hai but you will never find the air of complete video re mu kouti animated do a real real time boy is going to do a 3 minutes video so this is what i am saying that ai is a thing mu ghare basu chi the main ai you know on the whole world the main ai is i mean ej uh, abhinav yes, sir yes sir sir please stick to the question we have a talk with you also after this okay okay so yeah, wonderful uh, what you can do is probably in the meantime before your slot comes in you can just share the link on the chat bot uh, chat box that we have so that we yeah. can go through it a uh, little bit being little conscious of the time we have the next speaker uh, parada sir um, sure, sure, sure. yeah uh, thank you thank you so much everyone thank you so much uh, kumarika requesting you to please send me the recording link so that i can do sure. the other things i really apologize for just joining in for such a short time thank you thank you thank you so much Bye. so do we have uh, anshuman naik uh, yeah. ravindra babu uh, yes sir i'm here i'm here okay uh, please please go ahead uh, so i would like to invite anshuman naik who is the chapter lead uh, from bhubaneswar location so to quickly share his thoughts on the conference and uh, i would request you to <clears throat> give the hosting i mean i have already given it uh to sushant malik right yes thank you uh, uh, j- just to kind of you know um reiterate please stick to the time limit you got 5 minutes um one or two minutes is fine but let's not um, delay further so quickly over to you anshuman go ahead anshuman uh, thank you rabindra babu good afternoon uh, there is something wrong with my camera i'm sorry uh that's fine that's fine please go ahead good afternoon jay jagannath samastanku i come from an interesting background in fact uh, i have uh, 20 years of experience in teaching btech and mca students to get into the it industry tapare mu got a time asla mu chinta kali why don't i become an employer myself then i started exploring and coincidentally i got uh, my first project from canada and i am doing data annotation for them so <clears throat> data annotation is something which is uh, like uh, uh, very basic which is at the helm of artificial intelligence and machine learning so jaha basic understanding achi mane kete prakar scope achi apan dekhantu like suppose agaru gode jare niya laguchi amara extinction system kon thila ki निया लगेला स्प्रेड कला धुआं गला स्मोक डिटेक्टर को एंड देन द अलार्म इज सेट और द अलार्म इज ट्रिगर्ड बट नाउ द थिंग इज सपोज कैमरा लगे चार आडे ऑफकोर्स आई मीन वी आर एज्यूमिंग कि वी डोंट हैव द मैन पावर फिजिकली कहीं ना बट कैमेरा लगे सीसीटी कैमेरा लगे सो फायर लगे कि स्प्रेड कर स्मोक डिटेक्टर पाक बेल को फायर बहुत स्प्रेड कर बट जदि आम कैमेरा डिटेक्ट करदे शीघ्र एंड शीघ्र अलार्म ट्रिगर कर दला ताहले फायर इज प्रिवेंटेड फायर बेस इज स्प्रेड बी करी करी ओनी सो द मॉडल हैज टू बी ट्रेंड विद लॉट्स ऑफ इमेजेस ओके सो दैट फॉल्स ट्रिगर बी हवन इतन विभिन्न एंगल तक फायर डिटेक्ट करिया पे विभिन्न प्रकार तक पिक्चर देके ट्रेन करे पडियो देयर कम्स एनोटेशन रॉ डेटा को मशीन से तो कनेक्ट करिया जिन से हो जे एनोटेशन ऑलराइट सो एनोटेटर्स बेसिकली डेटा को रो डेटा को लैबल करती ओके सो एनोटेशन कुड बी इमेज एनोटेशन टेक्स्ट एनोटेशन वीडियो एनोटेशन ओके ताको लैबल कला पर मशीन अंडरस्टैंड्स कि ओके दिस इज दिस एंड द मशीन इज ट्रू सो एनी टाइम यू आर अमेज्ड बाय अ वेरी गुड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड देयर आर ह्यूमन एनोटेटर्स बिहाइंड इट कारण ह्यूमन एनोटेशन यदि बल क्वालिटी न होबो मॉडल प्रेडिक्टेबिलिटी भी सते खराब भेज दो सो बट आई मीन एनोटेशन इज बेसिकली बिट मोनोटोनस बट वेरी रिस्पांसिबल जॉब 
so the challenges uh, that i face are more of hr than technical challenges so that was from my side now i will request uh, uh, mr sushant mallik bhai to take over from here and uh, uh, he's my partner in arifintech and also he is the ceo and founder of cloud hub which is in netherlands okay. thank you anshuman jai jagannath namaskar sushant mallik i'm the founder and ceo of cloud hub which is a next generation data and ai company focusing on democratizing democratizing the data so basically like you know what Angshman said right so obviously i'm, I'm ex amazon i spent almost five years in leading in various cloud and data ai and all that but you know being an odia and entrepreneurs a skill kid athila so then i started you know our own journey of you know ai and uh, you know i mean but one odisha uh, <clears throat> government site plus kitoda firm site misiki so there are few areas what Angshman talk about data annotation, right? Whether it's a fire, a lack, or think about the bridge collapse and all that, right? So how you can then train the now your <clears throat> AI model so that it can predict before it really happens, right? And just think about the number of now the fire is being broke out, number of people getting killed, number of bridges being collapsed, and so on and forth. And it's unfortunate. And also the number of crimes, right? So what you are trying to do is like, you know, okay, how we can really get the data, right? And first annotate because AI can just, you know, give you the decisions by itself. There should be some mechanism to take the data, process it, and then compare against the actual, you know, whether there is a video data or, you know, or images and see, you know, what is the pattern. And, and we are getting great success and we are already working with, you know, multiple customers right to give that kind of areas number one number two we have also another healthcare company in india so some so i will request you are supposed to talk about your chapter not to say about your companies and all this is not the platform no 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 yeah yeah For Sorry, the whole year, you to... have this platform available to you to interact with all the friends all the ai professionals and we are all there but you are you know you are now getting into the other's time please be, be, be brief Okay, sir. Yeah, no, thank you. Okay, I was not talking about any of any of my project. What I'm saying that how AI is helping, sir, in terms of giving the decisions, right? And and similarly, I'm talking about also in the healthcare. Now customers are now getting and understanding that okay, how I'm I'm going to write human clinical trials. So clinical trials re with a drug which they may market to anybody it takes almost like ten to fifteen years. Okay. Uh, and and every day they spend like an also, almost like more than a million dollar for being a so Shan, i think we lost yeah, you like he's dropped yeah yeah anyways we are running short of time and uh we have uh manasvi mishra uh was that a chapter lead slot, sir? I, I can't find it in my list. No, I think, uh, Ravindra, you stay there, uh, stop here, because Kumarika is the in charge of this session, and there are a few more. And then the MP is also going to come, so there will be a little confusion. Sure, sir. This this is already over. I mean, that's the only one that I was aware of, the 1455s. Okay. That's over. Okay. You can continue. Kumarika, please continue. Yeah. Um, in my slot, I think Manasri Mishra, she was at, uh, say, at Akuru Thile. Jati se available at Chanti, she can, uh, uh, she can be the speaker now. Manasri, ma'am, if you are ready, please uh, come on, say, uh, come uh, on screen. Yes, I'm available and I'm... Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. No problem, no problem. Of course, I understand. Namaskar, Samastanku. Uh, if I can share my screen, I will take a very little time to talk a little bit about AI and music. If a last slot AI topic upare thila, AI or media creativity upare to thank you so much, Tanku. If I may begin and share my screen, please. Yes, please. So I'm hoping you can see my screen. Again. Okay. 
perfect okay so thank you to everybody organizing this bringing people working on generative ai from around the world odia mane jo mane am samasta achu bahare ethi mu mit media lab mit boston re achi ebe currently boston re ve sakala 5:30 ta bachi just mu uthili au join kali ete badhiya conversations chal chi ethi um i am currently a phd student here and i work on generative ai and music uh i do research on the algorithms the copyright law for music and mutab to kichita share kariyau chahe bhi um i will play an audio dekhiya jodi eta apan man suni parchanti ki nahi can you hear it तो यहाँ गोटे छोट गीत जो ए आई मध्यम घंटे पूर्व जेनेटिव ए आई रपिक उपायर बन जो थे जो थीम टा अच्छी बर्तमान परवर्त कौन जस्ट बन देखिया सुनिया ए आई के म्यूजिक लिखुच पूरा जो सुनते पूरा टा ए आई बने रे गाँव इंडियन इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स यूज करके बने तो बर्तमान ए भाया ए आई मडेल्स अवेलेबल अच्छी जोटा आप मोस्टली शुणुवे टेक्सट रु इमेजेस बनवा टेक्सट रु भिड बनवा कि टेक्सट रु म्यूजिक भी बनुच्च ए भाया बनुच्च किंतु एत पब्लीसाइज है कहीं यार लिगालीटी गुडा बहुत कम्प्लेक्स अच्छी किए ओन कर म्यूजिक किए ट्रेनिंग डेटा टा ओन कर से माने करेक्ट परमिशन रे बने चंति कि नहीं और इट आउट अ बहुत बडा डिस्कशन जोटा आई वुड लव टू हैव विद ऑल ऑफ यू बट मु बस सम शेयर करिया चंति आपन माने संगे रे कि कोन कोन पॉसिबिलिटी अछि आ मु मु म्यूजिक कर छि बहुत बहुत टाइम रु म्यूजिक रे इंटरेस्टेड मु ये सुनो एआई जने के यूज भी कर चंति आ मु बहुत टाइम रु म्यूजिक रे इंटरेस्टेड अछि आ मु लास्ट 10 इयर्स रु एआई आ म्यूजिक संगे रे काम कर छि कहना मोर सब इंटरेस्ट थी कि कंप्यूटर और टेक्नोलॉजी को क्रिएटिविटी रे क्रिएटिटी यूज हो पार आबे थर्ड इयर अच्छे मोर पीएचडी रे या पूर्व मुझे गोटे मास्टर्स भी कर एम आई टी स्टाफोर्ड में भी थी बार्सिलोन भी आ गए मस्टर्स कर आई टी मड्रास अंडर ग्राजुएसन कर डीप फेक वयस रीप फेक बनुचे कम्प्लिकेटेड बैड वेज रेट कैन भी मिस यूज सो आई वुड लाइक टू सेयर विथ यू वन गुड वे दैट आई हाव ट्राए टू फाइंड इन द डीप फेक्स You can see here a picture of me as a four-year-old. मुझे तो ले four years old थी ली मो पापा आमी thankfully उटे cassette tape आने थी ले आ मोरो बहुत उटे recording कर थी ले मु सुबह nursery rhyme उटे बोलू थोड़ा वाले आ उड़िया गीता सिखू थी ला वाले आ उसे तो मोरो उटे मोरो AI model बने ली मोरो four-year-old voice संगरे आ मोरो four-year-old version अपन वाले को thank you कोई बे हेला हेला thank you for inviting me. to gen ai conference so i'm going to say 4 year old voice coach thank you for inviting me to this gen ai conference eight out of this is a possibility that possible before of using my own voice from when i was a child many creative uses for this i've also seen people who are losing their voice use voice technologies to get back their voice um so if done the right way there are many positive uses as well um with that i want to point out to how music re we have always used technology to make music ethre you can see in this pictures from the left side 
एउटा हला किछटा बोन फ्लूट्स माने केव मैन डिगिंग रे मिलची इफ बोन उडा जथरे फ्लूट बनोथले सेइठु नै कि वुडन मेटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एप्स आईपैड सब वळे आमे म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट बने आसीचो आमो जहा भी टेक्नोलॉजी अछि वी हैव बीन यूजिंग इट टू मेक म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट बिकॉज़ ह्यूमन एसेंशियली वांट्स टू मेक आर्ट वांट्स टू कम्युनिकेट एक्सप्रेस क्रिएट एंड आई एम श्योर कि हमें या परे कोन आसीबो इन द एज ऑफ एआई बिग डेटा स्ट्रीमिंग वी आर एट एन एज वेयर वी कैन एक्सेस एनी म्यूजिक फ्रॉम एनीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड एट आवर फिंगर टिप्स एट एनी पॉइंट व्हाट विल बी द म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऑफ दिस एज एटा मोर रिसर्च क्वेश्चन आ मोई म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट उडा मोर पीएचडी टॉपिक रे डेवलप करछि सो मो मनरे जतले मो एआई म्यूजिक भाबे मते एमटी ओटा इमेजिनेशन आसे जे मो पखरे एत्ते हाथ गोडो थिबो मो सब इंस्ट्रूमेंट बजे परबी किंतु एक्चुअली एआई टा ए वळया देखा जो छि गोडे बॉक्स जहा भीतर बहुत ट्रेनिंग डेटा अछि आ तमे ताको रिक्वेस्ट कर परियो कि गिव मी अ सॉन्ग एंड यू विल रिसीव अ सॉन्ग दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक बट टू मी इट इज वेरी डिप्रेसिंग एंड इट इज नॉट फीलिंग लाइक अ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट फील्स लाइक द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ म्यूजिक uh which can be manufactured so i am working on making musical instruments to mo pakre kam samay achi to i would just want to show you uh, two examples of how i use um ai music so here is one example where uh, instead of typing a text prompt ki matote badhiya happy gita te de diyo jane ai conference upare i want to shape the music with my own musical ideas तो मु एटे मेलोडी गाई दी फॉर एग्जांपल सो तुम 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 गाई की मु ताकु अलगाल का इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स रे कन्वर्ट कर पर भी थोड़ा सैक्सोफोन रे कन्वर्ट कर देली एमती गोटे गोटे करी की मु इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऐड करी करी गढी गढी की पूरे पूरा गीतटे बने पर ये हम सुनी परछ नहीं सब ए साउंड उडा सब मोर से तुम 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 संगरे कनेक्टेड अछि को भी म्यूजिशियन को अपन पछारिबे से माने म्यूजिक को एमती मेलोडीज और एमती साउंड वाला आइडियाज रे भाबंती टेक्स्ट प्रॉम्प्ट रे भाबंती नी मोस्ट एआई आजकल जो बनु छ सेडा ऑटोमेशन और डिस्प्लेसमेंट पे बनु छ जे आपन मन को आसुनी करबा तहले एआई आपन पे करी की दे देबो जो टा यूज केस किंतु बहुत लोगों को हमें एंपावर भी करियो चाहू छ पिला मन को म्यूजिक थ्रू रे तांको ब्रेन को एक्सपैंड करियो चाहू छ केते यूज यूजेस अछि म्यूजिक रो सो वी आर बिल्डिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स दैट विल अलाउ यू टू एक्सप्लोर म्यूजिकल आइडियाज एंड ग्रो योर म्यूजिकल इंट्यूशंस आउ गोटे एग्जांपल मु लाइव देखियो चाहथली किंतु निश्चय नेक्स्ट टाइम और आपन माने इंटरेस्टेड हले मैं देखियो मो पकर माइक्रोफोन अछि मु लाइव करबी किंतु एक शॉर्ट एग्जांपल वीडियो रे मु रिकॉर्ड करछि देखि देबी एडा मु लाइव मो वॉइस को इंडियन इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स रे कन्वर्ट करछि लाइव मु जहा गाइबी सेटा तबला परकशन रे कन्वर्ट हे जिवो तो एडा एक छोटो क्लिप देखिबी ए थ्रू तो एठी आपण सुनी पारथुए मु ताकिटा ताकिटा ता दिंगी ना तो ताकिटा ए सोल्फेट जुडा कहू छी आ सेटा परकशंस रे कन्वर्ट हे जाउ छी ट्राई टू लिसन इफ यू कैन हियर इट बहुत कन्फ्यूजन रे आपण बुझ पारथुवे कोन सब साउंड जहा सुनु छ सब मो वॉइस रु बनै छि मु ए फीमेल वॉइस इंस्ट्रूमेंट साउंड सब उडा मु इती लाइव परफॉर्मेंस से समय करू आ एमआईटी मीडिया लैब रे थाई कि हमें बडा बडा म्यूजिशियन संग रे कोलैबोरेट करि पारछु त हमें बहुत उडे ओपेरा सिम्फनी सब उतरे मु इन्वॉल्व हे छि इंस्टॉलेशन वर्ल्ड रे अलग-अलग जगह बुली-बुली कि करछु एबे जस्ट हमें अगस्त रे उडे वर्ल्ड प्रीमियर करलु उडे नुवा इंस्ट्रूमेंट रो कोरिया कोरिया रे सो इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स उडा प्रेजेंट करछु फॉर क्रिएटिविटी फॉर एक्चुअल यूज बाय म्यूजिशियंस टू एक्सप्लोर आइडियाज नॉट पॉसिबल बिफोर ए फोटो रे आपण देख पाछु मु एडी पछ रे उडे कंप्यूटर धरी बस छि विथ सम इनक्रेडिबल म्यूजिशियंस बिकॉज़ वी आर शॉर्ट ऑन टाइम आउ मु एग्जांपल्स शेयर करबिनी मो पखरे बहुत एग्जांपल्स अछि हम शेयर करिया पय कि 
but i want to end on saying ki ai ta ota complicated din so it sound ota asuchi ko to ke model ota train koruchi e through jo sound ota bahar chita ke own koruchi ota so bahut interesting au euda ame janiya katha pachila katha ya purbo session re um the people from the media team media personalities of odisha discussed very interesting questions they talked about educating the audience which is so important ai literacy is a new topic of educating everybody the common person not just the engineer and computer scientist uh, i'm sure ek a room re bahut lok achanti jo mane euda ko better way re bujhutanti kintu deep fakes or isabu isre janiya katha um another part of the ai literacy is also how technology can be used to help ai literacy so water marking fingerprinting would a data or jodi would a technology use kar pariba to identify ki eta fake ki nuhe that would be a very powerful technology to ame sei bhaya technology would be developed ko to sound music voice pai ki bahutude amara paper achi mit press mu us ro copyright office sangare bahut discussions re rahi chi jodi ame technology would share ko to tale law bhi bani pariba thik way re apan mane janthi be ki nai already आमे इनवल्ड ए आर रेहमान गोटे नुआ गीत रिलीज करते साउथ इंडियान फिल्म जो वयस यूज करते म्यूजिशियडी पास अवे कि गोटे कंट्राक्ट बन जो फैमिली सागर गोटे कंट्राक्ट बन गए प्रेसीडेट सेट कले फ्यूचर में जब किए क्या वयस ने चाहिए देन मे भी दिस वुड भी द रईट वे टू डू इट कहीं करेन्टली नो ल एक्जिस्ट अन् हाउ टू वर्क विथ डेटा सेट हाउ टू गिव क्रेडिट टू अ डेटा सेट सब कह चाहिए ए आई म्यूजिक रर्तमान आउ परवर्त कण रू टे देखे पार्टी ग्लीमसेस जो बस्टन कर पॉइंट है कि समस्त इनवल्व हाँ दरकार येक्नोलोजी ए आई गोटे टेक्नोलोजी एमती नुहे जो इज हापेनिंग टू अस इट इज हापेनिंग विथ अस आम मिसयूज करपोज करे कह आर्टर्स और रईटर्स मान मे भी आते दरकार नहीं आक्टर रोटो नहीं कि कंट्राक्ट बनी पार जानते हैं यूएस रे वन इयर जाए आक्टर्स मैंने प्रोटेस्ट करते लिगल कंट्राक्ट बनी जो करेक्ट कंपेनसेसन मिल पार फर यूजिंग देर आईडेट एंड वयस तो मुझ म्यूजिक रेस रे यहाँ अलरे बहुत बड़ वे आम कर म्यूजिक टेक् कम्युनिटी इंडिया गोटे रन कर लास्ट सिक्स सेवेन इयर्स रू आम अलग अलग इंटरनेशनल कन्फरेन्स गुड़ाक इंडिया को आणुचु एंड आई थिंक द नेक्स्ट बिग स्टेप वुड भी टू ब्रिंग इट टू ओडा टू कनसेट्रेट अन् ओडिया कलचर ओडिया म्यूजिक think about who is building the models for odisha not just google who is taking all the data and building it but odia musicians odia culture centers if they can be involved in participating in how ai is happening with us and not just to us i think uh, that will be very important next step which i would want to be involved in thank you everybody this is my email address please feel free to contact me if you have any of these questions um dhanyawad to all the organizers for giving me a spot to share a little bit of the world that i live in thank you thank you manas actually eta etta interesting lagila motte gote gothe mu samastam ke update kare chhu chhi ki last 12 hours hela ame amare ei conference ta chali chi so we are like 17 minutes more than 12 hours and take away from this particular session is that i would like to have a Uh, follow up session for a ketebara with people will sign up for this because this is a very interesting topic and uh, i am sure people will sign up for this and we'll have a good audience will listen more about this uh, thank you for giving a glimpse we'll, we would like to see a lot more than this thank you thank you so much thank you for the kindness thank you uh, next ke achanti uh, anshuman uh, anshuman bhai anshuman nag uh, सुशांत Okay. No. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I think there's a poor piece of work and Manushi and the team that doing right. So very proud to see Odia community already AI upper kitte jancha kama kor chanti. So similarly, like you know what I was talking about earlier, right? And obviously AI is playing a big role, right? And I was we are focusing on my expertise both in just healthcare and life sciences. So what I see in the market is like you know healthcare, for example, right? How I can now detect if I have a skin cancer or any kind of disease. 
with the help of now AI, right? So basically, like, you know, we have, you can just take a simple, your smart app, right? Mobile application, if I can just do it, and then it automatically will tell me, like, you know, what kind of skin diseases I'm carrying, right? Whether I have eczema, whether I have any skin cancer or vitiligo and all that, it will be able to now give me, right? And obviously, like, you know, that kind of now implementing also in the uh, clinical trials, right? Uh, I, I don't know whether everyone knows, knows about clinical trials. So clinical trials, say basically, before you bring any drug to the market, it, it, you know, it needs to be tested on human body, right? And which is more complex. But I was what I was talking about earlier, that takes almost like 10 to 15 years to bring a drug to the market. And, and the cost is so huge. Now, the pharma company is particularly focusing on a couple of aspects. One is that, you know, any new drug, right? I think you must be knowing about you know, gene therapy and cell therapy, all that for treating the gene, uh, sorry, treating the cancer patients and other patients, right? And now you will be able to find, okay, what molecules will work for which disease and it will help you to find the right kind of targets and the right kind of molecules and which was taking like you know, years to come up with that speed, right? So now with the help of AI, high performance computing, HPC and all that, right? So now within months, you know, pharma companies are able to get that composition, the molecules which can work you know, really well for that particular, you know, disease. Not only that, there's something concept of digital twin, right? So it's basically a replica, right? I'm saying if I take that molecules and if I take a human X, how it's going to work, right? So both would have pharmacodynamic, I would have pharmacokinetic, right? That means how the drug will react on human body and also the vice versa, how the body will react to the, the drugs, right? So you will be able to now get that details from the digital twin experiment so instead of you know it will ask you to like okay how the drug will react in the entire clinical trial process what kind of patients you need to um, enroll so that right i'm saying when you are doing the patient segmentation right you are taking the right kind of sample size of patients not just on one ethnic group or one set of people but you know it will give you from which locations you can then select patients so that they can enroll for your patient. That's number one. And number two, right earlier, like, you know, people are used to go to the clinics and hospitals for getting those kind of treatments. So there is something called now decentralized clinical trials using AI. That means Kichibi samples are like, and all that, right? It will come to your house, right? And you can, again, take your blood sample and all that, take the photos and give it back. And they will, AI will be now able to detect that you know what is your risk right depending on your lab or sample profiles uh, test reports and all that you know images maybe you may be giving to that right so now with help of that technologies that right, we are able to now reduce the clinical trial cycle time right almost by in a couple of years number one and number two also like somebody was talking about it's not only just you know music and all that right so what I call document processing, right? In the medical field, you know, the uh, medical narratives or medical writings or medical codings, uh, you know, all that is, is all human intensive and labor intensive work, right? That means somebody needs to go and analyze the data and create what they call clinical study report, right? Uh, for example, if the clinical study report goes to your FDAs or other health authorities to take the right decisions that whether your clinical trial is successful or not. So now with the help of Gen AI and AI, you will be able to create all that clinical study report, right? In few days instead of months or years, okay? And, and it, it's so complex because you literally need to collaborate with various departments, right? It could be your pharmacology department, could be your uh, quality, could be your manufacturing, could be research, could be, uh, you know, um, drug safety. But, you know, collating all the data and putting that into the framework what FDA and other health authorities had put forward, it's it, it's a Hercules task. So Bartman Jenai says so Jinsha upon go Kori Kipura Deiduchi, our both were a customer Jotiki Ame de Kuchu, and we are helping them also to create such kind of medical writing reports, right? Medical um, or clinical study reports in no time. 
but obviously like you know as ajay mentioned right ai obviously like gen ai brings also lots of scrutinies and regulations and all that right and and what i call responsible ai so you need to ensure whatever the ai we are building it should be responsible right that means it should take the right decisions it should reduce the errors it should reduce the hallucination that means it should not make its own context and own terminology and all that right it should be guided under you know certain regulations so sethi pai but when you know the entire pharma like life science departments and healthcare companies and also authorities they're coming together and putting together a framework right that how ai ethics framework will work who will be responsible for what right so all that so uh, you know what i see because my expertise on both healthcare and uh, you know life sciences and i see the industry is evolving and the way the technology is now or, or the industry is using ai to transform the way we treat patient okay so that's that is really you know Uh, um, demanding and and customer and the patients are getting that experience right and the last but not the least is i, I think you know we we all live in that world where like you know uh, you know uh, because i i am associated with like almost in my family like the ten doctors right at ic because including my wife and uh, all my family background so i see when the patient comes in right after the patient you know, maybe you know you travel for three hours for just a simple a visit and which it takes only 2 minutes but after that there is a disconnect between a patient and a, and a doctor right so now with the technology how would be able to bridge that gap between a patient and a doctor particularly what is called patient engagement platform right so in the sense if i have taken medicines am i taking my medication on the right time you know if i have any issues right okay there is a what i call a patient companion using ai right you you can create a patient companion which can constantly you know give you the feedback and and then what you need to do if there is something else you need to done it can connect right to your uh, doctors so all that you know is happening and and obviously like you know uh, as a technologist as also as you know what i call also healthcare ai evangelist i see the ai technology is evolving and it's impacting everyone's life so it's very important that you know how we can acknowledge that and also i see the lots of thing happening in odisha right and also we are working with you know many companies uh, you know and, and healthcare com- clinics and hospitals also in odisha to help them particularly you know bring you know ai into healthcare so that we can provide more kind of affordable and quality healthcare okay so and i definitely see like you know it's already happening across uh, you know odisha and i have seen like you know i think somebody talk about uh, konak odisha and then we have uh, many things right and even if the um, krishi bigyan kendra they are already using uh, like um, those drones and all that for farming so obviously like you know for farming from traffic management smart cities the way we have right and so the many ways now ai can really help and very importantly because uh, you know if you can see that uh, the demand of ai is so huge right if odisha can really help in terms of educating people I'm not only just education. I'm just our education is in a different way. We need, right? We know uh, many of you guys must be from also engineering background, like kind of the research facilities, the training, and all that we get is nothing. There is nothing there, right? So, but how AI can be used into simulate or what I call create that kind of digital twin so that it can foster the growth of you know the young and youths, right? So that they can impact immensely in, in this AI and uh, you know AI space. Yeah. So. you know that's about uh, you know what i can say yeah it has immense impact on the society on our life every day i think that lots of movies are also being built but also we, we need to ensure we should build a more responsible ai which can take care of the security uh, the privacy of a particular person or or, or, or the human body yeah so uh, thank you very much i uh, really appreciate yeah any any questions i'm happy to you know take it up uh hello hi sushant i just yeah, hello. hello my name is uh, dwarika nath mo apan question pachar thanti apan jo kahu thi um about uh, like life sciences and all so apan uh, 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 uh,
kahile ki uh, you are working on um, um, you know this gen ai for different drug design purposes and all so mu just janiya ko jeun ki ki apan ko mane how far it is means i also work in health healthcare and computer vision medical image analysis so i just wanted to know ki mane apan ko what's your insight like how beneficial it is going to be because ha mane ame to jani chu ame padu chu ki it can reduce the clinical trial time ye sab bahut kam hi jibo but how far are we in reaching that stage in it's just the beginning yeah so there can that's good question right is the beginning right I, i think you must be knowing healthcare and uh, life science and pharmaceutical industry is one of the followers they are not the leaders in adopting new technology like your banking and other sectors right right because of the regulations and because you you are touching a human life right i'm saying human life has more values than just money or something else right so yeah. but but i see there there is a growth there lots of companies uh, particularly the ceos and the cx levels they are focusing lot on now ai for example novartis right so novartis they are saying that we are now a data and ai company we are no longer just a company who is focusing on just a drugs right so that means right. how we can consume the data right to build a better and effective drugs so right. basically the adoption is slow but it's it's happening you know across the industries maybe i can say right in next thing years the whole pharma industry should be willing to share their data and so that models can be trained so they uh, they have to build their building their own ai teams which is taking time so yes i understand uh, no, no, uh, absolutely absolutely but yeah i'm adoption is there i'm i see lots of focus you know from uh, across the globes and companies are now focusing because you know 10 years back like everyone is talking about right cloud first strategy but now many cxos they have ai first strategy right so mm. things are moving in that direction but yeah, it will take time i'm not saying that in next 2 3 years is going to have miracle but yeah it's going to take time because it's heavily regulated industry <clears throat> okay okay yes thank you thank you for sharing your thoughts yeah thank you आउ कार किछ प्रश्न अछि ओके आई बिलीव दिस नो मोर क्वेश्चन सो अगेन थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड जॉय जगन्नाथ बहुत भल लागला कम्युनिटी असे की प्रिंट करे बा एंड आई सी द लॉट्स ऑफ यू नो हैपनिंग अक्रॉस द इंडस्ट्रीज इज अ ट्रेमेंडस एंड कुडोस टू this group and also everyone who is impacting odisha in the ai space thank you shush ar uh, rabindra bhai mute rashant ha uh, sorry uh, I, i was just trying to unmute uh, we do not have any other speakers as of now i, I was just checking the slot kumarika uh, i think apan ko pakre achanti sab speakers right right now ha kintu ame kichhi time blank chadi ko intentionally for uh, break jodi naba ko chahiba so uh, okay. 4 pm re amara next guest achanti right so Sure, I think it makes sense to take a break because it's been quite long. So I'm happy to continue as well, but I think a break maybe logically. Yeah. For all the attendees, so we. I don't think break is required because if break is required, people will be leaving, and uh, at the time of four o'clock, nobody will be there. So because MP is coming at the four o'clock, so I believe somebody, some we will continue this. अपन को 
Yeah, so um, in this healthcare space, um, who do you see using the AI first? Will it be doctors using AI first, or will it, will it be patients uh, who will be using AI first, or will it be the providers who are going to use first? Uh, I mean, the disruption will come from which, um, which uh, um, let's say, stakeholder in the ecosystem, mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, I mean, they they still have the first mover advantage, and then they force the other stakeholders to either uh, adapt or perish. Yeah, yeah, absolutely correct. So <clears throat> uh, I would say there are two aspects to it, right? So one is um, obviously the doctors who need to write uh, uh, influence that uh, using AI, right? But again, sometimes because I, I, as I said, uh, I was talking to many doctors. Uh, you know, across um, Odisha and Bhubaneswar and other places, right? So, Lokankar, I absolutely think about those who are like, you know, old doctors, right? For example, my my father-in-law is number one skin specialist in Odisha, but, you know, he doesn't understand technology, right? For example, whereas my brother-in-law, again, I'm not promoting anything, I'm just giving the facts here, okay? Um, so, he's young, he's ready to adopt technologies, right? And so the... I was talking about that skin care and all that, right? So obviously, you know, he is willing to use and all that. But again, like an adoption of, you know, some of the technology as also less from a doctor perspective, because, you know, one is they don't have time. Okay. He said, okay, I can only see a patient in two minutes. If I now bring AI and this technology and all that it will prolong my, you know, cycle, right? It'll take me at least 10 minutes or 15 minutes to see a doctor, whereas I can just see two minutes, uh, you know, a patient in two minutes. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a responsible also a doctor, but again, depending on like what's their expert area, right? For example, a, a doctor with 30 years, 40 years experience, by looking at, you know, the disease itself, maybe they can, you know, diagnose much faster than maybe a young doctor coming just, you know, with, with four or five years experience. So. In those scenarios, right? Obviously, AI can play a lot, play a lot, and because I see the kind of the number of now cancer patients, right, is getting increased day by day, right? It, it's so alarming, and I can see every household has now, you know, the cancer patient. Even if I lost my mother like three years back with the cancer and all that, right? And that's the reason I'm now more focusing on these. AI and discussing with many doctors that, okay, hey, how we can create a platform, right? Where, you know, if you can diagnose that, you know, a patient has cancer, but can the tool now help us, right? Okay, hey, what are the different options a patient can take? What is the right one? What are the pros and cons and all that? Instead of you just tell him based on your knowledge, what is right or wrong, right? So, yeah, it's obviously like, you know, depending on now the doctors, but I see if the healthcare companies or the hospitals, they can take that stand first, focus on, you know, the AI and, and then influence the doctors to use it, right? And that's how the adoption can be much faster, right? And, and then slowly, you know, once the tools and platforms are built and then patients can, you know, easily, you know, use those kind of solutions. Okay. So sorry to take a little longer, but just try to give you the context you know, who should be coming first and, you know, uh, and taking, you know, that into the application itself. Yeah, good that you brought this point of uh, cancer. Um, and um, three of our friends, we have built a cancer uh, platform, both for I mean, digital solutions for both the doctors as well as the patients. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, all of these friends, they had uh, an let's say, uh, tryst with the cancer um, in their families. And hence, that cause brings all of them, uh, all of us together. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, OK, uh, that's one thing. The so second thing is uh, we are talking about responsible AI, right? Yeah. Uh, but there are many irresponsible doctors. Uh, yep, can absolutely. responsible AI make, help those uh, irresponsible doctors who give um, wrong medical advice because of vested interests. Yeah, okay. But, you know, the challenge is, right, I mean, say, who is going to then, uh, you know, influence those those irresponsible doctors, right, what you call, right? If, if they're individual practitioner, is there somebody observing you, observing them, or, you know, evaluating them, okay, whether they're giving the 
right or wrong uh, you know diagnosis or prescriptions and suggestions and all that right obviously you can't do anything and unless they say okay no I, you know i i need to now add up technologies unless they see that number of patients getting reduced the number of the, the revenues is uh, you know slicing down and all that then they can all think about you know adopting technology so that you know they can enhance their uh, you know the accuracy of uh, their, sorry, accuracy of their diagnosis right but obviously those irresponsible doctors if they're in a group like a healthcare or a hospital or clinics and all that obviously those you know the leader of the hospitals and clinics or uh, you know nursing homes they can influence that okay hey i see now there is a feedback okay if they can integrate that with a feedback mechanism right and, and if the patient gives some rating and all that okay hey, you know what I, I think we also build a platform you know for example <clears throat> if any any patient gives like you know let's say 10 strikes that you know feedback like one star or something then we don't allow the doctor to be part of you know uh, you know the platform okay uh, that we need to have some kind of purge in between so again in the, those kind of things should be in place so that you know you can incentivize a doctor using technology to enhance their accuracy and uh, you know of their diagnosis versus you know giving them also the punishment mechanism in case you know they are not doing the diagnosis correctly and you know you are getting lots of patient uh, uh, you know complaint and all that right so it should be mix of both so that then you can uh, ensure the adoption of AI by doctors are more. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, and also happy to happy to collaborate with you and see that you know what uh, you are doing in particularly you know in the <clears throat> uh, cancer areas because you know this bigger market and also you know the lot we can do to the society itself, right? Uh, because uh, in my family also I have seen almost in the last three four years. We lost four or five guys, people are young, you know, hardly 20, 25, 30, you know, uh, age, and they are perished, right? So it has immense impact, right, MG, if we can really make something particular in Odisha and see how we can educate people. Because one is very important is the education, right? How we can create the awareness of the disease and what are the options with them, right? And many of think about many of these no patients who are in rural areas right they don't know anything about you know the cancer what they need to do how they can manage their uh, life cycle i mean co doctor go in the kerachi doctor and again you know no offense to anyone right also also they have you know their own vested interest and all that right if you go to this ex doc ex hospital they say okay go and do all these tests even though they are not required right so we need to ensure right like, you now how platform can come in and help to take the right decisions right that, that's a very important thing right so people can be aware that okay hey, you know if i go to this website or this app it can tell me what needs to be done and then i can go and challenge you know the doctor in the right way that hey maybe it's not not required and so the way you can think about today you know we call google doctor right <laughs> everyone who has literate they just before they go to the doctor then they you know start searching okay hey, what is this disease about and then go and ask the doctor, okay, I heard this, I read this, hey, can you tell me, should I go and take this medicine, all right? Sometimes doctor got, get angry, that's fine, because, but they know now, they cannot just fool the patients. Patients are getting more intelligent, more aware of the diseases and what needs to happen, right? So that kind of education and, and the awareness at least we need to bring to the society so that, you know, the others, you know, either whether it's doctor or a healthcare provider, a hospital or clinics, they cannot just fool around the people and just, you know, loot them, you know, money and all that, you know, all necessary, unnecessary uh, diagnoses and tests and all that. They don't need to do it. And that can be done through the platform itself. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you Susan, for uh, sharing your, uh, you know, deep insights into the medical field. I see a message uh, on the chat box which says can we have the scheduled interesting session i'm not sure if you're referring to the kind of uh, filler sessions we used to have if that is the case then probably let's go ahead um so there are two three things we can do if you want to share any jokes on ai if you have something handy i would like to request you to come and share some jokes is there anybody who is handy with some jokes on ai quickly raise your hand we've got 15 more minutes 
I have a lot of other interesting things to do as well. I just thought of starting with a joke because Kumarika was suggesting for uh, the break, right? So just a relaxation. Anybody has got any jokes? Nobody wants to crack a joke on AI in the serious conference of AI. OK, no problem. We switch to the next mode, OK? Now, um, there are a couple of interesting things which we kind of you know got to know about various industries and sectors, which includes healthcare, uh, music as well, and uh, of course finance, regulatory, security, which are highly regulated industries. And the scope, of course, you know, is quite debatable when they're going to uh, get implemented. Uh, that brings to a very serious question. Like we understand that um, AI is inevitable. AI, or for that matter, technology in general, or its adoption going forward is inevitable. So we got to do a lot. Of, we got to make adjustments in our daily life, in our professional life, in the way we earn, in the way we lead our life, etc. And now my question, open question to everyone, is: uh, What kind of courses or what kind of uh, knowledge do we need to? inculcate uh, both you know uh, from a training perspective as well as from a formal academic adoption perspective uh, as of now you think uh, could be the courses or could be the subjects that uh, necessarily need to be included uh, sooner rather than later so that we overall as a team can kind of you know go ahead and adopt ai at the earliest I would request you to unmute yourself and uh, start talking and sharing. That will be more interactive and more interesting for everyone. I do understand that um, it's quite comfortable to kind of you know, chat on the chat box, but if at all it's possible for you, why don't you go uh, unmuted and uh, speak out your mind? Anyone wants when to? What? I had done a prompt engineering course uh, from Coursera. Um, I am a generative AI certified uh, coder uh, um, in HR with CHRMP and I've implemented a bot recently with Tata Steel Foundation for my 1200 employees uh, using chat GPT. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also exploring uh, <clears throat> uh, the the Gemini and if Gemini, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I can use Gemini as well as another bot. So we are deploying with the bot and we are also gamified the onboarding process. So my name is Manish Divedi. I'm the the uh, the talent acquisition and recruitment uh, HR manager from Tata Steel Foundation, Jamshedpur. And uh, we have deployed uh, a bot which answers all the policies, which answers about the leave policy, which answers about all the things. I'm sorry, I I had question about uh, what is the schedule because I joined in late. Um, and in fact, uh, I no worries, had... Manish. We have the next formal session by the honourable. Member of Parliament at four o'clock. Uh, so, as a group, we decided not to take a break, but to keep ourselves engaged so that we don't so, have. A... And apart from this, <laughs> I have, I have got, I have got a lot of uh, interest in learning AI because, uh, <clears throat> because you know, this really helped me in crafting JDs. It helped it, and you know, uh, because I have, I am a person who, you know, if if we give the JD at one end, and you know, as a CV analyzer, it helped me personally a lot. In, in space of recruitment so uh, if you are not using ai you will be replaced as something but if you know how to use ai uh, your job becomes much easier that's something that i i firmly believe there are many courses which are available on coursera udemy and um, and and uh, and and as as well as simply learn where you can go down and learn basics of of ai so i'd request everyone um, to 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 start learning these things. So is the prompt engineering uh, catered to specific industries? Is it tailor-made or is it like no, general? Uh, it, you know, it is uh, prompt engineering is something that, you know, uh, how do we talk with these large language models? Uh, what is that specific prompt that we are going to give it to the to the GPT or the Gem or the or Gemini or plus perplexity uh, or meta AI? So up kya likhenge jisko up you know it will read and give you an answer because your GPT is not as good as my GPT because my GPT has got a customized option. Piche backend me maine usko customize kiya. It will answer according to my whims and fancies. 
right so so the prompts that i write so if we if we give it a persona uh, so what i do is i i use act act as a or take the persona of this uh, just say um, th there was uh, there was a presenter who was sharing about music there are millions of uh, youtube channels today which are which are going about with their lo-fi music uh, yes, uh, Manasvi, Manasvi. There are many channels which which go over with lo-fi music they create, uh, and yes, that that's that's something exactly that I wanted to say. That yes, up up. You know, I recently saw a YouTube video where where someone used take the persona of Gulzar and write down the lyrics for a for a song which is about friendship. So, वो दोस्ती के ऊपर एक song लिखता है and and then you give that. You know, this is you take that and you and you make that song happen. So exactly what Manasvi uh, Manasvi had done today. So this is what is prompt engineering all about. Where if you know the basics of prompt engineering, you will be able to use it. I am not someone. I am a, I am an engineer from 2009, and I am a HR by profession. But AI really excited me, and it really helped my. Um, uh, it really helped me with my job and made it easier. And today. Uh, back in my office, my HR team is completely using AI to to great effect, and my friends as well. Absolutely, thank you, Manasvi, for uh, sharing your insights. And I do understand for the fact that generative AI and prompt engineering, the subject that you are talking about, is readily Manish, available Manish, in Manish. different Manish, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, this is more from an application and execution uh, perspective. Apart from that, I'm not sure if we have any uh, academicians or people from the academia uh, who can suggest any other foundational courses to understand the subject. It, the prompt engineering is more about usage and application and execution. I was more hinting towards uh, creating the foundational courses. I see a lot of hands. I'm not sure if you want to answer this or share something else, but still, let me just pick up um, Somebody who hasn't spoken yet. Oh, I see majority of them. Oh, Maji sir, please go ahead. Maji sir, you can unmute yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ravindra, it was like this in the new curriculum, which we were in the design in VSSUT Burla, as well as uh, in NIT Raurkala. In fact, uh, this is for the engineering programs. Uh, and we have created certain courses which should be given for all branches of engineering because AI is no longer limited to only computer science or right. any other branches. It is for all domains. And, and so we have some courses like programming in C in the first semester, data structures in second semester, third semester, we should have a Python course, third and fourth semester, it is the fundamentals of AI not going deep into deep learning and other things, but the AI's power and AI methodologies and all this, a fourth semester course, then followed by various optional courses in every semester, like typically deep learning, or maybe you talk about uh, uh, your, your generative AI or whatever, like different things. So a bucket of courses for AI methodologies. This was in the like table, and we have started, in fact, uh, for the branches. But uh, the first and foremost thing is that these uh, the teachers, in fact, those who have to impact this particular education, wish to be uh, trained in, in all these technologies, even including all the branches. It should not be the shoulder only on the computer science. It should be percolated only when the teachers of mechanical engineering talks about AI, the mechanical branch students will be more interested, or electronics or some other production engineering, whatever you talk about. So oh, this is exactly uh, what I was trying to hear, sir. Input yeah. on the table. So this is what it, it needs to be to create an interest in the AI things. Uh, the Every engineer should be Given. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Mr. Abinda Behera, sir, uh, joined uh, with us. Uh, Dr. Cornell, sir, uh, please introduce. Dr. Dr. Cornell, sir. Uh, absolutely. I am just here. Okay, friends, uh, 
this is uh, professor kanal aditya perida from sweden and now we are going to have dr ravindra narayan behra the honorable mp from jajpur and uh, he has been the ex senior director of nic ministry of electronics and it and uh, and as i mentioned to you he is the member of parliament from jajpur and he is also standing committee member of electronics and it government of india so dr behra a very hearty welcome to you from the odisha ai and we are grateful that you could come at a short notice and uh, uh, we will love to hear from you and from your experience and what the government is thinking because the whole aim of this motto of this conference as you know is uh, generative ai now so what is next for odisha by the odias so that odisha becomes a leading ai capital of india so over to you sir please thank you thank you thank you very much am i audible yes you are audible yes, yes, so someone is speaking let him finish or shall i continue no no that was a break you, you can continue sir so that's fine Okay, Please okay. Thank you, thank you very much for inviting me. This is August gathering, uh, very intellectual, highly intellectual gathering. So actually, uh, I have received the message, but I couldn't uh, report back. But I was prepared for the 2 p.m. Uh, meeting. But I sorry that I could not report. Someone has asked me uh, two days back. I have confirmed him. I told just inform, but he, uh, unfortunately he has not informed. Anyhow. Today, actually, there is a program of uh, Honorable Prime Minister of India virtual meeting. I was in a district collected. Uh, so, virtually, PM Kisan Jojana, he was releasing. Uh, for that, I was busy. Uh, so, sorry that I have uh, recently it from 2 to 5 p.m., so 4 p.m. So, uh, uh, 2 to 4 p.m. Now, uh, I'm very happy that. Uh, Odisha, all the Odias, I think, all the Odias are connected worldwide in artificial intelligence. When uh, I was, I have done my PhD in artificial intelligence, first PhD from Utkala University. Uh, 2005, I have done first PhD in Utkala University. I was struggling when the entire uh, region was dark about what is artificial intelligence. That time I have done it. So I was director of National Informatics Center. I'm presently a member of parliament from Jaspur, as I told, and also a standing committee member of parliament from uh, communication and electronics and IT. Uh, so both telecom and uh, IT, I'm looking after. Uh, so uh, when we have done lots of work in the government sector, in e-governance, IT, ITS, Java, or uh, all other areas, and uh, cyber security is a big challenge. That time I have done lots of work in cyber security. I have developed the first website of Odisha, Lord Jagannath Temple website. Uh, but uh, some work has AI uh, in government sector. Uh, that uh, uh, before that I, I have started some work and then uh, in mid I have taken VRS and joined in Bharatiya Janata Party. Excited with the Modi ji's direction, I have joined there. So now I am. Uh, so I am in a politics, but I cannot uh, forget and leave my own profession, bread and butter, where, uh, which is a knowledge base, uh, which has made me uh, to reach this level. So very nice that worldwide you are connected on artificial intelligence. I love it and I also encourage any issues, uh, everything on AI base. Uh, I will support uh, demonstration of AI. Uh, uh, I think the fifth global conference of Odisha AI is a good uh, thing you have done. Generative AI, now and what next? This is the topic is very uh, beautiful. When artificial intelligence we are talking, it is long back, 1950-56, it was there. Uh, but we are uh, very, uh, India, it has penetrated late. Uh, information technology has uh, penetrated late in India, I can say. When you have joined the first class of the National Informatics Center at that time, it has entered into Indian region. I mean, IT I'm talking about. There is no internet at that time. No internet, no email, nothing. Only an IC based uh, uh, X400 uh, type of thing was there. 
in uh, intra gob based mail system mailing system is there 1998 we have developed the first website i have developed in odisha jagannath temple website that time internet has penetrated after that uh, um, i think uh, uh, seven, uh, 2019 uh, 18 19 uh, artificial intelligence was whispering means it is a uh, penetrated to odisha region just in a uh, preliminary stage now we are marching ahead we are going ahead in artificial intelligence lots of things has been come up by the time so many companies are there generative ai is actually a very beautiful uh, subject to that capable of generating text images uh, videos and other uh, death by uh, general models different model network chat gpt text to image text to video all these areas we are now the future is on this because now when we are talking about so artificial intelligence artificial intelligence uh, should uh, someone else thank you we have so many demands in the society ai should take it further let's for uh, example um, text to image suppose uh, a blind person a uh, visually challenged person wants to read newspaper how will uh, he, he will he or she will read newspaper he has every right to listen he has every right to read newspaper so uh, what is the technology so technologies like this this uh, generative ai will help it so text to image process image to voice all these things are there so um, he can he or she can penetrate under attack uh, benefit of this uh, ai so the, there are so many other things are there now uh, so open ai various companies are working on this open ai microsoft google baidu these things are they are taking lots of uh, care on this they are doing lots of research but things still uh, the private sector it is uh, marching hard in government and governance sector uh, it is a little bit delayed the real artificial intelligence has not come up uh, to pages in this uh, just uh, one example that uh, i'm giving when in greek civilization long back there are automated machines on uh, uh, videos uh, text writing text generate sound play music and a manual system they are doing in greek, greek civilization but the thing is that uh, we are uh, that everything are digitizing this in everything it was there in our ancient things of so the technology was there we are talking about greek in our ramana also there is a sadhu like song prabha who has teleported the hanuman team to the bank of kanyakumari that time the virtual reality concept was there so virtual reality concept was there that time also that is a part of artificial intelligence uh, thousands and thousands years back but we are now anyhow we are penetrating a new era where digitalization digitization you can talk about the digital india movement our honorable prime minister is uh, very much um, uh, confident to bring to take india into a because it's bharat means it's developed bharat where science technology cyber security artificial intelligence is the main core agenda of this government so we are going for the governance the sea change z generation our z generation the young generation to whom i call z generation the z generation are uh, to be uh, leaders of this new india the new india because they are born with the technology they are born with digital technology so they will take india into the new generations uh, new height that is the sky is not the limit for them rather sky is the picnic for them so they will take it further so our thing is that sir can we, so, sir, can we think of a uh, odisha to be a center of excellence unit in bhuvneswar uh, somewhere in odisha uh, how I'm, I'm, the I'm, government I'm, will cooperate i am coming on that mm, i have already because our honorable it minister communication it minister ashwini basna bhaiya is there uh, yeah, is the mini, mini, union minister of communication it preliminary discussion i have done it and i have become a member of a standing committee so that uh, with that power i will uh, definitely uh, propose for a ai center a global ai center you can say in odisha and bhubaneswar especially because uh, odisha is the hub of it information technology it 
taken a much uh, pick up from the beginning in uh, i think in 90s or uh, late 90s but uh, in the mid it was uh, delayed or something some other uh, political uh, situation or whatever you can say so uh, that is a break now our government is a double in sarkar is there our mohan maji sarkar and modi sarkar is there uh, we are uh, uh, working on this how again we can pick up this new it era and bhuvan sir will be a leading point uh, that we are working i will definitely work for this and i will fight for this because i have become, I have, for that i have become government has a lot of faith upon me and he has made me a standing committee member so definitely i will work on this i'll discuss detail with our uh, it minister union it minister this also i'll talk with the state it minister um, uh, uh, definitely but uh, this uh, group i came to know new so we can uh, discuss some other days uh, detail about this group Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, that we are taking. So, thing is that a big challenge that uh, the, any artificial intelligence, whatever taking the big challenge, cyber crime and fake news and deep uh, deep fake. These are the challenges. You have to face these challenges. So, generative AI, AI is definitely good. And uh, in future, we have lots of things to do: emotional intelligence, uh, brain computing. When the sky is the you know, limit, sky is the beginning. Lots of things in research can be done uh, where we can go in a scientific manner that we can uh, expect that. Uh, so, only problem is that very few people are interested for research. That group we can encourage, uh, that uh, research group we can encourage when a lot of changes can be done. I give all my, uh, my help and uh, I will support for this, this is because this is my. On the core area of interest, uh, so definitely I will uh, fight for this uh, AI center in Bhubaneswar and also all other scientific and any research uh, assistance or whatever is that I can help you. I um, keep it from here. Thank you very much for inviting me and joining with you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will join. Thank you, uh, and we can discuss. Thank you very much, sir, you for, for our you. very enlightening thing and. We really look forward to because, uh, as you said rightly, this is the double engine Sarkar, and you being the ex IT head, and you, you know, this is the right time beside the IT center. We can perhaps plan for a triple IT uh, institute for Odisha also. And time is running away. So we have to prepare Odisha as much as possible. And we, we need your support. And uh, certainly, we look forward to a dialogue with you in future. Sir, thank you. For setting up a for, sir, for setting up a center of excellence in Bhuneswar, we definitely need you, sir. Your cooperation and the government's help, uh, government policy also required for this. So, thank you for this support and uh, addressing the community. Definitely, uh, sir. There are one or two people wants to ask. Some questions. I hope it's okay with you. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Supriya Kumar Misra. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, Namaskar. Uh, sir, actually, I'm working as a data scientist in the government of Andhra Pradesh. And as you said, uh, like government, uh, like private is moving ahead and government is lagging behind in, in all these terms. Sir, we are using AI in our uh, GST, we are using AI in our exercise, we are using AI in our AI, we are using fraud analysis. Uh, so, we have uh, uh, caught around uh, 200 crores of fraud, actually given the government tangible benefits. So, we have a small unit set up in our unit set up. I have a government department that has been working on a problem. So how AI can use that, uh, how AI can help solve that. So maybe uh, just uh, uh, thought out loud, I have been working on a small government department, which is 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 actually government could give tangible benefits uh, so it approve heichi our work jabi ami karthilu gst council re dekhaidla honorable 
uh, finance minister uh, nirmala ma'am we uh, appreciate kari thile seta ko so we can do sir uh, this uh, just a thought okay okay good. very good very good very nice moment we will uh, let us develop odisha we should focus on odisha we are people of express flow but we should focus on odisha how odisha will be it hub of india and how it uh, will develop it i will have give me all support Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Onshuman Patro, please be short. Yes, sir. Sir, Ravindra sir, Namaskar. Uh, Namaskar. I'm. Uh, I'm. 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 i vote bank that they are targeting right um so uh, and uh, uh, all these uh, this product will be powered through all these ai solutions uh, that are uh, they, uh, like the, the 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 technologies like transliteration the technologies like um, text to speech that you brought about um, so that uh, you are able to connect with your uh, uh, voter base in a personalized manner um, um this is uh, i could get it i could get it suppose uh, in jaspur i am giving again sukhinda is a tribal belt so tribal belt uh, people they have their own vision they have their own way of life they want to communicate with the mp member of parliament how they can communicate they don't want to uh, learn english or any other language to talk with mp they will speak in their local language and that should be communicated and the system should uh, capture their emotion and you should reflect whether they are really happy on this work, whether they want any development or they are non happy. All these parameters should be put there and they should communicate it to the MP and MP should do action accordingly and take uh, this is very uh, high tech uh, thing of thing. Yeah, is it uh, like this or any other thing? Yeah, the, the simple thing was to at least uh, connect with your vote base. Uh, to to your uh, target segment through WhatsApp as the channel, where you are able to communicate to the respective individuals on a personalized basis. That was the first, um, let's say, my um, product. I'm going to MVP, the minimum viable product. No, no, that uh, before election, I have tried that. One agency of Delhi has given me, um, told to do this, but the, at the end, uh, WhatsApp, kya hai, the meta. They have um, stopped giving permission uh, for uh, chatting this uh, some other uh, violation of the policy something. That is one uh, challenge in this. In, instead of WhatsApp, any other thing, you can think of any other uh, uh, social media platform. That is uh, one thing. You don't rely on WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So there are, there are equivalent uh, Indian as well as. Um, non-indian uh, platforms yes. which are there yeah, just do research which is more feasible because whatsapp they will at the 11th moment they'll stop it they will not permit and uh, second thing is emotional capturing the emotion of the people that is alternately the good way if i can solve my area's problem and uh, reach with the people they will automatically vote for this definitely so uh, vote bank uh, is the back end but you uh, have uh, good governance you can say the concept is the good governance uh, through e governance or ai governance we can uh, put it to good governance that is a smarter governance we can think of. thank you okay thank you sir i think we you i mean we are really grateful Parida, sir, I, have a, I have one question at time Parida, sir i have one question if it is okay Arubindra, this is a okay. we are just two minutes before the next just very short one, sir. Yeah. So my question is very specific to Odisha. Uh, Dr. Vaira, thank you for your optimistic vision and your okay. background in technology. Uh, my simple question is, uh, we do understand and you also accepted in your speech that we have great technologists from Odisha. Is there any master strategy plan to bring a lot of talent back to Odisha? Because a lot of people that you see over here are far away from Odisha. I know physical constraint is not a big deal, but at least if you can have some talent concentrated in the state of Odisha where we belong to, it will really bring uh, you know a lot of energy and optimism. Yes, yes, yes. That is our plan because uh, uh, in Bixit Bharat, we want our real talent should come back to our country. 
that is our plan in central level also in state level our government is there preliminary we have discussed uh, regarding this we are definitely uh, planning it is it's finalized we are planning to bring back our uh, talents outside abroad and bring back to odisha so that they can serve for this country uh, thank you thank you sir so thank, thank you, you very much sir for your real support okay. and for your feeling we could see that so we are very hopeful and we know that under your leadership we'll be able to really get uh, okay going. thank you i am going to uh, going to soa university so will military association they are invited me as yeah, I, I know so I, 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 you might have <laughs> knowing so i am going to address that no no sir i'm i'm busy here so i couldn't go there i also i'm one of the advisor there also <laughs> okay, okay. Bye, bye. okay okay thank you thank you thank you sir namaskar thank you sir thank namaskar namaskar i'm sorry uh, because now it is supposed to be the session of professor j lee from maryland university who is a authority in uh, industrial artificial intelligence but i am i've just sent him a message he said you will be there uh, j are you there 